Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the archives. Uh, sorry about not streaming yesterday. Uh, honestly, I'm gonna be real with you. I was in a really shitty mood, and I would have not been funny. It would not have been a good stream last night. So I just decided to take the night off. Uh, we're back today, and we're back with Pathfinder. Finally, after waiting two weeks, we are ready uh, to one gatewalkers and i'm so excited uh slight change in plans however uh this sunday we will not be streaming the seasons of ghost we are not quite ready the players need another week to get their characters and everything sorted out so we will probably be waiting at least another week for that but we will be playing gatewalkers this friday and next friday and for the foreseeable fridays so i hope you're excited for that uh i don't uh, my plan is still to stream tomorrow with Final Fantasy XIV, but uh, I'm still waiting on the fucking phone call from the insurance company. It's a pain in the ass. I honestly don't know when they're going to call me back. But that's enough of spiel about myself. Uh, we should get... I should just move us over to here and let the boys in. You'll see all our art and everything is ready and going. And now... I'll just unmute and undeafen, and we can get started. I hope you've got it out of your system, because we're live, yeah. baby. Oh, yeah, we had some good zingers today. We did. Phenomenal. So what's the deal with airplane food? Okay, can you not? <laughs> 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 we just spent an hour fucking fucking around. Let's actually get started for real now. <laughs> no. Actually, Ryan, I'm going to send you these ones, because they're just too good. Okay. Thank you. Finally, I get to be in on the joke for once. Well, these ones are just good, joke. like classic funny. This is weird. You're not showing up on my feed. Uh, should be. We're live according to me. No, it says still says offline. Let me refresh. Maybe I think I need to refresh it. There you are. There's also okay. YouTube if Twitch isn't working. Because we're also live to YouTube. Income. Not that that yeah. ever does well. But, you know, we're wow. still there. You'd be surprised. Uh, no, I've literally never had. First. I've literally never had any viewers on YouTube. Tw I get more viewers on Twitch. Well, yeah, I think that's mm. always, a, always a thing. You'd be surprised. The amount of times I've seen, like, zero to, like, ten uh, viewer YouTube streams just pop up in my recommended feed is insane. Huh. <laughs> But Bad. I don't know. Well, anyway, YouTube's no, algorithm is good. Yeah, oh, it's great. That's cool. I'm not stalling, Ryan. I just have ADHD. I just have. Who did it? Exactly. Fair enough. Also, I should have Someone. hid the art until we were all introduced. But I know for season of ghosts next week. <laughs> Oh, there you Still, go. Still, uh, we didn't start a campaign on Twitch. We started halfway through for Abomination Vault, so I wasn't... So this is the first time we're officially starting a campaign here. That is true. Regardless. It's kind of weird to think about it like oh, that. Oh, look at that yeah. beautiful little Tover. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Tover. Yeah, Tover. 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 Yeah, Mr. Muarb. Marb. Oh, Marb. Marb. I want to say Marb on accident like 300 times. It's my bad, bro. Marb. And then it's just going to become like canon. You're not going to be able to say it correctly. Correct. Pretty much. Tover mm -hmm. has a uh, speed impediment for some reason. Specifically Marb. on Marb. Because <laughs> you're a gnome. Yep. It's the like wow. It's... Oh, wait, I'm short. <laughs> Hold on. I got to look up the actual year. It's 4721. AR, you can't say that about gnomes in this year. I'm on it's Marm. 4723 AR. Wait, well, orcs it says 4723. Right? Yes, yeah, sir. That's why my barbarian's an orc. It says 4721 on the system clock, which is why I said that. Uh, oh, how do I change that? that clock. Let's change it. Kyle, how does he change it? How do I change it? Uh, uh, the clock. Huh. Clock on the left side. Uh, it's oh. the clock right below the swords. Yeah, but how do I change the well, it's year? Different from him. Uh, maybe you can uh, is, is it <laughs> pop out and then maybe it's different. I'm just you, clicking things. You have to like advance. So like what year are you trying to get it to? Uh, 23. So you're going to need to advance two years in the clock. So you would, you would type in like two and then there should be a drop down for like year, God, why day. Why did we... 
not Man, realize this before we got started? Because <laughs> you didn't even think about it until you said something. <sighs> Damn it, so, yeah, I know, but there's still. There's going to be many more. There's going to be many more things to get fixed. Yeah, and it's going to be probably yeah, worse when I'm DMing. I know. It, six of Abydos. What month are you trying to be on? Uh, Abydos. Uh, so Would this help if Papa Schwinn back. streamed a stream? Uh, no, no he's probably not. Oh, he's got it already? Okay, we're good. I got he that. Changed Reno, it why you, oh yeah, you DM'd oh. me the jokes you made. I forgot about that. But it's no. so long. Hold on. I'm like, what the fuck? Out. Discord? What the fuck? <laughs> Who I think you, you effectively know? want like January, right? Yeah. Just... That's like yeah. the most yeah. annoying Gosrin thing is when I get ads on like Discord when I'm streaming June and I see them out of the corner uh, of my eye and I'm like, April. I can't check them right now. The what if they're important? So and you're like back here. up. Hey, you don't want to pull those ones up on stream. But you though. can put like a negative no. three oh, no. months, you know, and then it'll move back three months. Oh, can you do that? Yeah, no. any negative number, and I then you select three. what unit. Oh, it's got to be by weeks at the most. Uh, so twelve oh, weeks is three months. Wow, well, nice math there, pal. Really, I would never have been able to know that until you told me. But thank you. Yeah, but how many how many days are in a week in Pathfinder? Is it ten like D and D? It's just like a regular. Um, I think it's seven. Calendar, oh. ish. Do they have leap years? I think there's years? more months though. <laughs> there's a no, there are twelve months. There's a calendar in the and resources channel. Yes. Well, yeah, you you were the one to post the interactive calendar, Papa Schwinn. Shouldn't you know this? Uh, well, I, yeah, but I'm changing the clock in game. I don't know how to do that. No, oh, fair enough. I'll look. You got it going. We're on the oh, 16th that's the wrong of Abadeus now. The, okay, so now the stream just got to look at the interactive map. And the stream. Wait, that's not fair. The stream well, will bad. be appreciative wow. of what we give it. I, they we, saw it for all of five seconds before I realized it opened up the sa in the same tab as the fucking game, and then I had to close it. We got it now. It is correct. The calendar is correct. Nice. Fantastic. Now we can Woo, actually get started after the hour and nine minutes of fucking wee, waiting. Wee, wee. Well, it was That's all I heard. pretty much one and a half person fault. Oh, why you call me a half a person? True. That's kind of messed up. <laughs> yeah, come on, man. At least you only got half a person. I, got I mean, a somebody's one. three quarters because I'm a quarter. That's why I hopped in here at like five something. <laughs> <laughs> that's trying to help me set up my spells and my I jumped in spells. here. I jumped in chat before I was even ready. I wasn't even there. <laughs> well, that's what I said. I was like, "Oh shit, they're they're for real." I got to get in there because they're already a half hour ahead. <laughs> and then I went, "You do that. I'll watch my YouTube video." <laughs> and that's why she got in middle eight. <laughs> uh, actually, um, halfway through my YouTube video, I remembered I had chores I had to finish. Uh huh. Oh yeah, that's what what, and why didn't no, you I do didn't. them beforehand? <laughs> Like, anyway, on. enough of this she's shit. A enough of this shit. Let's just All right. start already. Ironically, it had to do with the dishes. Anyways, yes, continue. <laughs> God fucking damn it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It has been an interesting six months for everyone. Uh, just over uh, the uh, six months ago, in Eris, on the 21st day, that night saw a strange occurrence happening. It happened worldwide. Um, all of a sudden, everyone here saw a what's known as an elf gate open up in the area that they lived in. And they felt compelled to step through for reasons they don't know. When they came back from this unwanted trip, they found themselves three months hence. And some of us in the party, or some of you in the party, realized this sooner than others. The one who noticed it more so was Wilfram. Because at the time he stepped through the gate, he was tracking a quarry that he uh, wished to dispatch. And he was close. He knew he was about to find it when this event happened. 
And when he came back, realizing that three months had passed, the uh, quarry he was tracking did some evil deeds, and Wilfram lost some reputation that he had built up over the years as a great hunter. Uh, the others in the in the party uh, had their own trials when they got back, not understanding what happened and wondering what had happened itself. So during the three months past when they got back, within that time frame, they all received um knowledge of a scientist or scholar we can say up in the town of Liebestadt up in um what is it Oldham I think it is but anyways he was calling forth for people that experienced this he put out a call for those who were willing to help him in trying to figure out what happened to everybody that returned. Because as everybody found out, once they reached him and his, uh, his organization, it turns out that quite a few people never returned from their stint through the elf gates that they stepped through, they just disappeared. So he's called forth as many of you who are known henceforth as gate walkers to form an organization um, to try and figure out what has happened. And after your I guess you could say initial training with him of what to maybe look for or things like that. Um, he decided to take the five of you with him because you showed the most promise um, in your investigative abilities. And he decided to go to a place called Seven Arches, which is an elven settlement um, in the southeast region uh, in the Eye of Dread-ish area. And you guys take roughly a three-month trip uh, because it is quite the distance. It's about 600-ish miles. And you guys find yourselves on the outskirts of Seven Arches. Uh, the doctor's name is Edward Riddleson, and he is your employer. And you are paranormalist, and he's, his organization is called the Doctor's Illuminated Consortium of Epochs, whatever that means. So he basically is looking for you guys to unravel the mystery of what's called the missing moment. The missing moment is what happened when you guys stepped through those so-called elf gates. Um, and he just led you here to investigate because he thinks that this is where everything started and uh, there was um, yeah so anyways so yes that's why we are here at seven arches with him and uh, you guys find yourselves on the outskirts of of the town of seven arches um, I have a question. Oh, I have an answer. Is there, 
for this town, is there only like one way in, one way out kind of deal, or is there multiple entrances? No, no, there is not. No. I'll show you, I will bring you guys. Ooh, the map of town. Ooh. So, is it fair to assume that we've been journeying this journey together for three months? You have. Mm. Everyone has, and you are coming in from this area in the upper left, the A north uh, city. west area. Yeah, this. yeah, this is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. And Dr. Uh, Riddleton gives you uh, town maps so you can have an idea of uh, where things are. The Obviously, the uh, most notable places are listed. Um, but again, you can uh, traverse the town as you see fit. Um, again, you are coming up from the northern west area. And uh, as you guys are approaching the town, um, Gerthel and Oishorn really haven't been paying a lot of attention. They've just been like, you know, looking around in the in the forest area, just doing their thing. Oh, yeah, hold on. I, I think we're missing some context. Who? Are we Are we not said... the only ones with the dock? You are. There's the five of you. That is it. Oh. Oh, Gerthil. Ice oh, Gerthil. Sweat. That's what you said. Sorry. I, 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 uh, I. I miss her. It's... I'm the best oh, one the party here. Get it together. Gergsil. Gerg... I'll, I'll say Gergsil the, or the orc. And Icehorn the... Um, Just call me a rhino. I feel like it's easy. The rhino. <laughs> to yeah. make it simple. Um, haven't really... You know, they've just been... Not really paying attention to their surroundings so much. But uh, Tover and Wilfram... As you guys are approaching the outskirts of the town, uh, you do see what's called. Um, oh goodness, where is it? Oh, uh, a caravanessari on the outskirts. Basically, what it is, it's like a caravan town. It's just a bunch of tents and um, wagons and stuff. It's like a city in and of itself of caravans that are camped outside the city gates. And uh, you have learned that uh, long ago, elves dwelled in the verdant forests of Seven Arches. And it's believed that they built the stone arches that give the region and its capital city their name. Uh, Seven Arches is overseen by what are called oak stewards, enigmatic druids who prohibit elves from even entering the kingdom's border. This ostensibly has to do with the Omnubilit Curse, a mysterious affliction that kills any elf who dares go near one of the Seven Arches. In the wake of the missing moment, however, rumor has it that the curse has been lifted. But Muarb, Muarb was paying attention. He was like focused on what's going on, where you guys were going and what's been happening. And he understands and has found out that it is Seven Arches is rife with magical wildlife and fantastical creatures. Peculiar shadowy fae called Gorgas are among the region's more troublesome native denizens. Since the missing moment, Gorga attacks against Seven Arches homesteaders have become more frequent and vicious. So he's really found out some good information for you guys. So that's what you've been able to glean as you come down the road towards this caravan area, you could say. So, so are the seven arches on the map? Or are those uh, bridges? Um, that's a good question. The seven arches. Oh, you don't see the what's listed? Arch Plaza. I see the Arch is where Plaza. I'm the, seven... the seven arches are in the Arch Plaza. That makes sense. Oh, those little tiny. Yes. Like stones. I see. Yes. Yeah, they're in a circle in the very. Exactly. Okay. Yep. That's where the seven arches are. A lot smaller like than I thought they'd be. All right. And then. <laughs> well, is, it's a map. 
is this True, shit I inside guess. the city gates or is this yes. the caravan? Uh, this no. is outside the city gates. The caravan Sari is basically around here, around the sides of the road here and here. Oh, okay. These are just outskirts um, housing and stuff like that. The actual uh, inside of the town is the green area, which uh, you see that... Um, uh, there is a vine covered wall that surround seemingly surrounds the entire town based on what the map shows you. Hmm. Are we talking like creeping ivory creeping ivory here or are we talking like creeping Charlie's? <laughs> no, I it's um, Charlie, why is he awesome. creeping? Yeah, why the yeah, fuck why, is Charlie being so creepy? Why right is now? Charlie he creeping? Bit my finger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking Charlie. Mom. I think Charlie he bit my me. finger, Mom. <laughs> I'm sure that's a reference to something, but I don't understand it. I oh, such a what? What? The fuck! Even I know that one. Okay. Um, so you guys reach where you're at, and Doctor Riddleton points out the town, hands you the maps, and uh, he's about to bid you guys farewell. He's like, "I've reached as far as I am going with you." Um, I have other matters to attend. He's like, but I fear it is as far as I can accompany you. I have matters to attend to further east. He smiles fondly. I have no doubt that you can handle this investigation yourselves. Of all my field researchers, you show the greatest promise for uncovering the secrets of the hidden world. I need not remind you of the importance of your mission. He points to the mysterious ruin emblazoned across his throat, the same mark that brought you together, the one you all share. Three months ago, we embarked upon a mystery. All across the world, elven teleportation gates, Audara, burst with light and lured people like us in with the visions of our greatest desires. A subset of we so-called gatewalkers returned from the sojourn, some like you, bearing fascinating new abilities. We all, however, remain ignorant of what befell us on the other side of our doorway, how we came to be marked with this unknown sign, or what may have happened to those who did not return. I, in every university and seminar, seminary, scholars are ransacking their libraries to understand this missing moment. Yet, I believe that we, that you, will succeed where they all fail. For our quest into the paranormal is not merely academic, but personal. For that end, I've given you my most promising lead, Seven Arches. For centuries... An elf who approached the city's infamous seven arches has been subject to a terrible curse. Yet, on the night of the missing moment, the curse was somehow lifted. We need to know why. The city's famed Aldora no doubt holds some of the answers we seek, and moreover, represent a prime research opportunity to study the portals in person. That's where you come in. To help, I've arranged for you to meet with an old associate of mine. Fianara Karalestri claims to have crucial information about the arches. Ah, there she is now. An elven woman wearing traveling leathers and a backpack overflowing with scrolls waves from the caravan series porch. That is it for now. I wave back. <laughs> ah, great. I wave back. <laughs> oh, fantastic. She's not waving to you. She's waving to him. Yeah, well, you know. He knows. You. <laughs> he, he, he knows. knows. Hi. Well, yeah. just packs his pipe and continues smoking. <sighs> Same for Tover. Wow. You smoke? Oh, dude, I have a pipe and a loot. Damn. Oh, yeah. Always in my hands. Stay strapped, I guess. Stay strapped with the pipe. I was talking about the loop, but sure. 
just wait till I get my battle loot. Oh god, so, fucking bad for you. Are you saying that to me now? Like in game? That's a both of you in game. In in game, after traveling for three months, you're just now bringing up our smoking habit. Oh, I'm, <laughs> sure I, I'm sure I bring it up every single time. I, I was oh, going shit. to ask how yeah. does how I raise my shield to protect myself from secondhand yeah. smoke. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and when he talks to you, he talks to you in a gravelly voice. You know, this is what's gonna happen to you. What's it is talking? <laughs> this is why we get stomas. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> you know, I did want to. I did want to ask that. So, uh, d see, if we were traveling together for three months, what was everybody's sort of like attitude? How did everybody sort of present themselves? Uh, That's a good. Over relatively friendly. We'll talk to anybody who's enjoyable enough. Wilfram well, was. I... Wilfram pretty much didn't say a word the entire travel. He did work around camp, set it up, found food. And just said nothing, pretty much the entire I bugged time. him a lot, tried to get him to say words. Well, I'd, I'd have to say He's my that, smoking buddy now. <laughs> yeah, right. That uh, when you guys first went up to uh, Liebenstadt and started meeting everybody, I would say when Ironhorn walked in, everybody just like looked at him and was like, what the hell is that? You mean Icehorn? I've never, oh, Ice Horn. I've never seen one. <laughs> yeah... Yeah, I'm still not over that. <laughs> <laughs> over what, sorry? Still have, PTSD. Uh, I'm Every curious how me. Marb first interacted with fucking Wilfred after seeing the lack of clam dagger. Did I see the lack of clam dagger? Well, or, most dwarves I mean, display it proudly on them, like visibly. Well, I would just assume I would just that. Guess that. Back, but if, mm. if, unless it came up in conversation, it probably I, would I, not have come up in conversation. I assume that you're just keeping. That assumes Wilfram is willing to conversate with you. Yeah. So I I wouldn't say that I know yet, but yeah, I like to play games and uh, pretty friendly and outgoing as well. So I'd probably be trying to help the gnome get you to talk you would uh, tell you talk start, anybody until everybody. you light up and then i put my shield up and just quietly walk back over to the other two <laughs> and that's whenever i light up next to him <laughs> except mine smells a little funny uh -oh. <laughs> oh my god are you getting high <laughs> Hell yeah. uh, is that drugs like scandal <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake um Although friendly and um, not necessarily talkative, but not shy either, uh, Icehorn has a habit of just kind of, you know, sitting back, relaxing, uh, helping out where he can, but doesn't really um, enjoy crowds. And I'm at uh. Gurkville, meanwhile, uh, he he's just like a kind of outgoing, and he ta tries to talk to everyone, even Will from, and uh, you know he tries to do the um, Armstrong thing from Full Metal Alchemist, where he tries to like do the flex, but he gets nothing in return, I assume. Um, but he also has like a notebook that every time he like learns something new that could be useful, he does like jot it down. He seems very inquisitive whenever someone speaks. Wow. Yeah. Well. Like Will from Bread have probably made it clear from the beginning that he's here to work and not really for fun. So he's games. No, I'm not here for games. <laughs> I'm here to do a job, and that's I. We're getting paid for this, I assume. Nope. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, aren't we getting like really, funding for you're this? You're getting paid. Paid. <laughs> you're getting paid. You're getting paid. Okay, well. Paid. Wasn't that well, mentioned in the player's guide? Doctor, wasn't that you, mentioned? I just. I you asked, over to the doctor. You asked Dr. Okay. Riddleton that question. What's I'm... in it for us? He looks yeah. at you confused. He's like, by knowledge, of course. Yo, I knew that was You'll cool. finally know what happened to you beyond those gates. And fame, no doubt. Perhaps even tenure. Or at least whatever treasure you discover. All right, that's fine. Does it really say tenure? Yeah, see? Question, what does tenure mean? <laughs> this you is get going to be, to be an a asshole long, and not do your job long and still get paid journey, for it. Isn't it? Look, I'm just <sighs> happy to be out of the forges. All right. I'm happy to be out here in the in the woods forges. and wilderness with everyone. What did you where did you come from? High Helm? Yeah, how'd you know? Uh, hate <laughs> that place. 
not that bad. It's just a little boring. No, hated that place. Well, this is similar to my usual life, so... Sounds like a great idea to me. I simply cannot relate, gentlemen. I am not used to so much interaction from other beings. Can I? As frequently as this. Can I? Can since Wilfram's been all over the place and around, since we're kind of in like prequel conversation mode, can I do just like a flat check to see if I've ever seen a uh, whatever the fuck they're called before? The uh, Rhino yes. people. Kashiri Kashrishi. Yeah. Kashrishi. Yeah, Kashrishi. Um, you can. Good luck, though. Yeah, I mean, you would, sure. you want to set a DC? It's just going to be a flat roll, no modifier. Uh, uh, yeah, well, go ahead. Yeah, you, you're... I mean... They're super I would, rare, so... Yeah, I would say it's probably at least a 17. Oh. Nope. Yeah, you would really have you to... You rolled before I gave it, but yeah, either way. Yeah, it's as soon as she would rocked, probably as soon have been a DC in. anyway. Yeah, you. I would have made. I was gonna make it about eighteen personally. And that's what I because would have said again, yeah. So, but yeah, it, like I say, as soon as he walked in, like everybody that was there, not that's just you guys, but it was like, what is that? What the fuck I, is that? Is, is it real? <laughs> well, strange bedfellows, I guess. Well, right. Ice Hornet seems like you're a crowd favorite. I. That is surely something. That you could say. Uh, favorite, I don't know. But as long as they don't start cutting me open to research me, I am okay now, with their stares. Do you tend to do that yourself? Cut myself no good. open? <laughs> no. <laughs> Other species. Uh, I try not to. But, okay, you good, know, good. as right. the village healer, sometimes someone needs something. Oh my god, we've got another surgeon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, we got another surgeon uh, on in the party, boys. It's I'm happening also going again. Into medicine a little bit. <laughs> I can't wait for uh, you guys to roll not ones on your medicine check and fucking get bullied <laughs> for the entire now, campaign. I'm not touching it. I can't wait for you guys to really get into my background story because you're gonna go, "What the fuck?" <laughs> but I won't. I won't reveal it. <sighs> All right. You gotta work for it. Well, if the money's <laughs> mainly in the adventuring and the looting, I feel like we should come to some sort of natural agreement as we are now. That, okay. that for the four of you, that is. I don't care about what you think, Doc. You're not going to be joining us, I assume. I not am going... not. Fantastic. I, I have. Uh... Wait, there's five of us. Well, no, yeah, I, I said four of you Riddle. because it's. I see. Because there are Six. four, <laughs> mine plus me, which would make five. Yes, I am. On the road to a city called Urigen, famous for half of its disappearing and reappearing at random intervals. It's been happening for decades, so perhaps unrelated to our present matter, but worth investigating all the same. So that's where I'm headed. Yeah. Well, in that case, any money that we come across or loot should be split between us evenly. I think that's fair. Anybody disagree with that sense? I don't know if you are all adventurers already, or if you, uh, or if That's you're completely to new to this. Is that what adventurers normally do? No, that's the problem. The last time I was with a group of adventurers, they shorted me. I had an initial payment, and then they didn't even, and then any additional things they didn't even bother with. So I want to make clear that it's we're all contract. splitting this evenly. Uh, yes, but they took me a lot. Contract. The contract didn't no, originally stipulate delving into a massive dungeon either. I normally make my money selling weapons and armor, but uh, this sounds a lot more fun. Depends on what your meaning well, of fun is. Playing in the streets is better for me. What do you guys do with your lives when you're not here? You know I what? Play music in a plaza. <laughs> you see a thousand yard stare. <laughs> oh boy. I'm generally killing mm -hmm. things. This is my normal day. Oh, at least you're honest. Honest? I haven't lied. I just sit there and uh, make armor and weapons, alright? It takes a lot of work. It's just kind of boring. I don't think that oh, was a I... jab at you. It was not. <laughs> oh, well, I assure I like you. The, 
It was not. It was not. It was not. It was not. I'm <laughs> sad at the end. <laughs> Eeyore <laughs> vibes. I'm getting Eeyore vibes. <laughs> okay. So oh, Dr. Riddle's been listening to your banter and he goes, well, do you have any other questions I might be able to answer for you? Or are you ready to get on with your research? Um, where are we staying? Um, is that for us to figure that out? That is for you to figure out. Uh, there are plenty of places in town to stay. Um, yes. I'm not going to lie, guys. I kind of spent the last of my money on this shield. <laughs> yeah, I don't suppose we could have some initial funds to at least buy us a place to stay for the night? You have everything you need on you now. I don't think he has any what money. What more could you ask for? Uh, That's the fair. shield is really shiny. That's fair. Yeah. I can just find some place in the woods to sleep. It's fine. I, I believe I have enough money left where I can, in fact, afford all of us. Uh, at least shared rooms. Maybe two to a room. Uh, fine. <laughs> all right. Really wanted to buddy up. <laughs> one day I might be able to afford a bigger shield that I could use as a roof out in those streets, but this one's a little too small. I'd rather be in a room. Well, from what I know about adventuring, adventuring is either extremely lucrative or not lucrative at all, so... I guess we'll find out. Well, then. I bid you farewell. Go speak with Fionara. I'm sure she'll be able to help you with anything else you may need. She has such she's, a lovely name. She's more local than I and has, I'm sure, contacts that I know nothing about. She's well, safe there. travels, my friend. As you as well. And I will wish you good luck and be on my way. Bye, Eddie. Well. <laughs> Bye, Later, Eddie. Gandalf. Peace, tranquility, and you shall not pass. Well, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> huh. Odd. A wizard and a monk. <laughs> sort of pulling in the Gandalf. Was he's he like, even yeah, a here's something super important. I'll leave it to you. I'm going to just disappear for, like, half the movie. I just Bro. assumed right. that he was one of those scholars, not even a wizard. Then all right. <laughs> Dumbledore be like, yeah, these 11-year-olds got this. You see, as he's leaving, he stops up and he's and he uh, he's talking with Fionara, and uh, they hug, and he heads on his way down the road with his entourage that he still has left, and heads out to the east. An entourage? How many people were always we east? With? You know, always. for somebody who's really dude, I love that game. <laughs> You know, for somebody who's really dead set on having us find information, he really seems unprepared. He, he... Aren't most people who want things done unprepared, sadly? Fair <laughs> point. Like I said, I'm pretty sure he was just broke. That's why he wouldn't spare any change. I'm, I'm gonna have to agree. <sighs> I'm kinda broke, too. Well, if we need money, I could go to the plaza and see what I can get from there. Or we can head to the lady's house. No, it's fine. I'm hoping she might have something that'll get us room for the night. Yeah, otherwise we could do uh, some downtime to make some money, I guess. I could also just sleep in the woods. I'm very good at that. After, all we, have been, really after all, we have been sleeping in the woods for three months. It's not exactly new. Or I have been sleeping in a tent. Oh, In the woods? In I mean, the yes, woods, but... yes. Like I've also been sleeping in a tent in the woods. Also, if you bought a like four-person a... tent, there like <laughs> four small people can fit in there very comfortably. I, it could I probably a, fit I, I all four small people and. Oh yeah, because the rhino is actually small. Yeah, yeah, I'm small. Yeah, I'm just fucking. Stop. We're all small except oh, Birdshot, yeah. who's almost yeah, seven feet tall. Yeah, his feet. <laughs> yeah, feet are sticking out. out. Yeah. He's got is his your, own tent. Is your token set to small? Because it'll look yeah. hilarious. I, hope uh, I don't small. know if my token is set to small. My token should my also be set to small. I don't know. I don't well, think we they do tokens it by now. default. Yeah, once we'll check when they. Yeah, yeah we'll uh, figure it we out. We get there when we'll we get there. But that'll be hilarious. It's All right. Small. Well, enough Bye fucking guys. around. Right now. Oh my god. <laughs> Reno's. All right. Well, huh? enough fucking Reno's around. Back. Let's actually get to work. We're here for a reason. 
Aunt Wilbram's just gonna walk over. Yeah, this okay. guy is really anxious to work for free. <laughs> yeah, I know, really. The faster we get to the actual dungeon delving and adventuring, the faster we get paid. Oh, I guess that's true. He knows what he's talking about. I've never done this before. <laughs> Neither. Oh boy. I very rarely leave my. All right, village, as you so. as you walk up to Fionara, you notice that she is a obviously she's a female elf. Um, she greets you. She's like greetings. She's like, I am Fionara. Like Doctor Riddleston told me that he was bringing five exceptional investigators with him to help me. I guess. Well, I don't know about uh, those four. At least one oh. exceptional investigator. Well, that is good to know. Remind me to let him die. As I told Dr. Eddie, I have some information I think you'll find useful. But if you want it, I need help with my own research first. As she points across the, bi the, the bridge that's over here. Oh, okay. He's like... I'd like to test a theory, but the oak stores still aren't letting elves into Seven Arches. To be honest, I'm not especially keen to test that rumor about the curse suddenly lifting, nor the uptick in art attacks from Gorgas, monstrous shadowy like fey creatures in case you didn't know what those were. She shrugs. What can I say? I'm a reader and writer, not an adventurer. So here's what I need. If you want to do this, Seven Arches is supposedly named for the cluster of seven Aldora in the middle of the city. Well, I've been going through old records, and I have reason to believe that those arches are fake. Decoys to draw attention away from the real arches. But if I want to publish my findings, I need proof. From out of her bag, she pulls out a long glass tube with a cluster of hollow bulbs at the end of it like a mace. This is an aura, an aura recorder I've keyed specifically to Aldara. When you pass it through an Aldara, it will record the gate's magical signature. I'd like you to go to the town center, then use this to read the aura of one of the gates there. If I'm right, this will prove that the aura of the supposed seven arches is all wrong for true Aldara. What do you say? Sure. As long as this um, gets us to our goal faster. I got one question. Ask your question. These arches in the center of town, are are we going to get in trouble if we go poke around near those? Or, uh... Well, you... I don't like we'll the deal with it. Of that we'll deal with it if it comes to if, that. If you're if you don't get caught, you won't <laughs> be in trouble. Perfect. Okay. Good enough for me. If you get caught. <laughs> so they're not like open to the public typically. Well, the the yes, you can go to the plaza, but the arches themselves um have uh you're not allowed to go into it into the area where the arches are I got them you have to off. have like special permission <sighs> yes in a sense um you'll see when you get there um you will have to be careful obviously there are guards around um but i can't really tell you how you're gonna do this because i don't know i've never been like there because again i'm an elf I don't want to t test out if the curse is there or not, you know. So and that's what the ivy walls are. Is there's a curse if you go past the walls? Uh or... no. If you go towards the the arches by the arches themselves. Oh, so I... elves could go all the way toward. But right. But go into the... okay. Up until the missing moment, if you were an elf, you weren't even allowed into the city walls. Oh. So, um, I I can go into the city. I'm guessing. Because I don't think that the um, Oaken Stewards would um, prevent me. Really but I'm really not uh, keen to test out that theory. Um, I don't want to cause trouble. Uh, but as far as the plaza itself where the arches are, um, I don't want to go anywhere near that, whether it's true or not, because I don't want to test it. 
because elves literally have been known to die from the curse when you got near the arches and don't want to do that. Right. No so bring the pipe thing over to the arches and then pass it through. Easy exactly. enough. Exactly. Anybody know how to be sneaky? Yes. Uh, I'm Define. a sneaky boy, so no. Uh, I'm just looking around at the party as I pull up the party sheet. I'm sorry, sheet. did you just I ask Define? We, we got yeah. one person who can do it. Quiet. Right. Uh, they can I... see me probably from the other side of the city, I'm going to be honest. Yeah, you're going to have to stay far away from the archer's spell. We all have plus one, except for yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's how it was for Emily. What do you so. mean you all have plus one? I'm plus five. I'm sorry. Question. I'm if we run into a Gorgus, how do we kill it? I assume like anything else. Slash They're it, fake. stab it. Give it a what, yeah, Willie? Those were the evil shadow beasts? Yeah. Yeah, that's why he's asking her. Fade, what? as far as I'm concerned, bleed and die like anything else. Have you ever tried to stab a shadow? A yes. And it worked? Yes. Generally need a magic rune of some sort, but it still works. It's just less effective. Okay. All right, it's out. Good. Keep notes. You'll I, learn a lot if I you think, do that. Uh... I think first step is to get through the wall, huh? That well, you can. Hard. You just walk yeah. in. Yeah. yeah, you can. You know, just try walking. None of us are elves. They should. We shouldn't have any problems. Well, who knows? Uh, I, I don't feel know. as though I should not stand by the arches as well. Is there a problem? Have you seen me? Have you seen me? Or not that you're not that much bigger than I am. I. That's. Sometimes I forget to look down. Here. You think the as I look arches. around, as I look around, as pedestrians are literally staring directly at me. Oh, I see. Sorry. Yeah, it's been a while since I've worked with a, a group. Uh, yeah, you'll just have to stay with Gurg, though. Diversion. Got it. I mean, I'm not the stealthiest. Person oh wait, if myself, we're doing diversions, so... I'm good at diversions. Yeah, I think uh, we'll do that, and you go stick the thing in the thing. Cause oh boy, I'm gonna come up with a speed <laughs> act in like five seconds. Let's go. Well, oh, as as you guys are discussing all this, Fionara, she's listening to you guys banter and and chatter back and forth, and she just goes, she's like, um, that she knows the the arches are a popular attraction, so they're are probably going to be, you know, quote unquote, people around. So um, you could always, um, I don't know what your guys' skills are as far as what you're good at, obviously. You can just hit, right. check the party Neither tab. As oh, no, I know. I'm just, I'm just saying that. I, I don't really. If she's saying it. Yeah. I see. I see. I thought uh, you went out of the voice a little bit, so I thought oh. you were talking about yourself. Oh, so. yeah. No, no, no. She says, so, um, you know, how you accomplish this task is obviously you know what you can do well, um, but uh, the oak stewards don't take kindly to troublemakers, just so you know. So discretion is probably better than confrontation, I guess. Um, she's like, you know what? And let me give you this. She gives you a, a standard disguise kit. It has five replacement cosmetics as well. Uh, so whoever wants to carry that, you can. Um, if this may come in handy, I don't know. Uh, there are no elves among you, so that is a plus. But in case you need a disguise kit, here you go. You can take this in case it uh, you come across a need to use it for a reason. I'll be right back. So, oh. just to confirm, there's the Shadow Beast dudes. The Gore guy, yes. The Gore guy. Mm -hmm. Then there's also City Guards? Uh, well, there are no Gorga in town. Um, those, are, those attacks are happening in the outskirts of town, not so much in town itself. Um, the Oaken Stewards are very... Um, uh, 
I guess, good at protecting the city. Uh, there's generally not a lot of problems in Seven Arches because they're they're pretty fanatical about keeping the arches safe. Um, so, so the Elgin stewards are the guards. They are the guards. Yes. Gotcha. Okay. Yes. The Oaken stewards are the guards. Um, as you as you guys have uh, found out along the way, obviously, and maybe it's just common knowledge in general, but um, the Oaken stewards are druids. Uh, this is a uh, druid town, city, however you want to say it. Um, it's, I wouldn't say it's a Art. city. It's really not big enough to be a city. I would say it's more of town size. It's not super huge, but it's also not super small. Bigger than um, a village, smaller than a city. There's there's less than 5,000 people that live in, in Seven Arches, she, mm. she tells you, ish. So, um, but it is uh, run by uh, Druid. So use that information as you will. Are there normally guards around the arches? There are. There are always guards around the arches. Even at night? Uh, even at night. It's, there's, it's, from what I understand, again, I've never been there personally, but from uh, information I have gleaned, uh, there are always guards in the area around the arches themselves. All right. Well, that's going to make things a little harder. But hey, uh, little magic guy. Yes? Do you still have the uh, trick to use the hand thing that you were doing earlier? Uh, no, I actually don't have that one. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> digitation. Fail RP. <laughs> Fail RP. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Kyle really, we literally <laughs> said that that's the one I'm trading out for shield. No, I thought you swapped press the digitation out for shield. I press digitation's too fun. God, fail RP <laughs> all over the fucking place. Hey, God damn it. He used Mage Hand or whatever it's called on the way here three months back. Okay, he must have just That's swapped fair. it out. That's valid. He's got a point. <laughs> fair enough. Wilfram probably wasn't paying enough attention. Uh, let's see. It. I got pressed. We were playing to games, I okay? Scratch. I don't know what you've been doing, but we've been having a hell of a time. These last I like to months. imagine that since we were in the woods and traveling for three months, Wilfram did 90% of the work setting up camp and things. <laughs> yeah. He made we the fires, he hunted the food, and... and he did literally everything. I don't know. Gur Gurgleth probably would have... Uh... Oh, yeah. Gurg uh, he would have probably enlisted help, but if he's yeah. too idiots... We need firewood. I bring back an entire I tree. Assisted. Bring back a tree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. No, it, it's probably Close just it Marb and Topher that did fuck all. Yeah, that trash. Wilfram, Wilfram would have very easily just taken command of, like, setting up camp and things and, like, directed people to go, like, oh, you collect firewood. You help get the tent set up. Yeah, I would have offered to use strength to help pick things up. I don't wood, think we but... need any more strength than what we already have. We've got, uh... Then that's why we played games. <laughs> you could have... And All right. Strength well. and smoke and... <laughs> yeah, here, like... One of them smokes. Yeah, like, do you need to help carrying that? No, it's kind of light. <laughs> yeah, I was like, uh, I could help you. No, we don't need help. Okay, I'm gonna go play games then. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to the dice. <laughs> Why are these fuckers not helping me? I don't know, maybe because you said you didn't need any help. Yeah, by the okay, end of the day. <laughs> I have a plus four to survival. That's about all I got for Oh, uh... that's actually helpful. That's actually yeah, cool. I, I got that. My nature's plus one, so. I got plus three to survival. What are you playing? A bard? Oh, yeah. right, that's right. Yeah. I got. Um, I'm going charisma, con, dex, and wisdom. My what unique my... skill set apparently no. is actually no, horse no. stabling, so I probably would have helped put the horses up every time we stopped. Oh yeah, you would have done have horses. About the underdark, I, I figured we'd wagon. have like a wagon or something. We didn't walk it. For, walk for three months. Six hundred miles. Wilfram probably would have walked every day. <laughs> I weigh like at least a ton. Do you yeah. think I'm walking it's my ass there? Yeah, four flags. You know, they they'd set up camp and like six hours later, here he comes walking. What? Yeah. Horse stabling lore? I have well, no idea. It's not like we're moving the horses like oh, super speed through the woods. Lore. True. True. <laughs> I have scouting lore, I guess. Anyway, I have underworld lore. Anyways. That. That idea yeah. of the the magic hand trick isn't gonna work, unfortunately. I'll figure something out. 
if we get into trouble, we'll deal with it when it comes. It's fine. I could technically throw it at it, but it'd probably break. <laughs> yeah, where did you, you know what? It's not worth the time asking. What the hell is it called now? Regardless. Oh, I... Mage hand? It's something Sexual else. Sexual no. hand or yeah. something? Yeah, no, tele like, tele telekinetic, telekinetic hand. hand. Yep. There you go. Well, regardless, <laughs> let's get moving. The faster we get this done, the faster we get the information. Right. We can move on. All right. Well, good luck. You will find me here in the caravan, Sari, when you come back. And uh, Godspeed. My God. Wolfram's already started walking off with the instrument. <laughs> He's just stopping, like, all dejected. Like He's not dejected. He's just a man <laughs> on a the mission. The tables have reversed between me and Brian's characters. Uh, where wow. can we find you uh, when we're done? She just said uh, she right here. find us. Right uh, you, here. Will, you find uh, me right here in the caravan okay. right I here. wanted to make sure she wasn't walking off. You know? Oh, yeah. No, no, no. I, I anxiously wait your return. I, I can't wait to okay. see what you find. I am still right. committed. Then I'll follow Wilfred then if I'm sure that she's not going to move. I'm sorry, Wilfred? <laughs> Wilfred? <laughs> you heard him. Wilfred. I'm Muarb and you're Wilfred. <laughs> You know what? Fair enough. I'm gonna stay back after they all leave just for a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna lean down to her and go, uh uh Eddie said that you'd be paying us for this as well, so uh Reward? It's like yeah. I am giving you information. This is an exchange of information. I hate scholars. Right, but I'm giving you information, uh, you're giving yeah. me information back. It's an exchange of information. <laughs> Right, I like information as much as the next guy, but I also like eating, you know? <laughs> I, I mean, look at me. Guard, <laughs> you coming or what? Oh, right. My Hold stubby on. ass legs, I'm like struggling yeah, yeah. to keep up with everyone. Uh, like, ah. You have to remember, me. your legs aren't much stubbier than literally the rest of the party. Hold on. Even yeah. the gnome's pretty well proportioned. I have to stop my gait. <laughs> Speaking of which, how tall is everybody in the party? I know you're 6'11", Guard Phil. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gurkville, give me either a like five flat. Uh, give me a diplomacy. I'm three foot tall. Oh, wow, you're I'm gonna almost go, I'm a gonna foot go for shorter a solid, than I am. Going for a solid three two. Yeah, I'm just an inch under four feet. I'm three eleven. Sorry, yeah, just I'm give me one second to find it. Uh, but you're an inch taller than me, Marv. <laughs> you're compensating for something, pal. Oh, I'm, I'm decent at this. Yeah, I'm uh, only five you? feet. Uh, uh, Diplomacy would be under your basic action macros. Your basic action macros. Oh, okay. It should just be listed under Diplomacy. Or make an impression, really. I don't see the, those uh, on here. Look. I'll help All you right. out. Give me a second. Oops, sure. Uh, fuck. I... What is he trying to do? Make an impression? Uh, yeah, he's doing a diplomacy uh, roll. Okay, if you open up your character sheet and go to proficiencies. Yeah, you could also just, just manually roll it. Yeah, or you can just manually roll oh, it. Oh, I see it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There's also a little drop down right above your picture in the oh. HUD. Oh. Yeah, it's not a good okay. impression. Uh, yeah, you, she's like, she's you like trust me. The information that I have for you is worth way more than any kind of monetary value that you would get. Kind of sounds like she's not going to feed us. Can we at least have a place to stay tonight? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, this isn't... Uh, I have plenty of space that I can set you guys up in once you come back. Absolutely. Oh, thank you. I oh, appreciate you it. You're most welcome. And again, good luck. I look forward to your return. He uh he does like a short bow that you know, and uh, he goes off to catch up with the rest of the party. Probably take that long. Yeah, although Wilfram did yell back at you, he hasn't stopped moving. <laughs> I probably hung back to stay like right between everybody. Yeah, yeah I catch him in two seconds. I'm too short to see you by this guy. <laughs> uh, make your impression on me. is in the exploration tab of basic oh, action okay. macros. That's oh, why okay. I wasn't in the. Oh. Like, there's three hey. different tabs now. Right. That's silly. 
So, Gersh, oh, yeah. you, you you were the only one that stayed back to talk to her. So, yeah, I yeah. just rolled it to check. Yeah. It. Oh no, I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> My minus one to diplomacy. Yeah. Do we yeah. need? Speaking of, well, do we need to uh, get uh, exploration activities queued up, or are we uh, just no. good in town? No, no, right. no. You're just. Can you're we good just to talk go. about how we're like the seven fucking dwarves rolling in, and then we got goddamn giant from. You could call Jack me Snow White. Yeah, I'm gonna say yeah. four dwarves and Snow White. <laughs> <laughs> Muarb, Muarb, I, 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 I want to ruin your night and let you know that even with your minus one, that is what you needed to roll. <laughs> I mean, the 14 would have been enough. Yep. Yeah, the 14 would have been enough. Get fucked. No way, man. <laughs> Get fucked. <laughs> That's just disrespectful. Is that a right. dwarf phrase? <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> Is that a dwarf phrase? I believe what a it's dwarf more phrase. of a... Uh... Get fucked. Oh, yeah, that's oh, a dwarf word. phrase. You hear that a lot in dwarf towns. <laughs> yeah. Dwarf's just New York people. Yeah. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. All dwarves are Hey, man, New what's York going on? Is. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> hey, oh, watch shit. it. Oh, goodness. Walk in here. I'm walking oh, right. here. Yeah. So you guys are are following uh, Will from these uh dwarf on a mission just striding forward and you guys walk to the uh to the city gates and you see a couple guards there and they pay you no mind you just walk on through the gates and head on into the city mm. so you basically uh come into the north of this bridge here which crosses this river and uh Enter into Seven Arches. Um, I am going to obviously not go near the arches where they need to go, but I'm going to go distract the guards, really chat them up a bit. Well, we've still got some distance to travel here. Let's, um, oh, yeah, you got to let's wait right here, to right? make this. Yeah, yeah, we're still yeah. entering town. Let's, uh, yeah, you guys are down here. Yeah, we got to so. get all the way over here. Yeah, so it's going to take you a bit, you know, know, winding through. I don't know why I was expecting. I'm going to keep an eye out for, like, apothecaries and shit like that. Clinics, things of that nature. Can we get, like, a Venice boat and go down the river? It's... They probably have those. I don't think we'll set. A couple of us are wide. You know, I don't know what I was expecting when I heard the name Seven Arches. I think I was just expecting a town full of tree houses and a couple arches in the center of it. I don't think I wasn't really expecting a bustling town here. That's kind of complicates well, things. At a glance, the entire city is built atop the stone ruins of a pre earthen elven settlement, and much of it is repurposed architecture that is still visible beneath the wooden human additions that you you see through. Um, there are vines everywhere that are covering everything. Every surface of the city is covered in vines. Trees and shrubs line the streets and flourish as you're walking through um, and uh, flourish in the park areas. And there are many residents um, that are going to and fro. And you notice that a lot of the buildings were built around trees instead of having the trees cut down in place to make the building. They built the building around the trees and the uh, natural foliage. So, That's kind of cool. Hmm. So yeah, it's um like I say, there the you do notice that the majority of the people you see around are uh, mostly human. I mean, it's like um, so we look entirely yeah. out of place. Well, not so entirely. I'm hella but, is what you're saying. But the majority of the population is a human population. You do mm. notice that. Let's so. see. All right. Well, let's continue moving. Enough time Music's wasted. Music's nice and peaceful. Around. And as you walk through, as you as you first entered there too, you see the ivy wall as you got closer, the one I mentioned earlier. And uh, the ivy wall is literally exactly what it says. It's um, just interwoven throughout the entire outer, you know, as much as you can see of it anyways. But um, it's literally interwoven ivy. And it looks like it's a very uh, sturdy um, looking green wall, basically. 
druids and their weird ass magic. <laughs> it's just nature. I no, that's definitely druid magic. Yeah, tomato, tomato. The made it. No, it's very different. Uh huh. <laughs> Have you ever seen a druid? Yeah, they're the ones that can turn into bears and stuff. We had some back home. There's a certain type of druid, yes, but uh, there are actually a lot of different types of druids. Ooh. Like Moonkin. Yeah, since you're more used to D&D than Pathfinder. Uh, yeah, no, 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 I know, I know. There's a specific yeah. type of druid in this. I game. know, I know. <laughs> well, assuming that he's from orc lands, I mean. Uh, that's true. Yeah, sense. that's more what he would druid see than anything, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, yeah. It's more like point. shamanistic druid. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Oh, and he starts writing it down like there are more types, and it's like exclamation mark at the end of it. There's like nine exclamation marks. Over is now trying yeah. to look over your shoulder as you're writing. As I said, <laughs> if, you <laughs> take, <laughs> if you take notes like that, you're going to learn a lot on this journey. I always do notes. Chicken, that's what my master told me. Is there going to be a quiz? Be I don't know. Do you want one? He's taking notes. Uh, I'll be right back. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Right can I, uh, <laughs> Can I cheat off of you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sitting All next right, to I'm ready for the quiz. <laughs> you know what happens to well, cheat? Kirtil and right. I have to sit next to each other, but I am ready for the quiz. Yeah, you know cheaters are usually the ones that live. Right? Yeah, they live. They usually do live longer. But they lose more fingers. I don't know. I have all ten. <laughs> ah. See, even the rhino knows the basics. Yeah. And I... Very this is gonna be a hell knowledge. of a couple months, isn't it? You're doing great, Icehorn. You're doing great. I appreciate that. Thank you. There's this a lot is... of um, a lot more staring than I anticipated, but uh, I guess I should have. You well, get used to it. Let's just say you're not your uh species, whatever. I don't know what oh, you're yes. called. Isn't exactly common around here. I've been all the way around from Absalom to Ustalov, and I have to say I've never seen one of you before. That is quite intentional, my What dear are your companion. people called, by the way? I wanted to ask that, but I felt it was too prying. But since point, the question I've is already out my there... Notepad. <laughs> I mean, it might be on the quiz. So I Wait, know. can I roll uh, and see if I know? Yeah, yeah you know <laughs> what? it be funny? It. Yeah, I mean, it was a DC, like, what, did he set 18? 18. What was yeah. it? It oh, was just I... a flat D20, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> you have the the rhino, obviously. Well, well uh, not quite, but... I got 13. <laughs> I'm curious. So, uh, like... My people and I are called... Oh, so oh, close. Oh, so close. Oh, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the rolls are so good today. <laughs> my people I'm and I are called Kashiri. Where do you come from? Like, uh, we come from a northern part, uh, just above the island of. Oh gosh, sorry. You know, it was like Jelmaya or something. Yes. Or Jelmaya, 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 J A L M E R Y A Y. I live uh, in a village about north northeast of uh, Jelmaya. And, uh, however, that's not all where we can live. That's just where my tribe specifically is from. Hmm. Too uh, far south. No wonder I've never seen you. And aside also on from an myself, island. that doesn't help. Yes, aside from myself, um, you probably will never see another one of me. We don't like to leave our areas often. Questions for later. <laughs> You're like, I'm sure. sticking that in the feather. <laughs> Why didn't you want to go back then right after instead of this? Uh, my goddess spoke to me in a dream. And she said that I was to assist adventurers. No ah. questions for later. <laughs> True. And True. that you would require my help at some point. Ah, hey, classic right religious there. people, yeah. honestly. A mess always said if something speaks to you in a dream, it's probably a demon. That's what I always well, thought, but you'd be he has surprised. Not led me astray yet. I've seen more wandering clerics than I have wandering cultists. 
Ugh, don't get me started with the cultists. Maybe it's well, the I've nice definitely demon. never met a... True. I've never met a rhino that does evil things before, so benefit of the doubt, yes. Well, you've never met a rhino before, so that I would make it. sense. Benefit also, I eyes. wouldn't judge them. Yeah, I wouldn't judge their alignment until we actually start to get into, you know, the actual fun part of this adventure. What's alignment? True. <laughs> I'm talking alignment. I... I'm talking alignment as in our universe alignment, <laughs> not as a game mechanic. Thank you very much. Like, like, like their morals, yes. Yes, that's. I that's appreciate what I you not judging my character based off of what you do not know. Exactly. Well, friend, who said this? <laughs> even if we were, even though we walked for three months, we really don't know much about each other. So I wouldn't judge books yet. We haven't exactly seen what each other can do effectively yet. Can you read? I was really hoping Gurk thought. Can I read? Say, What's a book? <laughs> that would have been. Who hilarious. did you ask? Who who could read? I asked you that. You asked me if I can read. Yes. Yes, yes. I can read. I was. I fa no. Fascinating. What do you mean fascinating? That's extremely common. Most people can is it? read. Can it, they? I just want to say yes. I know what a book is. Thank you very much. I am not saying this. <laughs> I want to sense I motive want on that. I I don't. I I want to sense motive on that. I don't trust <laughs> fucking. Okay, great. do it. Sure. <laughs> you want to set the DC? You set the D. Yeah. Sure. Ten. Okay. The so sense motive roll. <laughs> That's a secret check, so you're gonna have to tell me what the check is. You, oh, you, oh, the number you want me to tell you? Uh, no, actually, just yeah, it's a secret check. So just tell me if I think he can read or not. No, you, Given... you look at him. You're, you're, yeah, he's, he looks scholarly to me. <laughs> yeah, twenty. All right. He looks like he isn't no, lying, though. You no, would get, he... oh, true. no matter what you gather, that it looks like he's just like dead serious, but. Yeah, I think uh, he's yeah, you're looking at Kirkville and you're like, oh, yeah, right. he can read. Definitely. Yeah, don't judge a book by its cover. Absolutely. I, I certainly <laughs> didn't. <laughs> uh, this entire conversation about like book. reading and stuff, uh, Icehorn is not being like saying it in a condescending tone. He's like genuinely fascinated I, can, that like other people, other races can actually read. Can you read? I can read. I don't know why. It, okay, yeah, I can also read in two languages. I'm just more curious really? why it was brought up. Is that not common where you come from? It's not that it's not common where I come from. It's that there's not much that we know about outsiders. Oh, okay. Do you know? There's a lot of information coming out, and I'm really worried a lot of this is going to be on the test. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make You're me like, write one. Don't make me write one time. just to make your life difficult, kid. <laughs> I like games. Tests aren't games. Oh. You have to go back and watch the video and take notes. <laughs> that's cheating yeah. cheaters lose fingers so i assume what we've been doing all this as we're walking along yeah. the river all the way down toward the yeah. plaza or... yeah. i don't imagine we stopped to there... have this little chit chat yeah, are there any like food stalls on the way uh there are i mean it is just after noon we don't even have enough money uh, for rooms is uh, don't worry i have money, money. Have i didn't money. spend it all no oh fuck's sake I'm gonna pick yeah. up some kebabs if I can on the way over. Oh, I respect God. that. I'm gonna have to sell my body. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think, so, can I borrow some I don't money? Think anybody wants that. <laughs> I, I can definitely try to make us money in the plaza. I don't think we need to go that far, Marb. <laughs> I'm sorry, oh, but I don't good. think anybody wants that. Well, I guess I can. Well, make you'd some be surprised with some preferred. Dead. <laughs> But yeah, as you guys are cruising through, uh, you come across the other bridge, um, and you just come across stalls as you're going. It's uh, again afternoon, market time. How many apothecaries have we passed? Like at least one? Uh, no, not quite yet. You haven't. No medical clinics or anything either. No, it's probably you. You surmise it. It's uh, probably more middleish of the city near the center so that it's within distance of most Everyone. areas of the city. Gotcha. Uh, this way you don't have to travel cross town to get to if there's an emergency or something. How considerate. So, 
Except for the people that live on the outskirts. Well, yeah, well. But fuck those guys, guys, right? They can't afford to live close. Yeah, they're the poor. They don't get medical care. That's why they're outside with the pink. Let's be real (laughs) white. What? I'm sorry? What? Kyle said something. Uh, it's feudalism. That's how it works. Yeah. They got to They're outside the walls. They don't get okay. out. Well, in the area that you guys uh, did enter, uh, the outskirts of the city from that northwest area, um, on your map, there's the Seven Sisters Tannery right there. So, needless to say, in that area, it it doesn't smell the greatest because of the tannery. Um, just so you know, that that's probably considered the slums lower the old lower end of town what the lower fuck the is city. a tannery i'm gonna be honest that's where you tan and, and, and tanning and hide, tanning yeah. hide oh. and, you know making leather and things i like see that. it's your leather worker yeah that's where the missing people go got it i don't <laughs> think that's how that works <laughs> you'd be surprised i think you'd be surprised you didn't even know that dwarves normally know how to read. <laughs> In yeah, my defense, I, know how to read. I didn't very know if anybody knew how to read. You can read, so I figured you'd assume that if you could read, others could read, but all right. I don't know how other races teach their children. To read. <laughs> yes. I can read. Can you, you act read? as if okay. we are all raised the same. Obviously, we are not. I guess that's a fair point. Can you speak goblin? Why would you ever want to speak such a disgusting tongue? I would have to. I don't know. You We did a lot of uh, shady dealings with them for materials and for my uh, smithing days. I can speak Fey and Gnomish. I just want to point out. No way. I don't. I didn't know reading was a thing until about five years ago. So. You know. Everyone works at their own pace. Wilfram starts to doubt his intuition about Gurdenfell's knowledge and, like, <laughs> education. <laughs> My point stands. Not mm. everybody is raised the same. I also speak Elven. Oh, okay, yeah? I'm just impressed. You're just showing off. I got a lot of uh, random knowledge on language for some random reason. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, race four race? languages. Anyway, I think uh, we're approaching the right. plaza, so let's actually formulate a plan here. <laughs> so which direction? Well, I can you earn money as a distraction. Are you going to? I'll just stand there. I'm plenty of distraction. Because you can, you got this. Uh... Wow, that's actually kind of interesting. Yeah, we could come from. A yeah, few in any direction. So I just figured we were gonna follow the river all the way up to yeah, this that's bridge or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and probably I'm guessing that down here well, there's a walkway that yeah. leads from the bridge into the because this is I, as you can see on the map it is cut off mm. as if, as if it's an island. Well, no, I think I'm going no the right of the justice house would be a bad idea. There's probably more guards over there. I am no expert, but I feel like it would be best if not all of us walked in together at the same time. You're actually quite intuitive. Good. All right. How about this? We'll split into two groups. One of us approaches from the east, one of us approaches from the south. Plausible deniability. If if a few of us get caught, not all of us do. And then we can figure things out from uh, there. I think the bard here is going to want to do some distracting music, and uh, I know a a thing or two. I know a thing or two about society, so I might be able to help pull out specific demographics that might be more attuned to wanting to hear his music. People love staring at me. So if we go one way, distract, and the uh, rhino goes a different way to distract. Well, imagine if the rhino was dancing. Um, yeah. Well, here's what I'm thinking. This is actually, uh, you actually no. have a very good point. Marb, how about you, Tover, and Icehorn go to the south side? Big guy, you're with me. We'll go to the, from the east. They'll draw everybody okay. to the south, and we'll see what we can do. Well, if you can't jump the distance, I could just toss you. 
I would rather you not. I can just <laughs> toss you. In fact, hey, there's no elves in the walls. In you fact, don't have to tell them. Never toss me. I don't want to be tossed. Listen, it might come up at some point where I need to. I don't think that's going to come up. Man, you never I really know. I've been up. doing this for almost 200 <laughs> years, and I've never been in a situation where I've thought, man, I could really use some big guy to toss me. Well, well maybe in the 201st year. <laughs> you, <sighs> you never know. It's unlikely. Could happen. All right, so who's going south again? Icehorn? Me, me, Tover, and... Marb. 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 Marub. Tover. Maruba. And Marb. Arugula. And uh, I don't know if that was obvious, but my Arugula. goal is to aid um, the Tover. Tover performance check. And using yeah. my society, if possible, to right. aid. And who's going? Were you going to the east side? Is yeah, that what it, me and Gurgthil are going to the east. Gergthil. How are your yeah. eyes, Gurgthil? Oh, they're real good. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, no, for oh, real. They're real good. Boy. Okay. I could even see in the dark perfectly. I was more asking for the sake of being a Ooh. lookout, but all right. Oh, yeah, that too. Check this out. All what right. Know? Hold on. Oh, nobody Kyle's knows. not small yet. <laughs> nobody even. And nobody is small. Hold on, I'm starting to move without. Why do I get the well, feeling that we're going I'll to get, get into a fight out, here? Like, it's like the map. It's like the environment has changed because you are small. Question: It's not called uh, perception in this. What would it be called? No, it would be perception. Oh, is it, perception. Oh, is it? Uh, perception. I'm if you go uh, on the I'm left medium. side of your character sheet. Instead of in your skills, dwarves perception are medium. Oh, dwarves I see. Okay, I'm good at it. Dwarves are medium. Yeah, I thought they were medium. I yeah, they're like they five foot, four foot. Yeah, it's right. It's built right into the dwarf ancestry. And found You're built like a brick shit house. I guess that's fair. <laughs> yeah. I'm built like a regular human being. I guess we are medium. <laughs> okay, never mind then. I'm just dumb. It happens. It's because your stockiness. <laughs> yeah, that's you fair. Said it. All right. I've so never denied guys... the fact that I am an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when you guys enter the plaza, you see seven stone archways that stand in a neat circle in the central Let town plaza. Zoom out. Each arch is 20 feet tall and 10 feet wide with multicolored lights of unknown provenance warp and weave across the arch's stone faces. Surrounding the arches is a circle of dwarf oak trees just 10 feet tall. Oh, this music is bumping. A hempen rope tied around the tree trunks forms a barricade whose only gap is just south of the arches. Shops, inns, and merchant wagons surround the busy square on all sides. To the southeast, here, between you two guys, is a small podium that rises five feet high. So that's what you see once you enter the plaza. So there's like a rope, uh, a rope yes. barrier. Like it stretches yep. all the way from the tree trunk to the ground. Yep. How high uh, well, off the ground it, does it go? No, it, it's on the ground. It runs on the ground in between all the trees. Oh, so somebody could just step over it. Yes. Fantastic. Yes, yes. Perfect. I just want to look at something here real quick. Da, 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 da. Look at the uh, adver adversary token border art in this pack. It's pretty cool. Okay, I have an idea. Oh, God. Oh, God. I never if it involves throwing me, I'm not going to be happy. No, no, no. <laughs> not you. Not you. So that thing, if you stand on the other side, I could actually just throw it through a gate and you just have to catch it. Are you good at catching? <laughs> or I could just... If I'm going to get to stand on the other side anyway, I just bring it yeah. with me and pass it underneath. Yeah, but backup plan. I would have to be on the other <laughs> side regardless. Uh, details. We'll figure it out. Uh, well, seeing that I have the instrument, I think I'll figure it out. Okay, then you throw it and I catch. It's not that difficult. No. So where are you going to set up shop here, uh, Tober? Uh, just, well, they're going from the east and we're going to do from, like, southwest. You, you just keep an eye out, and I'll figure right things out. Okay. Yeah, somewhere around here. 
I'll game be, is paused, I'll go by around. The way, if you, unless you intended it for it to be paused. He's reading. Oh, he's reading. I am. I'm reading something at the moment. You also see him eating a kebab next to his oh, ogre. I'm going to do the thing food? where I food walk stall? around to like groups of people and like, oh. come on, come on, come check All out right. the bar. Trying to use society if possible. That's what my goal is for Tover. All so right. then, oh. I don't know. Are you going to dance, hippo, rhino? Hippo? Hippo? Hippo. <laughs> hey, fucking excuse oh you. Hippo. I still oh. don't remember what the name before. of the thing is. So before we uh, continue, while he's reading, uh, just as a heads up for everybody except oh. me and Kyle I who are you. aware. Uh, so if you, if you have your token selection and press F, you can flip. For one. Ooh. So if you're talking like to somebody, way. you can face them. Also, uh, more, important, more important than that. Uh, All right. uh, more important for that, mainly for you, Reno, because this happens to you the most. Press Shift and K at the same time. Yes, Marb's doing it. There's an AFK button. AFK. So you can mark when you fuck off so we don't have to guess. <laughs> you can also just right click yourself and hit this the little is AFK for you, button. Reno. Damn. <laughs> There's also the right click and the AFK button that makes things easier. Hey, so I'm touching the AFK. Don't discriminate. That's specifically All right, there so because you, so many you see times uh, people obviously around the area. You see this guard standing here, and um, you notice a wandering guard. There only seems to be the two. Um, this one's like walking a patrol, you know, around. Uh, when he, you know, gets to he this guy, you'll see him. He's just talking. They seem very relaxed. You know, they're they're paying attention, but they're not like, you know, Ur, you know, we're doing our, got to do our job. Blah, blah, blah. They're just like really relaxed looking, you know. Uh, he's This one's leaning, you know, up against uh, his staff, not really like watching watching around you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and then after he's done talking he goes on his way you know yeah, doing his patrol again they change the map okay that's fine so just saying all right so i'm waiting for them to get their distraction ready but essentially we're gonna wait for that guy to get to about there where he is now see that <laughs> Gert Thill? yeah and then i'm gonna try to sneak oh uh, sneak and go above the rope and just pass it through the nearest portal Ah. Sounds like a good plan. Do you want a kebab for energy? <laughs> sure. Why not? Hey, I'll give you one of them. I'm just gonna scarf it down real quick so I don't have to worry about holding it while I'm holding this instrument. <laughs> yeah, he nods his head in approval, yeah. <laughs> well, he's not and if the guard comes up, uh, do you want me to knock him out if he's going to see you? Let's try to avoid making a uh, enemy of the town. They won't know it's me. I. They'll know it's me though. Mm. Oh yeah, that, 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 that's the only reason. They have so backup plan. So what I are you guys planning on doing here? Uh, I'm gonna well, wait for I'm them to, to start, start the distraction. distraction. Yeah. Are you, so okay. He wanted to play music. And okay. then I wanted to aid his performance check with me my like society, a... if possible, to like give me like around local songs the... that might work better. Mm -hmm. People trying to use my knowledge of the society around me well, to help them. This you surmise that this platform here is something used. Uh, it looks like it's a podium used uh, for like pronouncements or anything like that, or. You know, if someone wants to get someone's attention, they would use this platform. Um, you know, like if uh, an announcement needed to be made, someone would go up there and say, hey, everybody, blah, 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 blah. It's what, simply what it looks like. Just an FYI. Or if society is a weak uh, way to aid, I could I, I pick up the rhino? In one hand, using athletics. You're gonna to try pick to... up the rhino in You're one hand. Pick me up. Yeah. I'm gonna use athletics to pick her up or him up as he's dancing to make even more of a like a What's spectacle. Stuff? I don't I think you're gonna be dance. physically capable of doing that. <laughs> yeah, you should take me creature. if you wanted that. It, it, I will. 
but you're small. <laughs> you're <I'm> dense. <laughs> Let's see the the weight. Oh, of the... I thought weight was based on creature size. That's weird. No, nope. it's based on race. Race plus a modifier. Wolf play. Okay. okay. Then I want to use athletics to do something cool, like pick up something All right, else. Well, if, look. Well, are you gonna go over to the podium? Is my next question. Yeah. Yeah. He was talking about the stage, right? Yeah. So we want. All right, Gartel. If they're gonna move over to the stage, come here. We're going up this way. I want to get it. Thinking about it. I'm just gonna uh, pretend. This like guy I'm... just doesn't yeah. really take notice because again, of all the people around, he's just. I mean, he's he's just he saw seeing you walking by. Obviously, yeah. you know this guy's continuing his. Uh, his just walk around. You see him talking, Wilfram, stopping and talking with some of this, some of this, these stall people. And Wilfram has mastered the art of looking like he should be places when he should not be places. He's okay. constantly got that look on his face where I should be here. I'm not really attempting a check. I'm oh, just, like you're going to the I'm backstage? To, yeah, I'm just, I'm not going into the thing. I'm just making it appear like Wilfram has that face. I'm not actively a checking to, attempting to deceive or anything. He's just. He, he just. Like yeah, how I, people I belong stop here. you if they think you have somewhere to be. Yeah, it's not like when you walk into a place you don't think you're supposed to be and you're like looking around and all nervous. He's like yeah. straightforward, mm -hmm. deadpan, like I'm here. I'm here for a reason. I'm here. Hear me roar. Also, if the tune <clears throat> is uh Alright. So um is uh recognizable enough or close enough to uh my tribe's own music or like beat uh i'll do i'll do a little like uh a little jig hey little how do i change um jig. reno's token to say his character's name all right oh uh, um hmm. in the actual actors list yep where you want to right click them and uh, edit the token uh, You're also gonna have to do that with a. Yeah. Or, I guess maybe yeah. the easier way would be to to open him from the party so that you're in his character sheet. Yep. And at the top there should be prototype token. Yep. And then I'll change the that. token oh, name no, there. Oh, token name there. I figure if you press Shift F, you can just flip like that. You can that. also just yeah, right click yourself and then do the mirror buttons that are there. Over. Oh, I thought yeah, we removed but... the mirror buttons. No, they're they're still there for me. Oh, maybe well, it's a client it's individual. Uh, while they're getting things well, set up, so on you the change stage. the prototype token, which means any time that you like spawn his token, it'll use those settings. But the current token that's already spawned, you'll have to delete. Oh, re okay. Re All right, that's well, fine. We'll leave it as that for now. While they're attempting to get up on the stage and do their thing, I'm gonna make a seek check on the rope and see if there's like not sort of magic and a magical alarm that I should be worried about. Well, is Reno doing just, uh, his yeah, detect I'm gonna... magic? Uh, well, yeah, but detect magic at level one is garbage. It just tells you that yeah, there's, but magic there's magic in the radius. But it doesn't yeah, tell you where or And if the rings are, yeah. Yeah, yeah but it could be literally any magic. magic within the radius. This spidey sense is just magic. going the whole time. I would oh, like to assist over there, Kyle? Okay, so I you want to do a what yeah. again? I would like to seek, and apparently uh, you... Gergthil wants to aid. You want to seek. So how aiding works is you roll a check. Uh, I think it's the same, or it, I think it's the same kind of check. So you would also roll seek. Uh, well, then, it's you have to make an argument for how you're helping the primary check. Yeah, so how I was trying to I was trying to argue either athletics or society to help his performance, so he oh, can aid your okay. seek in any way that he could argue to the DM. Uh. He has, he's read a lot of books, for real though, and he's actually yeah. able to kind of, uh, his master has always told him to like take in new information, and so he's kept a lot of things in the back of his mind, like alarms, when he goes so into a place, so you're gonna, you're gonna, basically you're gonna break out your notebook, and you're gonna start, and start flipping through, through it, it, yeah, to, like look to see if I find anything, yeah. Would that be a recall uh, knowledge aid check? Uh, yeah. I would but, say that's a good call because but, but you have specifically to... recalling knowledge with which. Uh, that's so point. you still have to choose a skill that you're yeah, using, you gotta right. even to recall knowledge. Uh, um, probably it would have to be probably intelligence, right? I was gonna say if you're if you're thinking yeah. it's 
there's a magical barrier or something that would be an arcana check, wouldn't you say? Uh, one sure. of the yeah. magical skills, arcana. Yeah, yeah. you can't you can't use possible. intelligence because it's not a skill; it's an attribute. So it's oh, okay. a specific skill. Yeah, so I think you'd have to make it um, either arcana or occultism, whichever is your best. <laughs> don't worry, they're both zero. Oh, well, oh, there you go. Well, just don't roll ten below what you need to roll, because then you'll actually... Yeah, fail doesn't do anything, right? Yeah, fail doesn't do anything. Critical fail actually gives me a penalty on the check. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it does. Don't worry, it won't be a crimson fail. Then you go. Nope. Uh-oh. Oh, boy, I thought you were going to nat one, I'm not going to lie. That's probably not a crit fail. Uh, it depends on the DC. I'll make my seek check now. Yeah. I'll place it in a 30-foot... Or a 15 foot burst, like here. And I'm just gonna seek in that area to see if I can tell any magical wards or any magical things. I know I have to roll that. Well, let's just hope that wasn't a good sure I don't exactly have me, but. Uh... Um, you. With the aid of Gurgstall. Um, you look in the area and you can't really tell if there's anything yay or nay. It just looks like a rope. Um, but you're not 100% sure. I don't see anything, but that doesn't mean there's nothing there. But I think we just have to take the risk. We could toss something over it and see if it goes off. We could. All right. While you guys are doing that. Uh, you guys down here, Muar, what do you want to do again? Um, I was going to try to argue for athletics, or if that's not a good enough to help the performance of... Are you going to dance? Uh, no. That's, yeah, I think that's what the other aid would be. So mine would probably be, I'm trying to recall knowledge society to to think of applicable music or songs that sure. the performer would want to use. Absolutely. You can do that. Okay. So then let's see here. Basic action macro aid. Tover being a bard can also do recall knowledge if he so chooses to oh, because he's that. a bard. And uh, he would have knowledge, I would think, of uh, regional favorites. Okay, oh, so God. um, I'm going to roll a society check. Do you know what the DC would be to successfully help him? Um, I'm going to put it at about a 13. And I think it's supposed to be the same DC yeah, the as same the DC actual, as the whatever his performance check is going to be to mm -hmm. successfully distract. Mm -hmm. That's what I should have to beat to help him. Okay. Oh, um. So if you don't want to say the DSC out loud, I just won't use this macro and I'll just roll manually if I see Just roll manually, that's fine. Okay. Oh. I'm that not sure. Me. Oh. You're not sure. <laughs> yeah, that was me. That was you, okay. Uh, then I will do a society roll. Also, you can delete that seek uh, circle. If you want to. Thank you. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. Look at you. Well, there you go. That's a really good roll. You, uh, you do get an idea of what the people in this region like, uh, and you impart that to Tover. And I do not like the music, therefore so I do not dance. give him help. So if I just succeeded, yep. it would be a plus one, plus one. to whatever he rolls. If I yep. critically succeed, then it would be, yeah. Yep. So you get, uh, Tover, you get a plus one to your performance roll. Awesome. All right, and so then, I'm good to go, or... Oh, no, she's doing a dance. Well, she's going to do it, too, but keep in mind it's a circumstance bonus, so even if she succeeds to give you a plus one, they I don't, don't stack. They don't it. stack, yeah. yeah. But if she but crit she, successes... Or if she crit fails... Then or if she crit, then it goes down to... Yeah, so... I don't know, actually, how that works. Uh, I think I would it just say, gets circum yeah, I think it cancels itself out. I think a circumstance yeah, bonus and a circumstance penalty both apply. Oh right. Yeah, yeah it's minus one plus one. Bonuses don't whatever. stack and penalties don't stack, right. but they but work together against they each upset. Other. Right. You would take the the highest of the two, whether it's a fail or a success. Oh my god. Ooh. 
Oh, Ooh. well, snap. Dude, I am fucking killing this dance. Damn. With a plus one. <laughs> Man, Holy I'm about to one on my perform. What the fuck? All right. Yeah. Well, you see Icorn getting ready, limbering up like, Obstruction. you know, this dude is like twinkle toes light on his feet. And he's just waiting for you to start playing. Y'all never saw it coming. So you can add a plus two to your performance deck. He's like, I got this. I know one's seen a short, fat rhino dance before, and I'm going to show these people what's up. A dance of my people, if you will. I am leaving an impression today. That is a... Uh... Well, that's a sight. Can't yeah, say we're I ever distract thought. the two of over there that are supposed to be working. We can barely see him because he's so short behind all the people. <laughs> like, I, I know. Only, yeah. Wolfram's just like, and, he's up on the I see it. What the fuck? I was going to say, Gerstow can see him. Like, what? What? Look at him oh, gone. gone. Look at that that's little so guy dancing. Going. There isn't even any music yet. <laughs> He's speaking cutting of, a rug. Speaking of which, I don't think it was made clear. Are you male or female, Hisorn? Hey, male. I'm male. Female? Okay. Male. He's a dude. No, I'm male. He's dude. Oh, you're dude. male. Okay. Male. Oh, He's a dude. What a fucking sausage fest we've got here. <laughs> <laughs> I think All right. I'm going to do my perform at plus one, yeah. You get a plus, plus two. two. You get a plus, plus two. two. You're I, which probably Ice means Horn it's a DC 10 for the distraction. Is dancing his ass off. Dude, I am shaking the booty. Please Ooh, don't say that. There it is. Wow. Six. All right. You start I playing. Did the plus two. Yep. Oh. Yeah. No. So it'd be oh, you already did the plus two? Yeah. Oh, it's yeah, just in there. In. Oh, okay. All right. So you start playing and you know exactly what these people like. You rack your brain. You're like, oh, I get it. This region enjoys this type of music. So you start playing and you start drawing a crowd. Well, the guard over here at the front of the gate is. You can see him tapping his foot, but he's not leaving his post. But this guy, he starts walking down to see what's going on because he's really enjoying what he's hearing. Perfect. So he's going to come down to here. When he gets far enough away, amongst, I'm just stand gonna, amongst the crowd. When he gets far enough away, I'm going to start by just kind of grabbing a small pebble and kind of just launching it over the rope. Not very far or very hard, just, you know, get close to the rope and just kind of toss it over to see if it triggers anything. All right. <laughs> and I'm far enough away that it's not obvious that it would have been me that threw it as well. Right. All right. As soon as you toss the pebble over the rope, you start hearing a screeching noise happening. Oh God! Um, it sounds shit. like uh, an angry squirrel is going crazy, and all of a sudden, both of these guards run over in this direction to see. Because I'm assuming you threw it in this area, ish. Yeah, I, and I Whatever. wanted to make sure that I was far enough away, and I still oh, no, want to I remain inconspicuous. But the right, alarm's so going enough. off, and they're coming over here, and they're looking, they're looking around, they're like, they're starting to ask, like. Did anybody see anything? Do we? Anybody know why this alarm's going off? Blah blah blah, and, no. and nobody seems to know anything going on. So, uh, after uh, uh, like a minute or so, the alarm stops, and they're like, "Oh, must have been another bird or something like that." You hear them say, and since these guys are still playing, they'll both head back down, figuring that whatever happened was a happenstance. Well, see, I good told thing you my throwing idea might be a good thing. Well, yeah, but the throwing idea you had would have caught, gotten us both caught. My throwing idea no, was because to make sure the alarm was there. It would have hit both sides almost simultaneously, and then they wouldn't know what to do. All right, secondary plan. That's what I'm talking about. No, not the your secondary plan. I'm talking Damn about it. secondary <laughs> plan in Was general. Was he talking about standing like on the whole opposite and you throw it all the yeah. way through? Yeah, just chalk it. I Holy don't shit. think that would fucking yeah. work. And then the thing would be irretrievable. Here's what I'm thinking. He, he, he hands you another rock. I'm going to go. You see that guard, the one that's posted up right there? Yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to walk all the way around this thing. I need you to throw it 
like over he the rock over here so they uh, aren't look or somewhere where they're not looking directly at the entrance and while they're both distracted searching for the alarm I'm just going to get quickly get in there pass it through and get out okay so I'm gonna move over this way and yeah I'm gonna stay here I'm gonna I'll, try uh... to get this guard I'm gonna wait until this guard leaves his post to make any moves and I will also attempt to hide in this case So, I will roll hide. Uh, Does someone speak yeah. in Elvish in this song? Maybe, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck Elvish normally sounds like. Also, oh the music's really... Something. also, the music's too quiet for me to really identify what's going on. Ishnu Allah! <laughs> All right. I'm just gonna like hide in a crowd. I'm small. I could probably hide in whatever crowd is gathered. And I'm just gonna wait for Gurgthil to launch another rock and throw another distraction. <laughs> launch another rock. Yeet. Yeah, I'm gonna baseball pitch that. Can you not hear me? What do you need? Yeah, and then Nothing. the moment, the moment I'm out of line of sight of these guys, I'm going to get what? in, pass the thing under whichever arch on whatever side they're not closest to, and then immediately get out. All right. So, you guys are playing. Girkville is standing waiting. Wilfram is hiding. I am busting a move. Yeah, Iron Horn is like wearing some souls out on the bottom of his shoes because he's really Hide. hitting hard. Ice Horn, he's that's even like the sixth time Iron he's Horn even grabbing like like, like like all the short women around and you know dancing with them here and there the and shorties. you know everybody's having a good time, happy, laughing. When Gurk though throws the rock, and where are you throwing it again? Thing on the map. Okay, you're throwing it over there. Um, are you launching it straight? Are you lobbing it, or what are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna, yeah, I, I would probably launch it straight. Launch kind of like straight. a baseball pitch, but I'm gonna aim directly at the ground over there so that it hopefully like just skips. okay. Well, again, you launch it, and as soon as it crosses the rope in front of you, all of a sudden the squirrel screeching starts again. And again, the guards take off into the same direction Perfect. that they were. And while they're doing that, I'm going to sneak behind this one over here through the gate and just kind of pass it under as I was All right. instructed. Okay, as you pass it under, nothing's happening yet. But after about 10 seconds, one of the lobes at the end of the thing light up. But you notice the other two still have not. Shit. So you're standing there doing your thing. I'm going to attempt to hide behind the, uh, like, if there's brush or, like, behind the actual wall of the arch itself. Right, yeah, and again, it is, it is what, 20 feet high, 10 feet wide? So, yeah, so. So, yeah, so you can definitely uh, try to do so, which, you know, makes sense. Uh, the crowd itself, you know, they're paying attention to these guys. The guards, again, are looking around. They're asking. You know, they see Gert, though, and one of them goes over to him and is like, hey, you're super tall. You can see over everybody. Thank you. Did you see anything weird? Because it's the second time the alarm's gone off over here. It's just a part, like, uh, I saw some kids playing, and he'll point, like, over there. He's like, I think I saw them playing with some rocks or something. Oh, that explains it, these little punks around here. All right. Thanks for the yeah. info. So no they, problem. They... Cruise on over here. After another ten seconds, the second globe. All right, come on. Lights up. So close. And these guys are cruising. With the alarm still going off. It's only been twenty seconds. These guys go over here to look. And I'm gonna walk the, away too. After the next ten <laughs> seconds, <laughs> the the third globe finally fills up, and all three are lit. Perfect. You feel that you've accomplished your mission. Yep. And I just kind of whoop. All right. So you. You jet out, Gertho comes down, these guys are still doing their thing. After about a minute, the alarm stops. You don't hear the angry squirrels anymore. 
Yeah, and, and I'll tuck uh, the tube in my bag so it's not visible as well. Mm -hmm. Well, again, it's like it's like mace length, so it's still part of it's still gonna stick out the top, but whatever. They don't know what it is, so yeah, you can do that absolutely. And again, once the alarm resets and these guys are satisfied that nothing weird is weirder is going on, they're gonna make their way back down. Picking these guys up when they're way up there, even though we're not in combat. Uh, they're not. It's not moving it. Uh, but yeah, I should probably be, it, it's, the stream is shifting back to the player view every single time that they move, but it's not keeping them I'm view it. is the problem. Oh, the, the guard here? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, it's fine. It's a stream, it it's that. a problem with the stream options, not you. Oh, yeah, okay. It's, it's about the module. Yeah, so oh, I'm just gonna okay. have to, I'll have to take a look at the settings again. Is, I was gonna say, is there something I can change so that it doesn't do uh, don't that? Don't worry about it now. It's not okay. a big deal uh, right now. We'll, fi we'll right. figure it out in, by next time. And in combat, so, it totally uh, follows even your enemy dudes yeah. just fine. Okay. I was just curious out of combat if it was well, doing it. Since it's happened twice in the last five ten minutes whatever it's been this guard decides he's gonna hang out up here even though he's gonna miss well he can still hear the music but he's not gonna be able to see it anymore so he's gonna hang out up here for, not, you know, for a while so and, and this wolfram, one does come back down to the gate entrance yeah and wolfram would very obviously break stealth and very visibly walk by the podium so he's in sight oh, of the people on top all right <laughs> and then he's just going to move out of the area he's seen jobs done back to the lady yeah i would do the same thing i'd follow behind him and i would just nod to the dudes on stage good work girdville honestly well done thank you i'm glad you can admire my talents and you are very stealthy that was a really fun game game that was mm -hmm. <laughs> i like this adventuring thing I like this oh, adventure. wait until the actual fun begins, kid. Then we're <laughs> going to have some fun. All right. So you guys accomplish what you came here for. You exit the plaza. Um, everybody gets 48 XP for doing that. Oh, oh, hell yeah. Let's go. We're getting XP again, boys. It feels good. We're <laughs> getting da, 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 da. <laughs> All right. We're not loving All right. You. <laughs> You guys end your performance. Everybody gives you rousing um, applause because it was so good. I Do mean, they get any tips? Yeah. There's a question for you. There's a question. Did anybody ask for tips? Did anybody put a hat out? Uh, oh, yeah. Reno's AFK, but I'm assuming since he was already talking. Okay. He was talking you... about earning an income via. True. Yeah. Would you have put a hat out for tips would during you have put the like performance? Your case or oh, yeah. Definitely put it like right next to the dancing rhino. Okay. All right. So literally a circus see. act over here. Let's I love see. it. Which I don't know if it's something you care to use or to reference, but there is a earn income chart. Oh, there is. Uh, okay. Where would in that? the book. But it's typically more for like if you spend the full eight hour day yeah, activities yeah. earning income, you can reference it. But yeah, but say, this is a tip based thing. Yeah, so I would right. say just like roll 2d4 and give them that in silver. Yeah, that's. I was, I was deciding which dice, but that's probably a good. Silver. Well, you know what? With as busy as the plaza was, we'll do 2d6 because I'm feeling generous. Thanks. Wow. Yeah. You guys get. So you get you find uh, seven silver in the pack from people. Wow. Uh, seven silver. Wow. Probably will buy seven. half a room for the evening. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Uh, the lady said she would put us up for the night. Oh, good. Fantastic. Yeah. Drinking money. Drinking money. <sighs> Honestly. I pull out a bottle of alcohol out of my backpack. <laughs> <laughs> if we're going to now be working it's a little early but i suppose i just want to make sure you're aware that if we're going to be adventuring and working together that it's best to say sober how much of the time we need a percentage uh wow well, i wasn't aware of these uh things when i applied for the job at least during the day when we're actively working every party needs a party pooper <laughs> this is a job we're not here for fun we're not getting paid, so it technically isn't. 
Yeah, this is kind of like... Okay, let me put it. This let me make this important. clear. We're not getting paid by them. We will get money. Well, are we going to mug people? I'm, I'm, I prefer to perform. No. I mean, uh, I make you'll things. You'll see. Sell it you'll to see when we get things. We'll, you'll see when we get there. All right. Almonds. I like it. I've made many swords drunk and made some decent money off of them. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> You're like, I've gotten came out looking like those, uh, Let me tell you. Were they the best quality swords? Uh... <laughs> Most of the money that adventurers make. I journeyed with an adventuring party once. Most of the money they make is not from the job they actually take initially. It's from the act. Of, it's where they go to do their adventure or the enemies they kill during said adventure most of the money people pay you is chump change it's worth nothing well I will need a lot of money for better armor and a shield so I guess if that means I have to be sober during the day I guess that's what it is I don't care about drinking at night drink all you want as long as you're not hung over in the morning and make a big fuss out of it or let it get in interfere with the job he would not like Amelie's, let me tell you. <laughs> no, he wouldn't. <laughs> You're right about that. Beef. Oh, damn. It'll be he looks, he's like, who? It'll be really funny if I decide to bring Wilfrim from this game into Stolen Fate if he lives, and then he has to deal with Amelie's bullshit. Dude, I I'm think ready. I would play her Bro. just so he would have to. That I would probably play Wolfram just so he could experience interacting with the fucking Abomination Vaults party. Right. Oh my gosh, that would be so funny. <laughs> but all right, so you guys leave the plaza a little bit richer, and you make your way back down the streets. Um, did you guys want to stop anywhere along the way, or are you just gonna beeline it back to uh, see it? Uh, well, what time of day stop. is it? Uh, it's only like one o'clock. Let's. No, oh, we got plenty. It of time. is. Oh goodness, it's not even. It's. We'll add 10 minutes. It's like 10 to 1. Okay. Well, we got He's plenty of time. He's going to stop at another food stand. <laughs> He's going to grab you tacos this time. More? I'm a you growing boy. How big he is? How old are you? <laughs> growing boy. I'm 26. Oh, yeah. That's like 70 human years in orc years. I forgot about that. Oh. 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 Her. He goes cross-eyed at that. <laughs> You're middle-aged is what I'm saying. 29 oh, for a dwarf is like... Six. Yeah. Fetus. Well, Wolfram's what, like 250, you said, right? Yeah, Wolfram's yeah. like 60 in human years, so Wolfram's yeah. old. <laughs> He's probably the oldest one in this party. He is, probably. Unless Tover's older. Well, how? No, yeah, I'm only a hundred and something. I'm. I'm only ninety four. You know. You're older than me. I'm twenty. I yet again the play the oldest member of the party. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a middle aged. Explains why you're so grumpy. You're not wrong. In orc years, that is kind of old. It is. Orcs only live, I think, to fifty. Fifty five. Uh, sixty. Yeah, close sixty enough. is like the lowest. Well, like of the lowest of, like seventy five is like the famous ones. Well, he hit his midlife. Crisis of <laughs> yeah, you're in the middle of your actually kind of did, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Holy shit, Hercules had a rough early life. <laughs> it's gonna turn out he can't count and he just lied about his age. <laughs> He's probably younger than he is. He doesn't, yeah, even fucking know. He can read, but he <laughs> can't He's like read this many. That's right. He can't math. <laughs> I also can't math, but that's real life me. Oh, oh I can math good. Math. I math the good. Shut up. Math, math good. I do math good. Two plus one, four. All right, mister. I got I'm, uh, I'm excited to get back and complete my first Listen. Ever quest. <gasps> Have you Look never been him. adventuring before, Marb? No, I just swing the hammer a lot. Have you ever killed anything before, Marb? I killed some rabbits out in the mountains when I was looking for ore. Okay, nothing important. <laughs> we'll see how this comes up. We'll see how this goes when it comes up. Rabbits are an important part of I don't, nature. I got a big <laughs> shield though, you know. I made I made this really nice shield before I came out here, but I'm looking to make it bigger. I hope you don't have any problems with killing other people. Well, I mean, if they're not very nice and they're hell bent and doing us harm, I don't think I'll have a problem with it. 
You say that, you'd be very surprised how many people have problems killing other people. Well, I'm willing to defend my friends. What about you, big guy? End. You ever kill anybody? Uh, he's got to remain silent. <laughs> it's fine if you have. I've killed plenty of people. Yeah, it's not a big trip. issue. Exactly. Reserving his right to remain silent. All right, Anyways, we should probably get back. All right, fair yeah. enough. Yeah, Gertzel gets a little almost forlorn look at his face, and he scowls a bit when you ask him that question. Yup. Fine, I yeah, want to ask if you want to ask. That line of Good. Oh, oh, oh. All right, so you guys travel back yeah. to town. Uh, Gertzel, you know, spends what little money he has on food stalls <laughs> along the way. I stop at an apothecary. I'm assuming we fucking passed one by now. Uh, eventually, yeah. I mean, if you look, if you want to spend more time looking through... Just, like, as we're walking. If we don't no. pass one, then, like, on the way... Like, if we didn't pass one at all on the way to the Arch Plaza, then whatever, I won't worry about it. I mean, it, you but... can ask, you know, somebody, too. You know, you can always stop, uh, you know, a townsfolk and say, hey, you know, is there an apothecary around uh, nearby? Yeah, after Gergfil yeah. makes a stop, it, Wilfram probably just sighs and looks back to the group. Does anybody else need to do any shopping while we're out here? You know, now that you mention it, I would really enjoy to see the city's apothecary, one of their apothecaries. Or their All medical right. clinic. I guess we have time. I'd like one of those, and one of those, and and that. What <laughs> is that? Have enough money for all this stuff, Gergthel? <laughs> yeah, I have three gold. Oh. All right. <laughs> as long as you're spending your I, own money. I am wise with my wallet. Oh, he's a wallet wise. Good. Well, since you guys leave through the east end of the Arch Plaza. Um, you travel that southeast route along the river. Um, again, there is a connection, a foot connection to this bridge here. And you hang the southwest route. And as you're traveling through this area of the town, um, along the way in this corner right here, is uh, you see the telltale sign on the building of an apothecary. Hell yeah, I enter the build. All right, and you see a lady and gentleman inside. Uh, there are um, what you would expect to find in an apothecary, um, bottles of this is and that, and um, dried roots and leaves and things hanging from uh, like wine, um, you know, strung between the walls. Um, you see, you know, the usual, which again, what you would find, mortars, pestles, everything you could possibly think of that an apothecary would have. All right. Uh, I'm going to go over there to their herb yeah, section. All right. You head on over there. Uh, the place isn't empty there. There are a couple of customers in here, you know, talking to the lady who's manning the desk. And the, uh, the man is at his own off to the side. You see him with his mortar and pestle and he's grinding up different things uh you're not sure from where you're standing what what it is but you see he's at work and uh, she's taking care yeah. of business at the front counter okay i peruse their options for uh different herbs and such for um just like common ailment ailment ailments, ailments. jesus good word uh i know Last time I tried to use a big oh, word, sounded like I was in a stroke. <laughs> Anyways, um, and then I will uh, I'll gather what I need for a couple of elixirs here and there. Uh, I'll grab a couple of vials. Do you have the? Can you make pots and potions? Do you have the? That's the that alchemical is... crafting feat, which you would not have you... yet. Yeah, probably. No, not. it's not. But that's not what I'm not making a pot or a potion. Oh, okay. Okay, so you're just looking for specific things for something you know how to make, is what you're saying? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, so you know what you're getting, yeah? Yeah. Um, is there specifics, or are you just being general? Uh, just general. I just, okay. uh, just throw a price out there, and I'll pay it. 
Um, all right. Well, there is no <laughs> list of pricing for herbs and shit uh, like that. Well, so let's um, go to. I am looking, and I do not. See Was she like anything. legit looking for a specific in-game item, or are you I don't, just I don't it up? think just so. Like general herbs. Common just... herbs and stuff. No. Then, yeah, you just got to it up. yeah I'm gonna... you know generally when you go into a place like that you know what you want ahead of time it shouldn't be taking this long oh she ne she's negotiating he's negotiating we'll say for everything you grab whatever it may be we'll just we'll just say it costs a couple silver all right that's actually a great deal so uh... Yeah, you gotta save some of it for drinking money tonight. There you go. True. Drinking money we'll is playing money. Say it costs what, like yeah, we play five, game. six silver? Uh, no, it's about three will do. Oh, That's okay. how much I spent on food. My All right, God. I am as you can eat happy there. as... <laughs> I can yeah. wonder the yeah, part I'm of just, I got a little pep in my, my rhino step. <laughs> Your clop. Yes. Your clop. Please don't say it like that. <laughs> Can I use you as a piercing weapon? Probably. What? Huh. My horn? In fact, you no. might the have an ram? arm piercing strike. I think I do. Does. Oh my god. <laughs> he does. It does uh, 1d4. I can uh, see the future now. There's oh, a feat god. that makes it a, a d8. Well, as long as you're not throwing me, I guess that's fine. Well, remember, the thrown. frying pan has I'm not a deadly going to be thrown. critical yeah. eight. <laughs> oh. Which is insane. Well, if we can ever figure out how heavy this rhino is, we might be able to use all our strength together and he and would. Use I would it it in a I'm going to find a weight for it. <laughs> Don't you know it's impolite <laughs> to ask a rhino their weight? <laughs> this is it's going a... to be a pain in my ass. Yeah, it could be. Don't fall backwards. He's short. <laughs> He's like a turtle. Oh no! <laughs> well, I thought he was telling a uh, off oh, like Ryan's character not to fall backwards onto the horn. Oh, You're right. I was. <laughs> Wilfred was just saying Wilfram. it to the ether, like, "Oh my god, uh, this is going to be a pain." And the ether responded. I hate this the ether responded. One D four right up the ass. Oh, I, I, you know what? Depending on how combats turn out, that may come up. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, boy. No, I hope that idea. I'm going to be nowhere near fucking Icehorn in combat. <laughs> Either I'm doing Should something be. horribly yeah. wrong or she's oh, doing Orbeez. something horribly wrong. Yeah. So true. Oh, God. All right. So, you guys, after your apothecary stop, you make your way back to where uh, the Inara is at the, at the Caravansary, which is up here. And she sees you coming because she's been standing outside, basically pacing, wondering what's been going on. And she sees you and she points at Wilfram and she's excited. She sees the glow of the three orbs <sighs> and she's just like... Just as I suspected, illusion magic. She points to a different bulb and not a trace of conservation. Those arches are as big as a Kelpie smile. She's so excited. She Great. settles in her chair. She's, pardon? Great. Well, from just says that as she's oh. like, <laughs> is mentioning all of the magic over. shit. So it's like fantastic, uh -huh. wonderful, great. I just look at the closest person to me. What is a Kelpie? A what? Like fake is a Kelpie smile. Fake is a Kelpie smile. Okay. Don't know. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I guess I've just never come across a Kelpie before. Probably not, actually. She sits back in her chair and she's like. Well then, a deal's a deal. Here's what I know. The real seven arches are hidden somewhere south in the Wildwood, which is why the oak stewards restrict travel there. They also post guards. On the night of your missing moment, all seven of the guards at the seven arches stepped through the portals, just like you did. But only one of them returned. <laughs> A self-righteous oak steward named Bolin. 
That's B O L A N. When he got back, Bolin was a changed man and not in a good way. After the High Council chewed him out for shirking his post, he stole an important oak steward's artifact and hid out in the wildwood along with some other malcontents. From there, he's been sending cronies to the city to harass the citizens, undermine the oak steward's authority, and recruit other discontented druids to his cause. His ultimate aim, as far as I can tell, is a full-on coup. I don't know what happened to this Bolin character when he went through the arch, but whatever he knows, I figure you'll want to know it too. Phenomenal. Mm. So we have to go out into the woods and find a guy who's kept himself hidden for months. Yep. Yeah, I can only tell you he's, he's somewhere, like I said, south of the city. Um, no one knows exactly where he's hiding out or doing his thing but and i'm guessing this guy's human he is do you have an uh his description uh hold on. and do, 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 do. Ah, he actually oh, i can do this hold on ah I feel that. Oh, I know why it wasn't working. Oh no, moment though. She has a picture for you of what he looks like. Ooh. Like I we love gotta... show and tell. Visual I, aids. I got a picture of this guy. Yeah, if the dumbass can figure out how to show you it to you. But well, the... anytime there's a photo in your journal, if you click on it. It'll make it bigger for you, and then there should be a share yeah. to show to Gold. players when it's bigger yeah. for you. Okay. I'm looking for this prick. Oh, there he is. He looks like this. Ooh. Look at that fucking hair. What's... God damn. You're telling me he has green grass like hair? He's got like a. Marijuana leaf for a shoulder pad. I, I think it's a mess. <laughs> a ganja leaf, sir. Oh, you know, again, yeah, we don't know sense. what happened to him, but he remember he was an oak steward to begin with. What he's now, we don't know. Phenomenal. This is gonna be great. All right, so yeah. the arches are fake. And now we have to go tell this guy about it. Well, Yay. no, I think he know he was a no, guard of the real arches. We need to find this guy because he also went, he went crazy after he went through a portal on the missing moment. Yeah, the I was like, thing. if I was That's you, I went a little crazy. Yeah, I think I'd start talking with the other oak stewards, see if you could get some information from those guys because they don't like Bolin. They never liked him when he wasn't what he is and who he is now. He always was a brash, unlikable character. Um, I could probably get you an audience with a uh, Druid Council member that I happen to know very well. And she may have some more information for you uh, to help you um, figure out or find where Bolin might actually be. Um, if you so desire, I can uh, set this up for you by giving you a letter of recommendation to be able to talk with her. Yeah, it would be fantastic. Much obliged, my lady. All right. So... Um, she gives you the letter. It's called a uh, letter of introduction. She says, just go to the uh, justice house and ask for, um... oh goodness, where is this lady's name? Uno momento, por favor. What the hell is her name? Oh, yeah. Uh, her name is Lima Feldthorn. And she's a halfling. You can't miss her. 
Um, she has a companion horse that follows her everywhere. So once you get to the Justice House, she will not be hard to find. Phenomenal. You have to go all the way back. All right, let's get moving. <laughs> well, from walks off. All right, oh, no, yeah. let's go. Damn, my man's just going, going ham. I know, he's <laughs> just like, fuck it. Oh. <laughs> All right. I guess we're schmoovin. I guess you're yeah, schmoovin. follow. Wolverine's yeah, a man on a mission. Quest. All right, Fionara is like, Woo-hoo! good quest. luck. Yeah. And uh, thank you very much for yeah, we'll see you at bringing this back to me. It is quite interesting that the uh, the artifacts that this entire civilization and group of people like effectively worship and say are so special are indeed just fake. It's all built on a lie. Well, there's a lot of fake things. Well, like what she said is the the Arch Plaza ones are fake. Right. Yeah. Like they're they're special holy place in their cities. It's they're not actually real gates. Right. Well, yeah, you'd think that actually risk somebody actually going through them. But it's yeah, interesting. Can we talk? Like, why do they... I don't know. Like, we obviously all saw real ones. At least, I think we all did. We got tattoos and shit, so... Gang, I think gang. it's pretty, pretty clear that we all uh, fuck with the real ones. That's probably um, why they didn't let elves in, and like, up oh, until the missing the moment. Secret? Because they could probably be able to tell that they're not real. I wonder if they even know that they're not real by now. Well, even if they don't, even if they don't, it's not something we should bring up to the uh, druids. The last thing we want to do is make ourselves enemies of this place. Yeah, but I'm wondering if the crazy guy who's south of the town might know. Oh, he probably (sighs) knows. All right, kid. If you're going to be an adventure, one thing you're going to have to learn is to listen. He was a guard of the the actual gates down south. So he never was a guard of the city, too? These fake gates? According to her, no. He was one of their... No. Apparently down I, I south are the real one. arches, or at least the yeah. where she suspects the real arches to be. He was right. one of the seven guards that guarded those arches. All of the guards that went through those arches disappeared, and he came back. He was the only one to do so. Gotcha. I thought he was a guard up here also at one point in time, but I missed Well, he right might now. have been. He probably was elevated to the position of guard down there by getting through the ranks up here. But that's not relevant to the point. And I misspoke. You're not going to the Justice House. You're going to the Vine Hall. That, yeah, the same area. I make you feel a little better. What, that you're going to the Vine Hall instead of the Justice? (laughs) Yeah, I don't really want to go to the Justice House. (laughs) But yeah, there's another lesson for you. Uh, You know, it just just doesn't sound like the place we want to go to unless we have to. I don't know. Justice is all a matter of perspective. (laughs) Well, we did already break a law since we've been here, so I think <laughs> our perspective currently isn't great. It wasn't really a law. It's more su- suggestion. It's a societal <laughs> taboo, not a law. I don't think we would have been arrested <laughs> had we entered the thing. Right. <laughs> oh, it's funny. But there's another lesson for you, Gergthil, if you want to write something down. Adventurers need to pay attention when people tell them things. I thought that was just being a person. Well, yeah, but it's especially so if you're an adventurer. Oh. <laughs> I'll write it down. So I'm sitting next to this guy for the test, because damn. <laughs> yeah, you see him more, I'm just like a leaning over. A lot of information, over. man. I don't know if I can pass the test super easily. Oh well, that's why you keep that shield shiny, so you can hold it up and read off the reflection. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Yeah, just during a test, just hold a big metal object <laughs> above your head. That's not weird. <laughs> Well, for me, it probably isn't, to be honest. Oh, my God. He cherries it everywhere. You turn around as we're walking. I'm, like, holding this thing up, polishing it, holding it in the light. This thing is awesome. 
That's his yeah. baby, man. Yeah, as he's walking by, people are like wincing away because of the sunlight yeah. is reflecting off it into their face, and they're like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> I just feel like I need to confirm that I'm not actually going to give you a test. I think there's been some sort of misconception. I can't tell if you're joking or not. There's no actual. Yeah. Well, there is a test. Of it's called I actual adventuring, joking. and if you fail, uh, it will mean death. No, I I knew the whole time for sure that there wasn't actually a test. Duh. Right. As Gert as Gert was like, I think he's lying. There's gonna be a test. Yeah, <laughs> right down <laughs> immediately. He's lying. There's a test. <laughs> Just period. Well, oh my god. <laughs> People, <laughs> yeah, there's definitely going to be a test. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, I I totally knew that it was going to be a test. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Good. Absolutely. <laughs> well, as I said, as I said afterward, again, adventurers paying attention. Yep, uh, there is it. a test. It's called actual oh, adventuring, oh, and if you done. fail, it means death. So try to uh, try to pay attention. Got it. Oh, and as once said, adventuring is the memories you make along the way. Exactly. And the stories and poems you can write. And those people yeah. are wrong. You are so macabre. Macabre? Macabre. 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 <laughs> I think that was the only... Uh, you know, I think you're the only Marb? one who we haven't asked if was able to read. Can you read? I can write. Same basic Interesting. concept. <laughs> In arithmetic. Generally, if you can write, you can read. I... Huh. He writes in arithmetic, I just go, oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what are these numbers? He reads in common, but he can only write in All right. uh, Elvish. No, right. <laughs> well, here's the vine hall. Exactly where we were meant to go. Alright, you make your way through town. It takes a little while. It takes you about a half hour, 45 minutes to walk toward to the hall. Alright. And you enter the hall and the guard, you show the guard at the front door the note and you walk in. And you see usual uh, hustle and bustle in a town hall. And um, you ask somebody where uh, Lima Feldthorn is. And just as they point in a direction down the hall you do see uh, a described to you by um, um, Fianara, a halfling turned the corner who happens to have a full-sized horse walking behind her and walking in your direction. What kind of uh, floors does this building have? Uh, solid oak. And they're very worn, but they are also very solid. Well, that the horse is inside the building? Well, at least yeah, it's not marble. I was thinking that, but I was like, I'm a rhino. Who am I to judge? At least <laughs> it's not marble or stone. That would be a hell of a mess to clean up. Oops. Hold on. I will show you a picture it of actually that. might be easier to clean horse shit off of marble or stone than wood. Actually, actually that's that's the point. acidity would uh, actually yeah, yeah, eat wood, away wood. any covering they have, and it would infect the color. Yep. Yeah. Rue. Wood stains. Stone and marble doesn't. Maybe it's potty trained, though, you know? I somehow doubt that. Potty trained? It's a halfling. It's a halfling, though, right. And that's who you see in the hall with the horse. Weird flex on her part, but pop off, queen. Alright. There we right. go. Well, that's our mark. Yeah. Why are you saying like that? Hunter's mark? I don't see any marks on her. I mean, she does have that scar. Well, oh, the she one on her lip. But... Yeah, she's got a hair lip. <sighs> like ganja leaf on her shoulder too. Ganja. Uh, well, they are druids, you know, so they do they do have special weeds, you know. So. Just All right. Saying. Well, uh, I think we should go say hi. All right. You walk down the hall. And Tover, you... you seem like the char charismatic one. Why don't you take lead on this? Who I'm Probably sorry, you missed. Tover. Yes. 
Mind taking the lead? Uh, we're asking her about where the guy might have went. What's his name? Forgot his name. Oh, Nadra. Bowling. 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 B B O L A N. Bowling. Bowling. No, bowling with a B. Bowling. 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 You know, I'm not going to repeat myself three Bowling. times about the entire paying attention thing. I mean, I could just mute you and talk to everybody else if you want that. I mean, <laughs> Bowling. It's Bowling. Thank you. I walk up to the lady and I say, Hello, beautiful day, isn't it? And she looks up at you. It is. And who might you be? Uh, my name is Tover. These are my friends. Greeting. How may I help you? Uh, we had some questions about a man named Bolin. Bolin? That's strange. How do you know Bolin? Uh, we were asked to try to figure out his whereabouts. Asked by whom? Were we allowed to say? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, she knows this lady. Oh, awesome. What was her name again? I don't have it written down. Uh, I've been he, taking notes. Fiorana? Fiorana. Fiorana. Uh, Fiorana sent us. Oh, she did. Oh, how is she doing? I haven't seen her in a while. Oh, she seems to be doing well. We've had brief conversations so far. She seems in good health. She's weird. Oh, outstanding. <laughs> well, <laughs> yes. Yes, my... Oh, my goodness. You are tall. Holy cow. Like, you're tall. Yeah, it really you hurts know? your neck traveling with him. My goodness. I just try not Bro, to look uh, up. I'm, I'm sorry. I've just I've never seen someone as tall as him. We've got some really good kebabs. Yeah, look at the rhino we have, too. My yes. lord. <laughs> My lord. You. I have not. Please, excuse me. I am sorry for my forwardness, but I have never seen one of your kind before. What might you be? You know what? I'm sorry. I'm okay. being rude. No, no. I, well, I anticipated this. It's not as though my kind are well known. Uh, I would say I, what? I, pardon me again, but what are you? A Kashrishi. Yeah, I have heard of you. I mean, not of you, but of your people. I just, I, I am. I am incredibly surprised. Where what? from? Where did you hear from us? I well, we are druids here in this town. In this town, and you know, we have networks throughout the world that you know have do research and hear things, and things get around. And you know, the uh, knowledge of your people, though scarce, is has been, I guess, known. But, you know, no one's ever really said for sure that they've ever seen your kind before. This is, <gasps> gosh, I never, I'm sorry, I, again, I am being rude. I don't mean to dote, but I am honored to meet you, for you are the first Kashrishi I have ever met. The honor is mine. And I am sorry again, Tover, I, I did not mean to interrupt your our conversation, but I'm, I'm, I'm Genuinely shocked that I have oh, no, you met fine. someone for the first time. Um, you know what? Let's head to my office where we can speak in private. So she leads me down the hall okay, to where her office is. Nothing fancy nor overly big, but comfortable enough for you guys to get in. And, is the horse uh, coming? The horse is coming. Can I pet it? You can ask her if you can pet the horse. I was going to say, you can try. <laughs> I uh I happen to be really good at stabling horses, so I like horses. Can I pet your horse? I don't see why not. She would probably enjoy that. Her name is Mulberry, by the way. And uh, yes, you. Uh, well, you know what? Let me ask Mulberry. Would you mind if this fair dwarf here would be able to pet you? And the horse neighs and whinnies and, like, shakes its, its head like a horse would. And uh, she goes, very well. He grants permission. 
we'll go right ahead. I'll be right back, boys. Yep. So, anyways, um, Boland, you asked me about. Um, And again, um, well, he has been causing quite a problem ever since. Oh, goodness. Um, Have you heard of the uh, missing moment uh, evening when our uh, our elf gates opened? We are quite familiar, yes. Are you? Oh, okay. Well, well, on that evening. Well, from like lifts and like put Elsa's collar down to show the mark. Oh my goodness. You have walked through one of the gates. Oh, have all of you walked us, through actually. the gates? Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh my I'll goodness. pull my shirt down a bit so that you can see the mark on his uh, chest. That is fascinating. Yeah. It's pretty you, cool, isn't it? It is something. It cool is one word I guess I would use for it, but it is also very unsettling. Since there were so many that never returned, we've had so many townsfolk that disappeared that evening, never to be seen again. And it is quite sad because we don't know what has happened. And it has been, what, oh goodness, six months now, and no one has seen nor heard from any of those that have disappeared completely. So Bowen, it, it happened in large numbers here? I wouldn't say large numbers, but numbers enough to notice. I mean, obviously, um, the elf gates were never meant to open by themselves. And that evening, um, again, I've heard through our contacts throughout the world that they literally opened everywhere. And they are obviously, I say obviously, but were never meant to do that. You actually need a special we'll say key, we call the gate key, to even open one and traverse through it. Um, so for them to just open like they did was something of an astonishing shock to us all. Um, did the gates here at the Arch Plaza turn on? Um, she kind of looks at you a little quizzically, and she's like, um... Not so much in the Arc Plaza, per se, because... Marv, if you're paying attention, um, Wilfram kind of shoots you a look like, come on. (laughs) Um, What? But um, the ones on the outskirts of town definitely did, uh, from what I have been told and understand. Um, But yes, uh, again, we've lost many a people that evening. So the fact that you were able to return is quite astounding. And I am so happy that you guys, that you were actually able to come back. Do you remember anything from that evening? Any of you? No. Nor the three months following. That stepped is, in, stepped out. It was three months later. That is the exact thing I have heard every account from. So it is not just... Uh, it's literally everybody that I have heard of that is what has happened. Mm-hmm. From what I understand, uh, Bolin himself, um, again, you don't seem now. I have, I don't know you, so I don't know how you were before you stepped through the elf gate, but he came back, he was kind of a boorish man to begin with. Um, that was just like his personality. He was not the most friendly, but he was a very good oak steward. But when he came back through, he like he changed. He became like even, shall I say, meaner, or I don't know. He just he became, I dare say, even evil. And that's the only account I have of somebody like having had their I guess, uh, brash, um, oh goodness, the word, the word. Their nature changed? Their nature changed. I mean, he was, like I said, he was brash to begin with, but he just became, I again, I dare say, even evil. He just started, uh, I, don't know, I don't know if you've heard, but he has been trying to overthrow um 
the town government and turn the people to his side for whatever reason that may be. Um, and we've had been having problems with him in that regard. So we, as um, a town, have been stretched thin as far as the oak stewards go. We just don't have that manpower, per se, that we've had before uh, the missing moment evening because Bolin uh, has been very shrewd and has actually been able to recruit, I dare say, some of our oak stewards to his cause, which is very vexing to me. Um, so, yes, he, um, it is not a good situation for us. Well, we could deal with your problem for you. We're looking for the man as well, because we want to know what he knows about the entire thing. Well, that is a very intriguing proposition, because, as I've stated, we tend to need the help. I mean, with the disappearance of the Om Omniblet curse, um, which I don't know if you've heard, uh, if you are of elven descent, which none of you seem to be. Um, if We've you... heard of it. Oh, you have? Oh, yes. okay. Well, it's been quite a problem with it being gone, because without the curse, some fear the strained relationship between Seven Arches and neighboring Keonan might blossom into a conflict. Um... And we've also had the increased Gorga attacks. I don't know if you've heard about those, but they are very mean fey creatures. Um, so be very careful uh, on your travels. Um, so yes, um, Bowen's crime, uh, be, they go beyond mere rebellion. Before he left, he stole a gate key to the real Seven Arches. It's a fanciful jade amulet Julian, shaped like a leaf over. and it's called the shade wither I key forgot, I forgot what the, uh... All right. i've heard I rumors that he the, plans uh... to use that key in some sort of an evil the, ritual uh... at the arches a few nights hence so Bro. if you could go to the arches and maybe Julian, I just had a check it out See if anything untoward is happening, yeah, and if it is, well, I mean, stop it, yeah, you're, you're and bring time. back you're that key, that anymore. would be most helpful. I think we can so, do well, that. What does everybody else think? He stole a key from and here and, and brought them down south to the other arches. And a battery. Correct. I'm gonna uh, yeah. He, he did. He, he was so able he, to secure. He was a guard up here then at one point. Well, all the oak stewards uh, Were would, he, well, yes, the as any, um, I guess, guard initiative, they ro would rotate between the city and the actual arches, which again are south. Um, it is a little bit far, just so you know, it is, it is roughly a two days walk. So uh, prepare yourself accordingly. Um, it's not like it's just outside of town. Like, but uh, but yes, he was uh, a member again of the rotating guard at the time. How many people know that these arcs here are fake? Uh, nobody. It is what it the is arches a... are fake. Well, the ones in All right, town. That's enough, Marb. <laughs> she just made no. it obvious there's no reason yeah. to play we, pretend anymore we, we have the arch plaza so that um, those that wish to worship can wor worship at the arch plaza um, but it is would, have, would be way too dangerous to have the actual arches available in the middle of the city that's why they're hidden away um in its own glade down south that very few obviously all the oaken stewards know and obviously all of us here in the vine hall um but it's better that the people 
don't know because if again if anybody of elven descent ever gets near them uh well not now of course but prior to the missing moment evening don't like it very much. they would literally just die so what so we keep that secret what are, what are exactly, close to the best well, well, we exactly understandable But yes, we will gladly take care of your problem. If you wouldn't mind marking on a map where we're heading. Bro, he won, he won the mental just by okay. playing the game. Loud yeah, background noise. yeah, I know. Um, actually, it says if you follow the road south, uh, go past um, on your map that you do have, yeah, past the uh, Honeybrush yeah. Cabaret, and follow that road straight south. And then she I marks on the map. Good where um the seven arches um the actual seven arches laid would be how long of a uh, travel are we looking at she said two days uh, yeah. you remember when you said you should listen and uh write things down all right that's enough garden film <laughs> <laughs> it's right here do you want a copy yes please only a left <laughs> we'll be oh. back she's She's telling the background noise to calm down. Uh, okay, apparently my overlay <laughs> is still broken somewhat. For some reason, you and uh, her are linked. Give me a second to fix that. Oh, she so enjoyed her good. She's back, so it doesn't really matter. But I was yeah. wondering why you were both lighting up at the same time. Uh, yeah. I assumed it was just, uh, I assumed it was because your mics pick each other up. But no, that's not what's going on here. Let me fix okay. that. You keep talking. I'll fix it in the background. All right. So, uh, yes, as as your very tall green friend has stated, um, it is, a, and I, I am sorry, I do not know your name, so I would, I well, do not mean it. Gergsil. And he'll reach out his hand to shake. And she reaches up, and her hand obviously literally disappears in yours. And she just, like, almost has this look of, damn, on her face as Thank you me. are literally reached down like about three four feet down to, to shake her hand and it is very nice to meet you uh Gergsville, you said yes uh very nice to meet you and wilfram as well thank you and uh and i'm sorry tover yes yes um i'm sorry um Icehorn? Icehorn, yes. Uh, again, Did sorry. I properly introduce myself. That is my bad, my lady. And you, sir, oh. with the shiny shield. Ah, uh, Marb. 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 Marb, what's sir, the sh quite shiny, the shiny shield? Marb. You have uh, quite the beautiful horse here, if I uh, don't say so myself, as I continue to pet Oh, the thank you, thank you. And yes, uh, actually, Mulberry very much appreciates the attention. I can't quite, uh, you know, pay that much attention to where I'm at work. So this is a very different experience for her during the day. So I do appreciate you. Thank you. All right. They're still popping up at the same time, but that's okay. It's the it's the background noise. Anything. It's fine. But it's <laughs> there is no background noise. But does your voice like kebabs? Kebabs? I'm Seriously. sorry? Kebabs? I pull out a kebab. Like oh, kebab. Uh, oh, thank you. Uh, but but no, I know right. Uh, I'm, thank you. But um, no, she is on a strict diet of you know what horses eat, uh, hay and oats and the like. Um, but thank you for offering there, uh, Gregsville. We'll bring oats next time. He shrugs and he just eats it. <laughs> um. Okay. So um, yes. Is there anything else that I can help you with? Uh, before you uh, head on out. Oh, oh goodness, where's my mind? Let me give you this pass to get you through. Um, I'll give you what's called a backrit. It's an official pass, allows you to roam freely in the Seven Arches, including the Wildwood, because again, we do have patrols out in the Wildwood and strangers are often stopped and checked simply because of what's happening with Bolin. So show them this writ, and they will allow you passage without any hassle. Um, so yeah, that is. Um, so please, again, find what Bolin's doing at the what you at the uh, um, at the glade, 
Reclaim the gatekeep, please. We need to get that back. And if you can, if you can capture him or any of the rebel oak stewards and bring them back, that would be most appreciative and well. The one who was gone, did she tell us what this fucking key does? Uh, it works for the gates. Yep. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah gates so don't normally turn on by themselves. They normally yeah, they need a key. key. So basically what happened like three months earlier is going to happen, or six months at this point, is going to happen again if he opens the gates? Mm, no, I don't. I, no, I don't what think What happened that's possibly. six months ago I, we was don't like know for sure. yeah, I guess unheard of. Point. Yeah, no one knows why that happened. Gotcha. Right. But well, the keys can turn on a single gate, I think. Yeah, that's exactly well, what it is. All right. Okay. And he stole a key and ran south to some gates. Yes, so he's that part I did. Try it's called to use the Shade it. Wither Key. Just as it sounds. S-H-A-D-E-W-I-T-H-E-R. Shade Wither Key. And it looks like a leaf. It's an amulet shaped like a leaf. And it belongs to the Vine Hall? Uh, well, it, yes. It would be come back to the Vine Hall because that's, that's where all the keys for the Seven Arches would be kept. Well... Thanks for the info. We'll take care of your little problem and return with the key once we get it. Why, thank you very much. You don't know what this means to me. This is great news. We were hoping that uh, someone would be able to come along and help us. Because like I say, the Oak Stewards have their hands full with this rebellion and just keeping things normal in the city now. So thank you, Greg. Yeah, and Wilfram will walk out. <laughs> just turns around yeah. and leaves. Um, <laughs> bye, Wilfram. Nice meeting you. Yep. He, wow, he's a, <laughs> yep. he's a man of few words. My goodness. I'd say you get used to him, but you don't. Oh. Because... Yeah, he's really good at adventuring, so he's just uh, he's ready to go. I guess so. He's a man of action, it seems, and he just wants to go, 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 and I respect that. Somebody gets it. <laughs> well, I'll bring oats next time, okay? As I uh, pet the horse goodbye. Absolutely, and thank you. And Mulberry does say goodbye. Uh, I wish her and Mulberry a farewell. Farewell to you as well. And when you come back, if I may, I would like to speak to you about your people, Icehorn. As I said, I am ex exceedingly intrigued to meet you. I do not foresee a problem with that. I look forward to our next conversation. Until our next conversation. Farewell. And you, my tall, green, kebab offering... Kebab. Yes? Gurla, it was very nice to meet you as well. And she holds her hand out again. <laughs> I'll shake it again, yeah. That is so weird. I'd never seen my hand disappear in another's hand before. Someone's got a crush. <laughs> <sighs> Looking at that armor going, oh. <laughs> and you, Tover, very nice meeting you as well. Thank you for your service. And, oh, do you play? Yes. Uh, you will have to regale us with uh, some music when you get back, too. There's a place called the Honeybrush Cabaret that would solemnly welcome you, for they love hearing new artists all the time. Well, thank you for the advice. You are I hope welcome. to see you there. Absolutely. I would not miss it. And you, Mr. Muarb, and your shiny shield, it was nice meeting you, and thank you for being so kind to Mulberry. Of course, horses are the best. I agree. No bias or anything. <laughs> I'm just a random dwarf who has a thing for horses. I don't, <laughs> I don't. I think it came from the background, but I'm just gonna go Pause. with it. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, the, like you say, the you horse know. stabling lore skill. Right, exactly. You just met a horse one day and were like intrigued beyond words. You're like, my god, this oh, gentle shit. giant. This fucking horse. <laughs> right. 
damn this horse. You ever seen a dwarf ride a horse? <laughs> it's not I don't pretty. Think they can put their I've probably ridden a right. horse before. <laughs> yeah, I guess they Tolkien they do all the time. And wow, they don't. It is not pretty. Yeah, they ride like rhinos and shit in wild. Mm, don't clop. They? Rams. Something right. like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you guys leave her office and you leave the vine hall. Um, yeah, Wolfram is probably can... waiting outside. Yeah, tapping his foot like, where are Come they? Come on. Where? What? And um, what do you guys want to do? I think we should head out. If we need to do any last minute shopping, we should probably do it. But if they're planning yeah. on doing a ritual in the next couple of days, we should be getting there as soon as possible. What time is it at this current point? It is rough. Right, let me give you a time. It is um, say about three o'clock. Holy three o'clock. We could probably yeah, get I a don't... couple hours into yeah. the journey today. Yeah, and then we could set up camp. Yep. I this agree. So Literally don't have any way to buy anything, so I'm ready to go. Everybody's broke. <laughs> I, mean, I yeah, still got some money. Unfortunately. <laughs> I have I some money. Like. Oh, are you guys broke? Do you not smart shop? I smart gain. <laughs> I bought a... I, I put all my money into materials to make this set of armor. I'm, I'm kind of out at the moment, but we can kill some rabbits on the way, maybe. I haven't been able yeah. to find work for a while. I've had to use most of my savings. Hmm. Oh, look at that. Wow, alright. Okay, so you guys are going to head out of town, and yep. you're going to follow the... Out. Southern Road, as you were instructed, and you head out. Um, you guys are walking, obviously, because you don't have horses. Sadly. Yeah, you're right. And you go through your first day without any issues. You just, you know, you're walking through the, uh, following the road uh, as she has. You do notice that where she marked is obviously off the road at some point, but not till further down because it quote unquote is in a hidden glade per se. Yep. So your first uh, day goes by without you really having any problems. Uh, you do run into uh, road patrols. You show them the writ that she gave you. They allow you to continue on your way without any hesitation. And you may camp for the first night. Um, set up your camp and your watches how you will. I yeah, will take darkest right night. Then. I'll take first watch, I guess. I'll take whichever watch is left. My Phenomenal. character is used to irregular uh, sleep schedules. That means I get to sleep. Good. <laughs> Bitch, you also gotta take a watch. I said that out of character. Yeah, that's what I, I mean, say. We've got Dark three Spike. different people on watch. Yeah, but if all of us are on watch, then we all get shorter shifts, which means we all get more sleep. Yeah. <sighs> Selfish. Fair. All right. You only <laughs> wanted need to actually eight get a hours full of night of sleep for, for once. Only eight. <sighs> oh, yeah, fine. you only need eight. So the more I'll take last have... watch. No, no, no. That was in game. That was in game. Oh. Does anybody else want last watch? I'll take it. No. I'm gonna. I think we're good. Go. Good. Fantastic. I'm on last I watch. I think Gurkfil wants to do watch before last since he said the darkest of night. So I'll take dawn. Which makes sense. Marv? Yes. I'll take Marv? One... midnight at some point when it's dark, because I can see in the dark. So I'll say okay. probably second. So I'll take third. There we go. No. Well, if we're going at two-hour intervals, He's we really first. only need four watches. Yeah, so I'd be third because I'd be darkest. I get to sleep the whole night. You can watch with me if you want, since we both only have low-light vision. That's true. Your two eyes aren't as good, that so you'll need me. to double up. 
<laughs> uh, you camping with a fire, without a fire? Oh yeah, Wilfred. The moment we decided to sit down for camp, Wilfred would have wandered off to grab food, and told somebody to get. I would have got wood. wood. Yeah. So it looks like with a party size of five, it's two hour watches and a total of ten hours time resting to get everybody a total of eight hours each. Of sleep. oh yeah, that's fair. That's true. Hey, that you only need six to eight hours in one. real life. In real life. This is real, real Damn life. game mechanics. <laughs> True. <laughs> Table 10-3 of the core players. Oh my god, shut Actually? up. Actually, if you go to Proposition 6, subsection <laughs> Article 4. You fucking rules lawyer, you. bitch. There's Get a the variant roll that says you only need 6.2 hours of sleep. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm saying is, is, uh... You know, I'm gonna have to run, like, 80 homebrew rules just to piss you off, Kyle, you know that? <laughs> oh, oh, it's supposed to work like this. Not in my game, it doesn't. Fuck off with that. I'm gonna have to drink so much. I can only drink Saturday like nights. Yet? Fucking rules lawyer, bitch. Hey, that guy's great. You ever seen him on YouTube? Oh, yeah. I oh, I love that guy. Great. He's funny. Oh, my God, phenomenal. Rules yeah. lawyer? Anyway, so, watches. Anyway. Yes, I'll take last watch. I'll take dawn. And I also have a watch on my wrist. What's a watch? Really? What's a it tells time. I definitely feel like they have watches. I don't know if the watches <laughs> are a thing in this world. Yet. I mean, I guess <laughs> there is clockwork stuff, so there might be watches. They're probably hella like, expensive, though. Yeah, yeah they're, they're probably super. Business. How the hell did you watches. afford a watch? It was my master's. Oh, well, fair enough. Murder. <laughs> Honestly, I probably if I wasn't so good at telling the time by the sun, I'd probably buy one myself. At least before I, when I actually had money. Weird flex, but okay. I just don't see much yep. point to having a watch if you can tell the time normally. So I'm gonna like play tic tac toe with myself in the dirt. Have you never been underground? Well, I'm uh, no, I just I got two hours right. So I'm no, like... I think he's talking to me. Yeah, oh. <laughs> yeah. I was underground pretty frequently about 200 years ago, but not recently, yeah. no. Huh? Sorry? You just goes, me? What do you mean, where? Yeah. I, I don't understand what you're... I believe he's speaking Orcish. <sighs> I don't know that language. He might be. It's true. He, <laughs> he shrugs and he goes know. to lay down before his watch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wake me up when it's my watch. <laughs> well, from after setting up camp and doing like a good chunk of the work. Yeah, yeah. Cool. All right. All right. So we begin our watches. You, you know, it's crazy. Watch. We never oh, had to do exploded. watches in Abomination Vaults. Yep. We never had to do we're this. We're always mechanic. close enough to go back to town. It's good because we have the chair. We're wilderness. Back. Well, and you guys never tried to sleep in the vaults. That would be dumb, crazy. honestly. We that was I, we. Well, we did it a lot when we got to the Drow Village, but uh, I don't think we ever well, did it. We Spoilers, I haven't gotten Enoch. that far. Oh, yes, yeah, so actually, we in, like, did. We room. did. We did. Yeah. But that was like a sealed off. Yeah, we sealed room. off a room. Was, twas. Oh, so who's after me in the, in the order here? I think it's... L Icehorn first, Gurgthil second, right. Tover third, you fourth, me last. Well, I thought we were doing dark vision at the dark. Dar uh, we, dark we need five people. We need five shifts. In yeah. So if I hours. swap with. Uh... Yeah, he would have to be second. He yeah, if I swap with Gurgthil. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, Gurgthil no, no, gets yeah, midnight, there. Tover gets second. Yeah, However, so... we do it. We only Bro. need to figure this out once, because well, we'll do it probably the same uh, way every single Whoever's night. after me nope. will find, like, 17 games of tic-tac-toe in the ground <laughs> after. Which is me. <laughs> and I'll just kick the dirt and kind of move over it. <laughs> trying to not I just kind of strum on my loot while scanning. What the hell is he doing? What are all these X's and O's? <laughs> I know this what tic-tac-toe is. is. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. child at some point. <laughs> so you guys go through your watch rotations um and nothing happens as far as an encounter goes it's 
a pretty quiet evening. We just had the forest noises. Um, occasional, you know, um, distant howlings per se or what have you. Um, and uh, you wake up the next morning um, and break camp. Okay. Nice. Oh. I'm I'm just five you. more minutes. Who was who was last in, in the watch? Oh, you were last. Okay. I'm sending you a DM. Yep. I just want to say, at, when it was my watch, I saw the tic tac toes. I just started making them next to them, and continued the game. Nice. Guy yeah, knows how to play. We'll have to do a tic-tac-toe tournament. Oh. <laughs> there, there you go. Gersel's a pro. He's a pro at tic-tac-toe. I somehow ended up beating myself, and I go, damn it. We'll take <laughs> Will from down in that tournament. That's crazy. <laughs> so, all right. So you guys break camp, and you start moving south again. Onward onward and forward and you come across another um sorry i had to ask for more clarification uh yes okay um you come across another uh a group of four um guards on horses and you show them the writ once you show them the writ they get off their horses and offer them to you guys to use for the rest of your journey. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Hold on, there's five of us, but there are only four horses. Now yep. I can walk. I, claim I think you can double up. <laughs> I don't know if my chunky ass can get up there. Uh, I'll lift you up. You ever ride a horse right. before, Tover? I don't Many know if I'm going to risk breaking the Although I do the prefer riding fine. in a carriage. It's always been much more fun. I just I don't want to break this poor horse's spine. I hop on to like Mar Marb's horse, and like sit backwards and kind of strum the loop back towards the group. All right. Well, if you're gonna ride with Marb, Icehorn and Girth, they'll get their own horses, and I'll grab my, with the last one. How about that? Oh, uh, I'm gonna grab the the, the stockiest one. Boy. I can't yeah. find the freaking weight of a cash. Dude, I told you I googled forever. Uh, I'm gonna. I don't think. I think it's based on size. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it is. I'm pretty sure. It's not in first edition, which is where I got my weight. I checked the first edition weight tables for dwarves. Yeah. So in Pathfinder second edition, I'm pretty sure weight's just based on medium, small, large. Yeah. Here's a decent guide. I don't know how clean it is, but. So you don't That's have nice. to be a thousand pounds. If I'm a fan want, of making I it up. Think. As a small, I also uh, like. Yeah, I, kinda, I, know. I just like to have a baseline, so I can be like, "All right, there we go." All right. I say I'll go really heavy or really light compared to it. Uh, I'm just gonna thank the riders. I'm gonna say I appreciate it. They're I'm like, sure they like get there safely. Pounds. They're like, good luck, and we'll walk back to town. Well, um, you need to get where you're going before we need to get back to town. Your your uh, mission is way more important. I'll give them a salute too as we ride off. All right, as, as your feet are dragging on the ground as you're riding this horse. <laughs> I don't think his legs are that long. <laughs> yeah, I'm used to riding like dire wolves. True, true. Uh, so who's riding? Uh, he's riding by himself. Uh, uh, Tover and Marv, for... I think, are riding together. Tover and Marv are riding together. Okay, Tover and then you. At least. And Icehorn are riding together. Uh, or, or you? Yeah. We're all alone except Tover and Marb. Yeah. Oh. They're cuddling. Okay. We got the best <laughs> horse. Oh, that's right. Loop. You can play as you go. That's right. Do we yeah, right. need my back exploration on the back, activities chilling. at this point? Pardon? Do we need exploration activities at this point? I have the tech magic. Uh, no, I yet. So uh, you you travel obviously much more swift, swiftly on horse. Um, by the end of the this day, though, you look at the map in relation to where you are, and you know you're close, but you have to stop again for the evening. 
uh, but you will definitely figure out that you will be able to make the rest of the distance uh, quite easily the next day, probably by uh, mid to late morning if you get up, um, you know, early enough. So you don't feel it's um, safe to ride through the night any longer because as the darkness, this far south, as it was getting darker, twilight and stuff like that, all of a sudden, everybody started feeling as if they were being watched and eyes were upon them. So you can't place it. You can't tell. You know, it's just a like an oppressive feeling of being watched. And everybody experiences this as you're riding. So you want it to be um, daytime, you feel, when you get there, rather than riding through the night and dealing with the darkness. I'd agree with that. I think we should stop for the evening, set up camp, head out first thing in the morning. I want to keep an extra watchful eye on the horses tonight, too, just in case. Okay. All right. So you you ride until about the same time you did yesterday, about 8, 9 o'clock, depending on how you want to work that. And um, you set up camp again. Okay. Yep. Same shifts as last night. I'm yep. Assuming. Wilfram will go out hunt food for the evening. I think that's an actual action and a thing I have to roll for. Subsist. Yeah, subsist. Is that survival? Isn't Can it? I assist with survival? For aid? Although we probably all have enough rations, don't we? Yeah, I, I, have, I have a few. I would assume. I have plenty for you. Don't worry. Plenty, plenty. Well, we'll I have use rations. two I'm uses more of rations. About. Uh, Ice one for me, one for, uh, one for Marb. Yeah, I can eat. <laughs> Isorn, do you have food on you? Yeah. Fantastic. That's great. We're going to have to find some rabbits. Shouldn't be hard. And then I think Bro. we'll do the same set of wa wa uh, watches that we did last time. Yep. Yep. Start reading here. And stop at a fire. But, uh, alright, you guys set up your camp. You're doing the same watches as the night before. Is that what I heard? Yep. Mm -hmm. Alright. Yes. You do so. And, again, uh, other than the the thought and oppressiveness of the feeling of being watched... The night goes by without incident. Hold on, I gotta again. I gotta, I gotta get more clarifications here. <laughs> Why are you, <laughs> man? There's so much shit going on in the background. What are you clarifying? We're just sleeping. I, I, I got DMs that I have to clarify here. Oh no, that doesn't make me feel good. <laughs> We've got the ranger over here with his. <laughs> <laughs> you can think shit. whatever you want to think, buddy. It's all right. <laughs> Favorite enemy crap uh, going on in the woods, and still the bear shits in the wood. The bear. No one's around to smell it. We don't have to clarify anything, okay? There was nothing. We're safe. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> I know nothing. So we just woke up for clarification, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, as. Uh, so I am startled awake, and all of a sudden you guys see my horn glow this, like, ice blue. Like, this bright ice I blue. Oh, whoa. I see why you're named Icehorn. Is that, like, morning wood for rhinos or something? I was gonna ask that, too. What's going on over there? No. I, I thought it was a namesake thing. No, I... It's so weird. It usually only happens in my village or around psychic energy, but I oh. feel like we were being watched by something with white fur and a pus from afar? I don't... It wasn't clear, but ah. jarring nonetheless. So I'm not the only one here, then. Wait, so you got, like, spidey sense on your horn? Yeah, well... No. Hell, Spidey Sense. It's 
Uh, it's better. You know when you get really <laughs> close to touch a spider and it just jumps away? And you sense to pull your hand back just it, in time. It only yeah. works with psychic magic okay, and energy. Not coming up. Do you believe in magic? I did notice no, me missing a few beats on the loot the other night. Maybe that's what caused it. Okay, I can't find it. Maybe you out of practice. With you people, all right? So Jeez. I'm not the only one that had that same dream and had the weird thing happen, huh? What? <laughs> I did not have I that happen. I slept like a rock. You guys are living some complicated lives. I yeah. Don't... I need to actually find the fucking thing. <laughs> Feels bad. You go to sleep, and then you get up, and you just carry on. I don't know what the hell you guys are talking about. What are you talking well, about here? To not leave there their, it is. their tribes. And Honestly, villages. Marb, I don't know what they're going on about at this point either. We got glowing horns. We got rangers who are like tweaking out. <laughs> He's a tweaker. It's just a dream. <laughs> Nothing to concern yourself with. Well, it's a shared dream that implies something magical. Well, yeah. Also, the glowing thing. Magical. Also, the glowing thing also happened. Of course. Yeah. Hmm. I suppose we will f continue on and find out. Uh, I don't think we have much of a choice. Think Rue. Okay, I think we're thinking about the same thing. I think we're talking. I don't about know any Arcana thing. stuff, but I do know occultistic stuff. Me too. So we know oh. some weirds going on. Some weird shits happening right now. Yeah. Can I? Uh, can I like flip through my book to see if there's like I I know anything of uh like shared dreams? Oh, that's a good idea. Recall knowledge. <laughs> Recall knowledge. Recall knowledge. Um. Yeah, that's why I need the clarification, if that makes sense. Uh, I think that's what it's talking about. All right, they're passing notes in class. I'm going to go. I am passing notes. All right, you are passing notes in class. Right, class. Yeah, notes in class. I'm going to grab some water. Fear back. I, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that's what they mean if they're referring to uh, the thing you. I do DMs. believe, yeah, because if I'm reading it correctly, there is. Um, Ryan, are you metagaming? No. No, no, it's the same, same thing for you. Yeah, Thank exactly. You. I'm trying to figure it out because you and I had the same thing happen. If I, if I'm reading it that way, I am guessing that. Well, it's only. I'm guessing you can you can grab the second, the oh right look under whatever you took and it says yeah no I under awakening so yeah. you choose either one of those yeah that's yep. what I meant that that's, it, that's, that's exactly part what of I mean. what you're talking about okay good yes I just yes. wanted to confirm so you understand that too I think so okay all right I can DM you <laughs> if you need me to <laughs> I'm like. But we kind of gave it away. Ooh. I mean, it's, this happened a lot sooner than I thought it was going to happen. <laughs> Which is why I had to clarify. I was like, really? This soon? Okay. Yep. Look, man, he's following the guide. Uh, Don't guide the guide. Yeah, we want... All right. Um. Wait for everybody to come back. We want that one. Yeah, I mean, I'm not totally sure what's happening. Is this a spell that I would recognize if this is, in fact, a spell? No, it's not um, a spell. It is not here. Okay. okay. I'll send you a DM, Aaliyah. Am I, I, mean, am I able to look through? Oh, yes. Um, okay. Occultism? Yeah, look or... through your book. Um, I would say yes. I think occultism would be a good good rule. Okay. Um, deviant feats are very rare. Um, they are kind of, uh, well, not kind of, but they're written into this campaign. So, um, it's not something you deal with generally. So, so for you to know about it, yeah, it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be uber. <laughs> Watch this natural 20 incoming. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it could have. Oh, oh, I mean, damn, that's pretty you good. So close. But yeah, no, you. You you look through your book and you thought you came across a 
potential answer here or there and but it just didn't make sense once you started reading it um you can't really uh, find exactly what you're looking for you you obviously because you have one you may have done a um dr riddleson may have been able to explain uh to you all as all a right. whole what he knows about answers. them and uh you wrote all that down but there was nothing there wasn't anything more than what you have written down on me okay i'm just gonna make a note of it and mm -hmm. uh i'm to ask dr riddleson next time we see him all right yeah, I can't say I'm necessarily surprised about your glowing horn. I had something similar happen yesterday during when I was sleeping. At least it woke Whoa. me up. Except instead of the horns, it, my scars really got cold. Well, you get here. You get the, one of those two it's things. Freezing. Oh, if you click on that, you can do one of those two things. Normally, I'm used to the cold, Where's but. That Alright. This was supernatural. Can I dwarf for you? What? Can I dwarf for you? I'm an elemental heart dwarf. Not in game. That's just speaking outside of game. I've got <laughs> I don't know what it would be considered in game. Not like uh, your heritage. Yeah, that's my heritage is elemental heart. Yeah, elemental heart. That's what I was asking. I've always had a resonate uh, resonance with the elements, if that's what you're referring to. Like you're a good swimmer? Not that kind of element. Like fire, cold. Oh. Oh, so like... You don't need to wear a jacket when it's cold? No, I still need to wear a jacket. I just have a knack yeah, for one of cold those things. Yeah, no, I'm picking... uh, this, there's a thing I okay, can well, do. Mark it. Uh, I don't know how you I can put that on your burst character sheet or anything. a but... radius of cold out. Uh, once a day. It's strange. I don't really know how to describe it. Ooh, neat. And it's actually your pretty it's useful. Perfect. It tells you what it is. Oh, there you go. Essentially, elemental heart dwarves can have a burst fi uh, uh, deal a burst of damage of their element in an area uh, to all adjacent squares. It's just a thing that oh, once per day. It's kind of like uh, like Dragon Breath. Not, not the same, but yeah, no, it's every adjacent score takes a yeah. set of number of dice per damage once per day. Uh, That's pretty with sick. my heritage, it is really sick. It fits my deviant feats really well. Alright, well, if you guys are done with your weird glowing stuff and uh, special dreams, how far away are we from... Oh, you're close. You're, uh... You are probably... You, again, who has, um... Like, uh nature sense let me see in nature sense like nature like nature i'm trained at nature. or would it be I'm direct trained in nature or would it be survive probably survival because you're I'm also you're good at that <laughs> yeah I'm so you're who, whoever is is good at survival you're looking at the map and you kind of figure your position out um best you can and you you feel like you're only like maybe an hour hour and a half out from where she marked on the map well, as far as I'm concerned, uh, the weird dream and the strange glowing didn't seem to have any adverse effect. So, I yep. think we should just keep going for now. No and point to stop there. and consider it. If it starts There'll to have adverse no effects, sleeping. we can change our mind. Exactly. Uh oh. Is Reno back? Yep. Do you need to, like, oh, oh, cover okay. your horn with something so it doesn't glow? It probably doesn't grow low all the time now. It, yeah, it... It was like just sting. like a thing that woke her up. Goblins nearby, or psychic energy, but yes. Yeah. I mean, if uh, there's a lot of psychic energy around, my like, you're muted. You muted. Thought <laughs> <laughs> no, I was muted. Unmuted. muted. If there's a lot of psychic energy around, my glowing horn is going to be the least of our issues. There you go. True. Yeah, I'd agree uh. with that. <laughs> right. Psychics aren't exactly the best thing in the world to be around. Oh, we're dealing it's with not druids. like they won't see us coming, if you know what I mean. We could there be dealing go. with druids and psychics. We don't oh, know. Lord. So, uh, the, the last part of the day. I'd rather day, deal with a druid than a psychic. Uh, 
before you guys made camp, you're, you noticed that the road itself started um, becoming more of like a forest path than an actual like well-worn road from traffic per se. Um, you started uh, veering um, to the southwest of it um, based on what the map was showing you. So um, Wilfram realizes that you need to continue in that in that southwesterly direction along this again forest path that is just wide enough for a horse to traverse um, as you continue uh, on with your your journey. Things are going to get a bit uh, narrow here, but just follow the trail. All right, the uh, the the trail cuts through um, dense and tangled in, uh, interior. As you're walking, you're pushing aside brush net as you continue on. There's, you realize that you are on a, I guess you could say, a side path to uh, what would be considered the main path that you were originally on, even though um, it was more again of a forest path that you were on, it was still considered the main road, you could say. Um, but you are now uh, obviously on a side road path, we could call it. Um, and you continue on um, and with the directions from Wilfram, you find your way coming to an opening eventually. You are on the edge of a clearing. The forest opens suddenly up into a clearing, roughly 400 feet across, as long grass blowing in the wind across a gentle rolling landscape. In the clearing center, a huge stone arch arises 50 feet into the sky, with smaller arches clustered around the massive gate. Oh, the map. We got a map. Map chain. Horrible, horrible act. It's the map. It's the map. map. It's the map. Will it? Oh my gosh. You really it's the map. It's the map. Jesus Christ. Um, hold on. Oh, I don't have a token with vision. Yeah. I don't think any of us day. do because it, even it the. Uh... How do I pull the tokens over? Uh, oh, if you go into the uh, party view and just drag the tokens. Can we also pull our own tokens over? I Except don't think so. Oh, it's going to bring you in no. one at a time. If you could um, just drag your own tokens over, that would be kind of crazy. Yeah, right. I mean, you guys can... I mean, I know we can do it in roll 20. That's why I was wondering. Set yourselves up as you will. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh, goodness. Oh. Whoa. Where'd I go? Where'd, the where'd everybody go? Where went. Oh, where did everybody go? I mean, I'm at the edge of the map. Uh, oh. yeah, you There's dragged, uh, Marb off screen. I can see on the stream. Hi, oh. Marb. Oh. You gotta drag Help him out. Me. Or you could just delete his token and hey. resummon him. Uh, you want, you don't want to just create a new token because now the stream view is going to be fucked up since there are two of them. You're uh, going to want to go off screen. We get rid of Marb. Yeah, it's up there. Get rid of the first one. Yep, I did. There. I don't know how, why, why that happened. So anyway, so you went to the clearing... And uh, again, you saw as described. Um, you can see there's activity around the arches, even though it's further away. And, and you hear some muffled sounds going on. Uh, obviously, you can't make out what it is. And the light in this area is, for the time of day it is, seems strangely dim. Like, it should be, you know, sunrise. It's like... You know, nine o'clock, nine thirty in the morning ish, and the sun should be up and really bright right now. But it's it's strangely dim. You don't can't tell why. Um, it's almost as if the glen itself that you're looking through is in like a twilight um, light area. I feel like wow. I should ask this since I have a feeling we're going to get into a bit of a scuffle here. Uh, what is everybody good at combat wise? You guys swing Dealing. swords. Uh, spells and buffs. 
I am defending exploration activity, by the way. I'm. Oh, yeah, we should do exploration activities. Yeah, yeah do your exploration uh, activities. I'm no just doing intended. constant detect magic. Scout. Um, I'm good at healing and All at. Right. You follow my lead. You Question. Guys, what? How do I get to exploration activities? Uh, on your character uh, sheet, on the second I'm... tab, which is the actions tab, you should see your list, and at the very top it should say encounter. Uh, right next to it is exploration, if you can see that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Then under that, you'll see a browse options yeah, in the actions. Activity too. And then it'll give you, once you click the browse, you'll see a full list. Oh, okay. Uh, generally useful is search, investigate. Uh, investigate would probably be your best bet at the moment. Yeah. What is he uh, good at? Well. Yes. He's a charisma strength guy. He's a champion, but he doesn't use a shield, so he can't uh, defend. If you hit P, it'll bring up the party view. Oh, okay. So I'll would... do hustle. Uh, you probably don't want to do a hustle. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. Hustle is for, like, travel speed. So, like, if we were doing more day-by-day -day travel, this is, uh, it doesn't affect anything in, uh, map. Oh, it's day-by-day. -day. Okay, I see. Yeah, it's a movement. So, it... Are you trained in perception? Uh, yeah. So, search... Is uh is something that uses your perception. So you'd be constantly looking around for like treasure or traps. I'll do that then. Let's go. Uh, it was we don't have a searching person right now, do we? I do. Nope. I'm well no, I'm not searching, I'm scouting. No. You are scouting. Yeah. So we I'll always search. need at least you always need at least one searcher and one investigator in the party I'll at all times. Okay. Let me set it. Give me a second. And uh, also, if you push P, it pulls up the party sheet. I got so it. You can see all the shit, and there's an exploration tab, yeah. and then you can see right. what everybody's you exploration. Yeah, you know, I love either. the stream view sometimes with seeing all of the little dots of all the player what they see on the screen, like little mosquitoes. <laughs> all uh, right, so let me make sure I have these right. Is uh, um. Gurthil is searching. Ironhorn is investigating. Muar is defending. Uh, Tober is detecting magic, and uh, Wilfram is scouting. Yes. Yes. It is okay. also important to know uh, for you, uh, Gurthil. Uh, some exploration activities will actually change what you roll for initiative. So standard oh. initiative rolls are perception. But, for example, later in the game, I'm going to swap to avoiding notice, which means I roll stealth for initiative rather than perception. And he did that. Like, oh. uh, Tover's detecting magic. So if the enemies had anything magic on them that he'd be able to detect, he would be rolling arcana for initiative. Really? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Really? Yeah, I think I thought... so. You sure? I think uh... so. Let me read the spell quick, because I did not read it. You can that make earlier. an argument for it. Uh, some DMs rule it like that. I am I not think. making an argument for that. <laughs> I've seen a lot <laughs> of people rule it like that. I could then see that as... Because you'd be detecting first. the opponent by the magic on them, which is why some which is why sometimes players want to, ar which is one this is why sometimes DMs have players yeah. roll archive. I mean, for technically, you're allowed to argue for using any particular skill yeah. for initiative. I so thought you I meant guess. it auto switches. It. No, yeah, no, it doesn't. I, I, thought, I, thought he meant, I thought it was built into this into the detect action no, magic no. exploration activities. What yeah, I was like, uh oh. Like you could debate it. Zero. You could debate that. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to use it's player by player. Player, but oh, generally, my... like that was something yeah, that I considered good. doing for all I hate them for a while was using detect magic as initiative. But avoid notice specifically. It says calls out you, no. yeah, you, yeah. You stealth for yeah. sure. Yep. Yeah. All right, yeah. we're good then. That's yep. good. <laughs> all right. Yeah. All right. <sighs> Since none of you are really uh used to huh? combat, I don't think. Just follow my lead. Got a yeah. rabbit. Yeah, that doesn't count. I killed a rabbit. We're not going to be fighting a, rabbits. Quietly playing my loot. <laughs> All right. Oh, no, I couldn't <laughs> be with you. Oh no! Your coat cover in the rear. What a legend. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. No. Just as you get there, 
with Muar being where he's at. Oh no. Me? Um, yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, Muar. Stepped on the bomb tile. He stepped on the landmine. Yeah. Oh, there's a Something. trap. Trip wire. It's happening. Uh, at the end, for you, since uh, you're new, at the top of the screen, you'll see the little combat thing. Roll the dice icon over your player, and it'll roll initiative for you. No, we're playing Siege. You see? Oh my uh -huh. god, natural uh -huh. one! Uh -huh. Oh, that that's tragic. 16. Ooh, wow, someone rolled. Oh, was that me? Oh, that was me. I was expecting okay. something ahead of us, Wait, not something do? that tagged fucking Maroob from behind me. <laughs> Maroob. I don't know why it fold initiative diplomacy. That was what was over my... Oh, area. did it... It rolled diplomacy? Oh, so, uh, on the, yeah, on the left side of your character sheet, you'll see initiative uh, in the middle, and then you change, and then you can change what it's rolling for initiative. So it's oh, standard is okay. perception. I don't know why it was set to diplomacy. <laughs> I'm well, like, the new HUD has that like little drop down right above your picture, and it, any single skill there, if you have the little circle filled in, that's setting your initiative as well. Oh, so okay. If, if you switched it there. No, I didn't touch it, but it's it would be yeah. minus one of what, what it is. What the fuck, fuck is that? that? It's a Chihuahua. <laughs> the most evil creature. Oh, the most time, evil. Did you not see the yeah. something is happening bar? No. That thing had the fucking deadest eyes I think I've ever seen. Can you pull up the actual art for Yeah, Kyle can you quick? pull up the art? Oh, that thing's terrifying. No. It looks like the Chupacabra dog. Yeah, what the fuck oh, was man. that? Oh, yeah, you know what? I, that's probably a good idea. I'll show you what they look that like. That thing is spooky. I saw it jump Jesus. into initiative. I'm like, ah? What the uh, fuck? Oh, oh here on we go. The, yeah, on the, on the enemy's... Um... Yeah, I got it. I just got to find him. Yeah. Uh, goodness gracious. Where the fuck are they? Well, you don't have to find it in the journal. So I'm going to turn the music down a little bit. I won't. I got you. Oh, it's rocking out. You're at a I'm doing it more for the bit. stream than anything else, because it was pretty loud on my end. Gotcha. Oh, this one's a little bit louder than the other ones. Okay, hold on. So hype. <laughs> Let me look for these again. I'm sorry. No, you're but, good. No, you're good. So you, so you don't have to try to like find it in the journal or anything, but okay. if if you have one on the map, yeah, you, you can just double, double click, click it to open it. up their sheet. Okay. And then you hover their picture. There's like a tiny little icon in the bottom corner of their picture that lets you like click it. Oh to yeah, yeah. Make there it you big. Go. There you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, what I, that's what we saw. Where's the eyes? I don't know. <laughs> that's like a black hole. The, what the fuck? Eyes. Oh my right. God! I'm not gonna be I able to sleep it. tonight. I don't know. <laughs> so, you see this nightmare fuel? Is what that is? Big doggy. <laughs> uh, we don't see it. Oh, you don't? No, it's probably doing that annoying thing with the uh, uh, like the layer uh, thing. Oh, hello! Oh, there, there it is. is. Oh, there, there it is. It is. Oh wow! It seems quick. So, anyway, <laughs> since Muarb is the closest to it, it is going to move to here. Don't get me. I have raised a shield, technically, right? Because I was defending. You were defending, so yeah. All right. So it is starts what barking and jumps at Absolutely. you. If you get to the other side, you get off guard. You unfor Okay, another important thing is, uh, since I think you're measuring for your reaction, you didn't get a reaction until the first turn in com- your first you turn in combat. It well, it's not a reaction, I'm just measuring, oh, so okay. I know distance, yeah. Yeah, no. Uh, you need to know your that? distance for your reaction, which is why I assumed you were measuring for distance. Oh, Kyle, yeah. where's the combat music? It was just playing. What happened? It's not on autoplay. You uh, uh, as I, say, I don't think you looped it. Oh, sad. The loop. fighting through the um, Feywild? Or yeah, the Gorga it, scene? It's not set to, like, loop or shuffle or whatever. I don't know. Alright. Right. Yeah, right. Anyway, it's right. So it's going after you, because you was the closest. Oh, so how do I, before I roll, how do I make it so that you guys can see it? Oh, we can see it now. He, he's good now. No, oh, no. you can? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, because it was before. Visible. Yeah. All right. So he bounds at you. 
fucking straight. Oh my god! Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> my shield raised? <laughs> Holy fuck, it must have rolled like what? a 20. The first <laughs> damage roll. <laughs> well, there goes We're half off. your health, oh, buddy. I he hope... did. He, he I had did. 20. Because I, I have 21 AC, so a 29 wouldn't have been a crit. So Get like, absolutely really? fucked. Yep. Next one is it. <laughs> All right. And it's second attack. Also, Dylan, moving is a free action in this game. No, it is All not. All right. Your steel oh, shield no, you're right. saved you. But you get three actions per turn. All right. I explained that all earlier. All right. Look, man. I just wanted to make sure, okay? My shield worked the second time. Because apparently I've been playing this did. game for a year, and I still don't know how it works. Um. Well, you well, have been I playing D&D like recently, this. so that's fair. Um, I would uh, not be there if I could avoid it. Yeah, you're the small okay. cleric. Yeah, um, the small cleric with literally zero decks. True. Play yeah, then. The AC Play. of 12. Uh, that's, yeah. That's, that's, for, yeah. yeah. That's, that's going up. Yep. And then. <laughs> not uh, that it will help you much. No. But, you know, it went from a 13 to a, it's or a 14 to a 15. good use of an action. Yeah, I would agree. Um. Got spells. You could no, move. No, I do. I'm, I'm just picking which one would. Uh, I was going to say, yeah, you got cantrips that are offensive, yeah. Yeah. Can I have a basic fortitude save? Please, you target sir? it and cast the spell. Oh, okay, and it just will, like... Yes. It, it'll, it'll, it'll give him something. So... Ah! Yeah, does it let a... you roll damage now from that card? It will, yeah. yeah. I, I, he I... just gotta, you know... Ooh, God damn it. success. Okay. It takes nothing. Oh, turn. no, it's basic. It takes half. It should let you roll yeah. damage before he rolls the save, and then it will actually put the save for him. Like, not that... Well, it did show the save and the roll, roll damage in the... Yeah. Well, you see that. If it oh takes vitality gosh. damage, which it might not take vitality damage. Since it succeeded, is that a half? Uh, yeah. Yes, because yeah. it's a basic fortitude save. Essentially what basic yeah. basic saves mean is on oh. a fail, they take full. On a success, they take half. On a critical fail, they take double. That's and on a critical success, they take nothing. Oh, there's something else in the room. Oh, grand. No. So a lot of times spells still do something even if they succeed. They'll still right. at least I'm do half damage. Before me. All right, Mac Taney. That's interesting. All right, um, you cast your spell at it, and it hits it, and it doesn't even flinch. Yeah, it doesn't take vitality damage. Welcome to the life of a cleric. <laughs> you want to use Divine Lance. That hits more often. Oh, there's another one. All right. I hope okay. there's not three. This uh, let's right. go. Now the fun this begins. One Show me what you're made of. You. It just crit. <laughs> <laughs> you think fucking like, Wilfram gives a shit? It slapped the shit out of that dude. You're like, Show me what you're made of. It did. Wolfram. Damn, it rolled low on that crit for Kyle. Holy shit. It's the damage. Yeah, it rolled really well. Well, he rolled a net 20. Well, no, for yeah, the damage yeah. roll. Like, oh. he got a 10 on you, and I did 8, so he must have right. rolled pretty high on this one. Yeah. All right. Tover is there. So do I target them now, Kyle, or do I target them after I place the emanation? Uh, for... What is this Oh, do? my God, uh, that is so fucking big. You and your allies... I'm just area, hovering over you, and I see the whole stars. fucking radius. Like, oh, holy yeah, shit. Right. It should let you choose to target just allies. Also, you don't need to place target. the emanation once it's on you because it was already, it already had the thing. So you don't need to place the emanation. It'll just automatic. I just wanted to show that it. it yeah, okay. It has, that makes sense. It covers the whole map, and I love it. Yeah, basically, it is the whole map. Oh, so it's an yeah. aura. Yeah, it's an aura. Pretty much. So everybody gets plus one to status, ro attack rolls, damage, damage rolls, and, and spear. spear effects. Yeah, it's a yeah. The damage yeah. rolls are stupid. Okay, I don't know oh, why sick. things zoom You're here in Tover again. What the fuck is going on with the map right now? Unless they're right. like, what? 
I have two targets. Take your eye. No, no, no. The, on the fucking uh, on the stream view, it zoomed out to the full map. Probably because of the aura. Oh, probably. Yeah. And then they just got a roll. Uh, yeah, roll a reflex save for both of them. Uh, there is no. Oh, there it is. Basically. Yeah, so that's how you're supposed to do the spell. He rolls, or he puts the spell in chat and clicks damage before you even roll your saves. Uh, and then okay. it should post a list of saves for you, for each it of does. your dudes, and then you just click the little... Well, it didn't show for each of them. It didn't show for any of them. So do I have to highlight each one? So uh, Yeah, just click that... on it, and then... Yeah, no, no, wait, wait. Let Kyle speak. It's that bottom it, it, part. It's showing, it, at least for me, I'm seeing that there's two rows under that seven, one for each oh. monster. Okay. And if you hover that? the little like man symbol, the little down. man running, and click, it'll let you oh, okay. it'll let you get roll the issues that ironed save. out with the fucking stream view per, by next session. Per dude. Right? Yes, yes, yes. And then yes. it will highlight what button to click based oh, on the result I... of the roll. All right. Makes it way easier. Like if there's like 20 dudes and he roll throws a fireball out there, like it'll make it so much easier to be able to click yeah. them all like that. Okay. So the little um, the Ooh. one saved critically, so it's taking no damage because none of the damage buttons are lit up, right? Yep. Okay. Right. And but the other one didn't, so it, it's in blue. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, right. green meant critical success, so therefore you take known, none, right. that's why no. it didn't highlight, and no. blue no. meant normal success, so you would take this normal. Oh, damage. cool. Okay, that's that's handy. All right. All right. He they takes known their damage. Thing. The one dog just shook it off and got hit, and it is just like, oh. But the other one yelped a little bit. The one in yeah. front of uh, Moir. Hell yeah. Moir, keep me protected, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't you worry. I'm only halfway dead and my shield's full. I'll be all right. I'm only halfway dead. Berthol. Well, if you'll be all right, if I heard that, uh, I'm going to do something. But I am going to use my action, I guess, to run up here. And then uh, I'll take the second one, so minus five. And I'll swing at this muff. Muff. <laughs> muff. Ucker. So, so you're... Okay. So it's the first attack. Yeah, it's not turn. the first action. Even though it's the second action you've taken, you only do the multiple attack penalty for every attack. Oh, it's not every action. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. So you're good. You're at full attack. And, oh, and let's make go. Sure, make sure you highlight, hit, like, click, click on, on it, and hit C. And, and it'll target that mob. Oh, yeah. I just clicked it in the corner and did it. All right. Hell yeah. All right, then. I guess first attack. First attack ever. Oh, <laughs> it didn't help you. It gave you a it. four. Yeah, don't worry. I have a second attack with a minus right. five. I have a second like, hold on, attack. I got the razzle dazzle coming. Razzle of the dazzle. The plus happening. three is gonna hit. Watch. <laughs> I mean, second attack hits decent chance. Plus, it's, yeah. the third, it's the third that'll never. Same <laughs> yeah. number. Oh no! Yikes! <laughs> also, that is so much oh. louder than it should be. Hold on, I gotta turn on the volume for the attack effect. All right, fix it. That's not real. Twelve and twelve. Your interface <laughs> volume. Yep, it's it's down. real. We're good. We're good. Seriously, I guess that's all. Yeah, that's three. three. So then, yep. three has a DM switch. If you if you hover your orc's face up in the top tracker, there will be like a little uh, end turn. There oh you yeah, there you go. Sick. Hey, Kyle, punch him. Oh no, shit. It's more so more my more... raise shield goes away because it started my turn. Yup. I will target this little shit and I will punch it. Jesus. Oh my hey. god, that hits because what of rage. Wow. damage. Yeah, because of yeah. Fuck hey. you. Courageous hey. Anthem. You rolled a one and still got a fucking plus six. five. Wow, that's beast. I got a good Dude. fist. Yeah, Courageous <laughs> Anthem OP, bro. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. And then go again. Nope. Nope. Aw. <laughs> that looks so sad, Reno. Aw. <laughs> I'm going to use my third action to raise a shield. All right. I was really excited to see what Girthil, Girthil could do with the uh, Courage Anthem, but right. the game cucked him. I'm just kind of going to ignore this one. I've got a better target. Uh, I'm going to stride. One, two... Oh. Oh. Does it have attack, attack of op at this strike. level? 
It's Reactive so strike in your ass. Gogoing got eyes. He got senses. Screw. Oh my god. It wasn't a crit, yeah. so you can continue your movement, right? Yes, but that's okay. This is annoying, but fine. Oh, that is uh, actually because he moved into it. Uh, no, no, that's not. It's only okay. out. Uh, no, actually, no. He does. Would get one, he yeah. enters his reach here True. and then continues a movement action. Oh, that's Although, how it works. Gerg Thil, Pathfinder. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Pathfinder. Although Gergthil, if you wanted to use your reaction at this point, now would be a good time. Oh, how do I? How do I? Oh target, yeah, he could have done that on the first attack too. Uh, yes. What's he gonna do? Which is what I'd recommend him to do it on the first attack. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. So target me by pressing T while hovering my token. Uh, and then hit your uh, liberating step. Oh, I macro. see. A liberating step. Which is actually perfect. So oh, I gain the effect, it. except it doesn't automatically apply the effect. Oh, he targeted me. Oh, oh yes, yeah, you got to target. Oh, oops, sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, I got to target me. The the it's less the attractive. Learning curve. Right. No, <laughs> right, That's sure. True. Whatever you think. So, uh, <laughs> well, so yeah, target, target me and slow. then re-hit the button. <laughs> Fantastic. That applied. Okay. Now I retake okay. the damage, except I take reduced, and I you can step as free. a free action, which I will yep. to move here. Okay. Ah. So, but you still strode initially, so yep. yes, I still get his attack of opportunity. So. Should be fine. I love the optimism. Now, the thing too that so it's different than D and D. You can see that attack of opportunity is a lot stronger in this, but not everybody gets it. It's actually somewhat yeah. rare. That's why I assumed you know it's level one. The, not yeah, these monsters aren't going to have attack of op, <laughs> but apparently they fucking do. All right, fair enough. That's fine. Uh, Okay, right. well, that was one action. I'm going to target this one and hunt prey. So, yep, that applied the correct status effect. All right. So now he's oh, my yeah. targeted prey, and oh, I'm going cool. to twin twake. Twin take twin, down. Twin, twin, twin twake it. Twin twake. So let me untarget this guy and retarget it now that he's my hunted prey. You are my hunted prey. That'll hit. Yeah, that'll hit. hit. A lot of damage is combined. Second attack, don't you? Yes. So let me roll again. There you go. That'll also hit. That's 21. Now, that is actually... that second attack not at map? Oh, it's at map, but my map is it only is. minus two. Oh, nice. <laughs> because I'm just, just happy because I don't know. Yeah, so oh, cool, damage cool. and damage. And then he combines it. And then we combine. So that's 17. Yeah. Yep, 17 points of damage. <laughs> All right. Wow, okay, you smacked it. With hey, the pain, Wolfram dead. just slides up behind this one and just cleaves it. Like, its <laughs> head just comes clean off. This is not <laughs> Wolfram's first time killing something. That's There you go. And Wilfram's Well, that was my over. first time punching something. I was a little like, whoa. But it worked. Punch it like, right in the face. Wow. Hey, well, uh. Flurry Ranger, baby. I rolled higher on my second attack than I did on my first. You still have your damage. Oh, uh, do I? I resisted. Yep, I'll I roll, remove it. It's I fine. rolled damage, right? Or do I roll attack and then damage? Uh, you always you roll, roll damage. It's an attack first. roll, so you roll attack. Oh. Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. This isn't a saving throw spell, it's a. Ooh, nice hit. Damn. Damn Ooh, it. divine land. And you know, not bad damage. Like and there's no soul. save for that, right? Right. This one was yeah. just a... Yeah, this one is just spirit yeah, damage. It, it took it. It has a soul. Wow, it has it a soul. Has I, I wouldn't have been able to tell looking into those fucking eyes. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, yeah. You get one more action, I believe. You, Correct. You're right. Uh, who goes next? So, Gorky boy over here goes next. Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm gonna cast Guidance she... on this guy. Okay. Uh, not, not that him. guy. Hey, guy. way to go! Okay. Okay. Thanks fuck? for guiding. I will take it off him. 
<laughs> I will do her a favor. I will do her a favor. Stupid. Why you gave it to me again? Uh, Stop giving me a heads, heads up for the future. Oh, they have guidance. Yeah, when you, when you uh, remove guidance, it automatically applies to you. Well, uh, that's like, not don't what don't I was going to say. To like Just a heads up purpose. for the future. Both guidance and courageous anthem are both status bonuses, so they don't stack. True. Ah, okay. Mm. Okay, oh, what would no, this I dog do? We'll probably just attack the closest one to him. So it has no preference. So it'll go after Shiny Shield. Yeah. Your shield shiny, just shiny, threw shiny, it shiny. in. It's like, oh. It's raised and it is ready. It's pretty. Hard and it blocked. Dunk. And it is going to. Oh, interesting. All right. Let's see what happens here. I fell down. Rut row, Reggie. Rut row, Reggie. Rut row. There's a shield in your mouth. Rut row, Reggie. Can you not? Nice. Pokes its eyes out. Oh, wait, what eyes? Reggie! Oh, God. That's so fucking loud in my ear. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I'm sorry. You like it, you know. Fortitude save. Yeah, no, I clicked the wrong fucking thing. Get rid of that. Um, this one I think I have to give. Oh, to yeah, you, you to you. I do cool. suppose uh, on a miss. Wow. Okay. I did an attack. It's it's not an attack. It's, I don't uh, suppose this action familiar. has the cold trait. Um, hold on. Or the hold on. I also have a question too. <laughs> it does. Wow! Look at all the questions that pop out. Oh, uh, it's probably not auditory or visual. No problem. So yeah. can you can you give me flavor as to like what is happening yeah. with this um, action? All of a sudden, the the, the dog is, looks at you, and you feel you feel strange. You feel like something's being pulled from inside you. You're not sure what it is, but you don't want it to happen. Does it oh, cause gosh. my horn to pop off? No. Okay. I probably fail. I do uh, fail. Did it have you the did cold that. trait on it? It does. Honestly, it doesn't say. It's an uh, effect. Sh well, it should have a list of traits for the action. We certainly did have a third. Yeah, it'd have like incapacitation or like mental. Necromancy or. or uh, there'd negative. be a bunch of traits. Yeah. And if cold isn't there, then that means it's not there. Yeah, there should Auditor be a list of visual. traits. On it. <laughs> it, does, it... Um, it doesn't say. It then just says it... effect and uh, blah, 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 blah. In the character sheet? Uh, yeah. Really? It definitely yeah. should. Okay. Um, okay. How can I show you what it says? Uh, I, don't, I don't care. Don't bother, you can fine. screen clip the section. Oh, well, you don't send Oh, maybe I can... I yeah, mean, it's not a huge I... deal. That. Oh. Uh, yeah. Huh, I guess it doesn't have traits. That's weird. Nice. Yeah, so, so I say it didn't, nice. it doesn't say. Get him. Okay. So, anyways, so you, since you failed. I take damages. You take this. Oh my god, and... it will max damage. I'm, I can block that, right? Uh, Anytime yeah. I take no, damage? No, because it's, no, it's, it's a shield. Yeah, I don't think you can What it did is all of a sudden you feel, a, like, a piece of, you like, your, like, it's your ripping shadow. your soul from your yeah, body. Yeah, you, you see your shadow on the ground being... Um... shaking the camera by shifting oh, so, it, like so it's that. not yeah. a physical attack. No, it's not a physical attack. <laughs> gotcha, <laughs> gotcha. You, okay, you, so then yeah, you can't kill block. Yeah, all of a sudden, like, you, you look down and a piece of your shadow just, like, disappears gotcha. off the ground. Okay. Yep, so I can't block it. You can't it's block me. that. Oh my god, you're mortal already. I'm so not one, doing two, great. Alright, I think that was three, <laughs> so... He he went beyond yeah, the okay. shield. The aura I is the I don't know what happened. Uh, we Can... need to fix this for uh, next session, Kyle. But the aura is breaking the stream view. It keeps zooming out to the max distance of the aura whenever his turn or he does anything. Um, <laughs> excuse me. How do I make the frames at the top bigger? Because it's actually really hard to see the numbers with how small they are. Uh, it's a settings option. Okay. The, uh, I'll figure it out. The like combat tracker. Yeah. Uh, it's called Carousel Combat Tracker and Settings, and you can well, change I found the carousel it. Yep. size. To, I do it extra large because it's 
too small. Yup, me too. Ooh, telekinetic projectile. Pick up a rock and I chuck it at him. Ooh. Ooh. Cool. Oh, you uh, re-upped uh, your anthem. Oh. Too, right? yeah. All right, you hit Muab right in the back of the head, ah, and he, he just he like just dies. Turns around, I look the other way. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm everything. I'm looking away. <laughs> I'm sorry, that does damage. Marv is down. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> huh? All right, Gurk Phil. We're just joking. It's fine. We're just joking. <laughs> Uh, you could use Lay on Hands to heal Marv if you wanted to. Also, yeah, technically, no. that would be an attack of op if we wanted to roll like that, because he moved into range. Can, can I move on top him. of the corpse? Yeah. You oh, can. okay, I didn't know. Okay, I yeah. top of in, in, but that's fine, you can take the attack of In Pathfinder, just so you know, there's uh, a movement called Step, which you means you only move five feet, and it does not provoke uh, an attack of opportunity, just so you know. Yeah. So you can step here. Let me move this out of the way. You could step there, and it doesn't promote the attack of opportunity. Well, technically, oh, okay. he could just move there as long as he doesn't continue to move, because all Correct. he's doing is entering the target's range, but not continuing. So okay, right, right. But if That's... yeah, but better safe. So than better, better off times. saying step, so we know for sure. Again. Okay. Well, I'll just stay here and. Yep. Uh... Yeah, you know what? I'll I'll heal I'll heal the bo bo boy. Yeah, heal the boy. I'll with give the you I target him and oh, click the man, yeah. yep, man hands heal. And then there should be like an apply healing button that pops up. Yeah, I didn't click on you at first, but this is on you. I, I just need to get used to it. Sorry. No, you're no, good. no, you're, you're good. good. You there is no sorry. I mean, we've been doing this fine. for a year and we still don't do it, right? Yeah, it's very true. true. Six <laughs> healing. It's true. guaranteed. Yeah, healing. that's back. It's guaranteed. Very good. Yep. And because you use it on an ally, it gives me a little shield bubble for a turn, it which is do. really cool. And you still can attack, and you still have one more action. Oh, sick! I'm going to beat the shit out of it. And you have not used any attack, so you don't attack at any map. Correct. All right, Correct. well, uh, can I use a second, um, like, focus point in the same uh, turn? You, you, well, can. you can, but I think you, oh, do you have more than one focus point? I get two. Yeah. Get two. yeah. Oh, then yes, uh, you can. I'm going to raise my weapon up, and as I do, you see it begin to glow with radiant light, or I guess it'd be a uh, spiritual light, whatever. And we're going to weapon surge. Ooh, ooh! Pop off, gang! Another focus. And I'm gonna beat the shit out of it. Oh, Holy oh, hell! Smacker! Oh, so cool. uh, but yeah. Just nice. a heads up: you technically don't attack there. Weapon what? surge, it, it, weapon surge boosts your next weapon attack. So that oh, would be your reaction. next. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh that's fire. fine. Oh, yeah. right. So it'd be your Here. next strike. Oh, that's actually not on the next strike For with that weapon turn. before the start right. of your next turn. So yeah. Yeah. Oh, you you're right. Can, you can action a that and yeah. do it. You just, just retcon it. Just make, retcon sure it. Have you, make sure to add your focus point back to. Yep. I will. Right. Okay. Point back in. And just but yes, because it would be an action to move, an action. Yeah, to I didn't realize that. Action yeah. To do that, and then a fourth action to hit. With right. It. Okay. Uh, rewind. I swing. Rewind. F5. I reload. swing. <laughs> we still do that shit. Oh yeah, we do. Yeah. No, I don't think we do that. Nice. Hey, That's it's awesome. a hit. There it is. Nice. Courageous yeah. anthem was it? Did it? Twelve. Oh. Holy Ooh. fuck. Hey, he's using a great sword. It's great sword. It's two-handed Double handed. Yeah. That was crazy. Yeah, a little bit of damage. That's all I can say. A, a little bit of damage. A little bit. Uh oh. Little bit. Almost hey, as why well is Noir looking the wrong way in the combat tracker? Yeah, come Here's on. a post icon. What's going on here? It's because he flipped. And so <laughs> is Tover. Tover's looking the wrong direction. Well, I'm looking towards the monster. All right. He's <laughs> looking at me. Towards the monster. Come on. You, I agree. You look towards the monster. That's okay. There you go. That's great. <laughs> I love the flip thing. It's I love it. I, I'm so glad there it is. Gurkle's looking the correct way now. <laughs> oh, if you're targeting something and you press F, it'll make you face towards it, no matter where yep. you are. Oh, really? There it is. Oh, that's sick. How have we been playing really? for a year and we didn't know that? Uh, that's because that, we but... just added that like yeah, a it's couple days ago. <laughs> oh, okay. Nice. Okay, I thought it was here this whole thing. time. I was like, right, guys, fuck I know it. I'm we're... just gonna punch him. Yeah, you're gonna punch him, huh? No, you're not. You're gonna try. Nope. And you're gonna no, try. Oh, yeah, we oh. do. Wow, eight damage. You rolled almost max. 
I think Dude, that, that might kill it. That one is yep. so much better. Oh, no, that it. wasn't max. It was almost that was, max. Oh, it sure was. I still have a D4 until next time. Holy shit, I killed it? You killed it. I don't know why it's sleeping, not dead. It's, oh, because it's I an unarmed attack. It. Yeah, it's an unarmed attack. You do non-lethal damage. Oh, snap. There you go. Put it out of its misery. <laughs> it's still going. <laughs> Can I just walk up? Uh, okay, well, I'll just walk up yeah. behind it and I think No, I think non-lethal means you're allowed to try to not kill them. No, them you because... take a penalty if you try to do a non-lethal uh, attack with a non-lethal weapon. Monk and his... martial artist oh, really? removes that. Shit. Oh. Damn. So, take, so it is dead then. Uh, no, it is no, alive. No, oh, it's not. Oh, okay. So, 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 like, the first time I punched, it didn't matter because he wasn't going to die. But this time, I, put, I like, slammed down on its head right. to, like, knock it out. Now it's unconscious. And now, though you still have one more action, so you can't. Yeah. You do take but a I, minus two to your I, attack roll if you try to do lethal listen, damage with a non-lethal It's weapon. just way in there. It's not I'm sorry, rules there. is written, and this is what Kyle's I shit mean, is. Are is you okay. so, He's... Yeah. I should have just beat it with the shield because it's the same to hit True. with the shield as it is with my fist, and then it wouldn't have been a non-lethal attack. Um, would yeah, would you... my 19 have hit at minus two? Is my question. Uh... So if it was a 17 of hit. Yeah. Uh, blah, 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 blah. yeah, I believe so because it's Yes, it earlier. would have. Okay, so then I would have done a I would have done a lethal attack with a non-lethal fist oh, that, strike sure. for 17 yeah. instead of 19. Oh yeah, if you're, if you're willing to play it that way. Oh, right, l l listen. <laughs> in in it, which case, I slam down on its head. Exactly. And kill it. That's you. You <laughs> not. You punch it in the face. It goes down, and it, you notice it's not dead. You take your shield and you just slam it down on its, on its head. And start to skull. It's yeah, the walking guillotine. Quit fighting, my friend. <laughs> this is me actually with the shield. <laughs> exactly. So. Um, but yeah, I'll attack with the shield for the rest of level one. Level two, it won't matter because I'll actually have a lethal fist. All right. Correct. Do you attack with so no weapon on purpose? Gotcha. Uh, yes, on purpose. Okay, I okay. Use it. I will have a D8 fist here at level three, I think. <laughs> All right, how do I... It's now dead. I was going to offer you one of my hand axes for future combats. <laughs> They got it. It's funny that you carry nice hand axes because so you my name is that. Marb, but if Marb. you spell it backwards, I think yes, you'll yes, everybody gets it. It's a League of Legends yeah. reference. Now fuck off. <laughs> you'll understand why I'm not using a weapon. No, there I understand. Oh, he okay. wishes he didn't, but he does. Yeah, unfortunately, well, I know fucking so. League of Legends player. What the fuck? There we go. No, I quit that game like three years ago now. Uh, that game right. sucks. I Hold wish on. I could quit that game. <laughs> Ah, uh, dude, I punched a hole. I actually punched a hole next to my desk, and I was like, Holy I gotta stop fuck. playing this game. Yeah, uh, that's a good, like, that's a good tell to stop. But that was bad, dude. All right. I don't um, know a single person who plays that game and likes that game. Yeah, that's why I quit not, it. I was you, getting way too mad. Not like Muarb, Muarb slams the shield the down onto the, onto the uh, animal and cuts its head off or smashes its skull, whichever he wants. Yeah, and he looks cheese. around, everybody looks around, and that ends the encounter. Can I do a well, recall knowledge? It looks like screen? we're in the clear. How much uh, XP? Everybody gets 64 XP for that. Hell yeah. 100 and 14. Uh, Hold on. Oh, 112. 112. Yes, you're right. Um, what do I use for uh, recall knowledge, whether or not you figure out what it is? All right, come uh, here, buddy. They so target, she, well... she can just use recall knowledge macro, and then it'll spit all of them out to you secretly, uh, and then you use what you want. I yeah, would. I, I, oh, I think so I would there's... just know what it is, because I wrote it down when we were talking to her, and she said there were shadowy-eyed fade creatures, so I'd that assume. True. Yeah. So I'd be like, aren't those gorgas? You know, I will... We'll give you that because that makes well done. Sense. I actually have it in my to notes know too. Their name, to know that they are that. Yeah, but, but the recall so knowledge would give you the more recall knowledge matters. Figure out what they do because yeah. you actually can learn about its stat block by using that recall knowledge. Action. Would that about. give him? Would that give him aid then by me knowing that? So he immediately uh, puts it together. The DC would probably be lower. Is the idea? Okay. That works too. I'm cool with that too. No, for real. <laughs> Since we've already heard of the monsters, it's probably 
Right. You way. you're and assuming just... that it's what you were told. Yeah, um, I'm trained in occultism, so good job, Gert, Phil. Honestly. But yeah, Who's you figure who's recalling knowledge? Uh, yeah. Tover did. Um, I'm honestly surprised Tover. any of you remembered that. What she was so talking did about. Tover send you his recall knowledge macro? He did. Who are he you did. doing that on? Yeah. Out of curiosity. So it should print out every uh, uh, the two right. skills that are relevant for this type Mar of creature, and it should have told Marb. you what his result was. Marb and um. One, so, two actions, three actions. Oh, it would be that. Yeah, no. Um, uh, Dover, you look it over, just and you're up. like, mm. for uh, this is something you're gonna have to get used to as a cleric. It's probably Girl smarter for you right. to use a three action heal to get us both at the same time. Name, you can't remember anything else about it. Awesome. Okay. Because remember, heal varies between one and three actions. One actions is just single target, and three is spell. AOE. Uh, two actions is ranged and has a bonus flat to your healing, flat at eight at level one. And then three actions is an AOE 30-foot emanation around you. So rather than spending but two it... spell slots to heal both of us, it might be smarter to heal us Does both the AOE have emanation. the flat eight as well? No. Oh. So but the two our action relatively... heal heals more, but only to one. trying to only heal one person. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Ooh, oh, and almost max. Actually, oh, actually yeah. that is yeah. it max. does get it. Yeah. Oh shit! I feel so much better. <laughs> you should. You guys, uh, Will from Stole fucked up. Uh, that's I feel the you exact were still same. Technically targeting him, so it only uh, allowed him to pick it. So uh, it jumps back up because really? it just still there. It's fine. I'll just heal nine hit points on my sheet. <laughs> I didn't know it did that. My bad. No, you're good. So, so um, they, they can't get the cast out. Run away. All right. If that you feel much if better. If you move, if you move the okay. clock forward like one minute, yeah. most okay. of the shit from combat that's still on, like guidance and stuff, and we'll random, and off. like the anthem, will just turn off for you. That's what I always do at the end of a combat. Just like advance it one minute, just to get all that shit off, like blast. All right. Oh. Good call. That is immunity lasts for a long time. Holy. Ten minutes. An hour. Yeah. An 60. Hour, one of the two. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's do that. All right. I'm going to actually chug one of my elixirs of life to top myself off. Nice. Nice. One off, Max. Perfect. Imagine oh. getting hurt. Uh, we, we, we stop you right. look at you say that to Wolfram, who is covered in scars. I, I have a scar on my face too. They, we match. We do. We do. Honestly, I just now noticed that. Honestly, I've been choosing not to look up at you. It really actually strains the neck. Yeah, that I get that a lot. If you stand far enough away, you don't have to look up. Well, sometimes that's not an option. They want the money. <laughs> like right now. Exactly. <laughs> you know, Gert, All right. though, I think we're going to get along. Yeah, I like you too, bud. <laughs> I like I you. Like he doesn't you. know your name. <laughs> or not your name, sorry, your age. He just said bud. Bud. And uh, Wilfred I mean... just sees it as a standard, like, a standard, like, nickname and is like, okay, whatever. Right. Also, good healing. I don't know what that weird magic thing you did was, uh, Tover, but, yet? uh, whatever it was was effective. Glad to be of assistance. All right, how much time did, I'm guessing we refocused, yeah? Uh, oh yeah, speaking of focus point spells, use focus points, which can be refocused in 10 minutes per focus point. Woo! So you so can you take 20 minutes. One. Oh yeah, you only use one. Oh, you only so use can one, take right? 10. Yeah. Oh, oh. uh, Marb okay, died. <laughs> Marv died right there. Uh, His he, hamsters oh, went out. He evaporated. I don't feel so he good. Evaporated. I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. Oh, yeah. uh, hold on. But yeah, essentially, after every combat, oh, yeah. you should take the time to refocus. It's a good idea. Yeah, 10 minutes is, like, not bad. Oh, no, that's an easy... Um, Iron Horn or... Ice does horn. it need ice horn? That's what I said. Ice horn. Does it need to refocus anything? Nope. Anyone else? Nope. Everybody. I did everybody not use 
death skull. Also, did Kyle actually die? Yeah, his PC must have he died. Crashed, yeah. Oh, jeez. Hey. It's we'll fine. Pause. We'll go on without him. He'll go. <laughs> I don't think we needed him anyway. We didn't need that guy anyways. He got his ass beat first fight. <laughs> I mean, my man stepped right into the sight line of that thing. He wasn't being careful at all. Don't do it. You guys want to play rock, paper, scissors? Not particularly. <laughs> we have a job to do. We should probably focus. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm pretty man. sure Marb might be drooling. I think he had an aneurysm. Uh, a rhythm? Aneurysm? An yeah, I think that's right. what it's called. An aneurysm. aneurysm. Uh, it's close. Close. Oh, break out the book. Fix it. But yeah, yeah, he erases the spelling. <laughs> yeah, know how to spell it. And <laughs> I tell you how to spell it. Dwarvish. Aneurism. I can sound it out. He just puts an N. Okay, I trust Aneurism. you. Aneurism. <laughs> Aneurism. Yeah. Aneurism. Aneurism. I like how I like to think it's N U R I I S M. Like no, honestly no. though, you can tell from his interactions that he's like smart enough to like grasp a lot of concepts, but like you know he's still learning. Yeah, no, that's yeah. fair. The bro can't spell, and honestly, neither can I. Hey, Dylan. I, um, yeah. I don't... Uh, you, 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 you have to work in the morning, so I don't. I want to make sure that it's cool to you know keep going on. We yeah. can. I don't have to be there till 9.15. I don't care. I only need like six hours of sleep anyways. Okay, again, I just... I don't want to... This no, I'm good. Yeah, all right. Cool. I'm turning into my dad. Like He sleeps like four hours, and he's fine. It's crazy. Sleep yeah, is so, fine. You know... Like... He's over 50 now, so he's almost dead like me. So. Yeah, right? <laughs> fair, fair. I went from <laughs> needing, like, I needed, like, nine hours of sleep, and then it was, like, eight, and then seven, and now it's at, like, six to seven. Yeah. No, I go, yeah. Dude, my sleep demands fluctuate. I just realized I get three first level spells. Ooh. Ooh. Because of my muse. Oh, nice. Wait, how, many level, how many spells do you Add it, baby, add it. I have seven cantrips and three spells. Seven cantrips. He took an extra feed for that like before you ask lot. anything. Yeah, dude, five is wow. plenty, but you know, seven is seven. more adaptable. Seven's handy. <laughs> seven is handy. I got warp step, telekinetic projectile, shield, prestidigitation, light. Oh, thank God. Detect magic. I thought you yeah. used a first level spell when you critically missed that telekinetic projectile. I was like, what? Oh, fuck. oh, no, 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 no. And then what? I have biting words, runic weapon, and th soothe. You know, Kyle has changed. All the parts in his computer, and the thing still crashes on him. Yep. It's, uh, it's because he's bad and doesn't know how to build PCs. <laughs> essentially, <laughs> See, I, I don't. I don't know how else to put fine. it. Oh, really? Yeah, mine yeah. works are fine, but I also haven't like tampered. Well, there's with always an, also. an exception to the rule, Reno. A broken uh, clock is right twice a day. Oh yeah. Oh no, you can use your. Oh, he is back. All right, shit talk has to stop. You can use your waking So you just advance to the minute, and then all that shit turns off automatically for you. Okay. Yeah, just to finish. Yeah, nothing thought. happened. Nope. No, nope. we're just gonna ignore that. Gate. You walk nothing in. Happened. Three months goes by. You walk out. Yeah, you walk out. Like, <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? Why I is it daytime? Been gone for a minute. <laughs> Why the fuck is it daytime? I was hunting at night. What the fuck? Uh, it's, it's funny. So, all right. Oh, all right. Oh, there we go. All right. So you guys, you now do your thing. Well, let's keep moving. Those were some nasty fucking wolves. I don't They're think they were normal. I don't know if I just saw those wolves. wolves. We're moving, bud. I'm, scared right. I'm, I'm waiting for the DM to stop me. There it is. So happy to I'm... have uh, these healers on my team to keep you me alive. I'm You're welcome. I, heal. Um, I don't think you did anything. Well, I did. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. We will do a stealth check. A stealth check? Yeah, I can do that. Yep. Uh, let me specifically I can just hide. Yeah. Use the hide thing. Um... Or do you just want flat stealth? Just a, just a flat stealth. The game's still paused, too. Yeah, I know. that's incredible. Oh, ew, oh, it's like a natural one of the night. Look at uh, you. Hey, are you Reno? <laughs> Actually, that <laughs> might be two, my uh, third. Hero I don't points. remember. Actually, yeah, I'll use yeah. a hero point. Fuck it. I was say, you got two saved up. Kyle's got two. Wait, what? Six. Press oh, P. no. Yeah, you know, 11's not bad. Two? I did just, uh, I did just, just like, go down, like, a sloped hill, so I could have probably like, knocked a couple pebbles loose. Hey, just give some out, you know. Like, oh, shit. Damn it. 
When he feels All right. it's necessary. Um, did you stub you... your toe, Will, from? Is your hair right? Just not did you dog. roll your stealth check publicly? That's supposed the, to be yeah. secret. That's what I... I was going to roll hide, but... Uh, that, that's fine. He just had me roll flat stealth, so... Let him live his life, guys. I mean, live my life, Kyle. Fucking rules life. lawyer piece of yeah. shit. Nobody likes you. Mm. <laughs> You're not supposed right. to know. As you, You're as you cool. get there, just about, I don't know, maybe another 20 feet or so in front of you, you kind of notice the air looks like it's wavering in front of you. Okay, like that's weird. Like, not like... Not like a mist that's blowing by, but like the actual air is like yeah, it's almost like shimmering. Like, shimmering. like yes. uh, when it gets really hot in the summertime and it does yes, like that wavy thing. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I get you. Okay. It does that wavy thing. Well, how else would you describe it? I No, you're right. I just thought it was fun. I never thought about it like that, I guess. That's weird. Okay. I'm going to just. Something's up in I got to get up there, man. No, no, if we want to. Approve I'm trying to avoid well, any from rocks showing me how down. to be an adventure. I gotta get up there. I'm gonna I'm right. stay slowly safe. Yeah, when, when you get about there, you're kind of like standing in front of it. You you definitely notice something in front of you. Um, you want to not be in front of me, Marv? It's kind of hard to see. Wait, that's in front? I was trying to be at the side of you. I'm pretty Where's sure. The, I'm pretty sure he's referring looking? to. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's referring to this area. Yeah, I want to oh. be at. I want to be shoulder to shoulder. Are we looking okay. south or are we looking east? Um, you are looking like southeast. So like in this. In okay, so like corner. yeah, that would be perfect. Yeah. So. See that? Um, I don't know what that is. So yeah, so you, you know, really there's you point sign. out that there's something there, and it's ice horn. Like, um, his, his horn kind of starts blowing ever so faintly. Shit, what so the fuck? Oh, I'm doing it again. There's, there's something, there's something there. I don't like that. Horn. What is it, boy? What is it, boy? Timmy's okay. stuck in the well. I'm not. Okay, Where's that's what? just a meaning. Don't, uh, don't, not don't. even a dog. <laughs> that's why I said it was demeaning. I know. Your uh, your horn glows starts now going. I'm already. People don't leave their I am also. Okay. If my hatchets are out, they are ready. Yep. Same with my sword. I'm my looking all around. Defending. I guess I'll be as ready as I'll ever be. I'm basically just trying to protect our backline right now so that they don't get jumped because. You know. You know, I wish somebody did that for me back in the bomb. I literally vaults. did that every single. I know. Single I'm kidding. Time. I know. He has. He has good combat sense, for sure. Um, I think someone should poke it. Why don't you poke it? I, I start like stepping nope, forward. All I have is my shield. Yeah, go ahead and poke it. it. I'll throw a rock oh. at it. Oh, Tover. If nobody else is going to do it. Tover just... Okay, maybe you shouldn't. <laughs> what do you mean, shouldn't? All right. We should. All right, Marb, when you stand there... <laughs> All right. So for Reno's next character. <laughs> you mean you... fucking Kyle's next character? Give me hey, a, a uh, If you're going to suggest poking it, then go ahead and poke fortitude it. I'm not going to do it save. for you. I got Straight you. fortitude save. There you go. Look at that. That's oh, great. Gone. Okay. My screen looks so good for a second there. Yeah. Uno momento, por favor. Uno momento, por favor. Uno momento. Gurkill, that's another... That is another uh, rule of adventuring. Don't wreck it. Don't say you should do something unless you're willing to do it yourself. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. So if I say I'm going to throw you, I'm accepting I could be thrown. Yes. Yes. Okay, noted. Like he said, we should touch it, and then he didn't touch it. So. No, I, I wanted to poke it with a stick, but I didn't have one, so then I just walked into it instead. Yeah, that's what I meant. Jesus. Just Dude. full hand out, outstretched. Yeah. Uh, yep. No, he's going to poke it. Let him do it. Let him do it. He said it. No one had a stick. I'm just full mouth agape okay. looking at this guy. Like, I don't have, wow. I don't have uh, survival. I These guys are going to die so quickly. 
orange. Oh, I have yeah. a shield. Okay. It will be a green. miracle if you all live to but, see okay, another one. I didn't use my shield last time no. because I was trying to save her. I <laughs> say that and Wolfram could easily die. But do shield? He's as frail as you are. So do, do weapons and shields have durability? Here, like, uh, no, the shields do. You shields have hardness. Damage all right. Into your when you, when oh. you step past that shimmering area, you all of a sudden feel a, a thunk, like a punch to your chest. Oh. And you take uh, that damage that's in the, what you call it. Okay. Non physical damage. Yes. Exactly. My horn going Does off. Does it like go shorts. away or? Uh, no, yeah. it it remains. The shimmer. Wait, the... all right. But does the damage continue to hurt? Uh, no. It you once you got hit, it the the pain stopped, but you, you know. It was Do nice. I see the mirage the still, or you... is it like behind me now? Yep. No, you still see it. Is it like in front of me? Yes. Oh, what the fuck. So it's not like a wall of shimmering shit that I walk it, through. It's like I'm now in the in mist an, of yeah. shimmeringness. Yes, exactly. Uh, so we could just walk okay. around it. Uh, no, it's like... Oh, it's, it's a barrier. Entire, it's a barrier. That's well, what, guys, I, that's what it, it is. kind of hurt, but I'm all right. So all right, if fine. we want to keep um, going, I mean... Icehorn, if you want, give me uh, an arcana. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Good idea. I just punched myself in the face. It would be recall knowledge, Arcana, by the way. So you'd ro have a roll recall knowledge, which would be a secret yeah. check. Yeah, that's all right. Um, yeah, obviously, again, you know something's there, but you can't. Oh wow! What the fuck? You can't is this quite crazy? can't quite make it out. What what you think well. it is? All right. Well, we don't so, have another choice. Let's go. Wolfram's going to attempt to step through. I don't through. know right. if I want to go through that. <laughs> All right. So. Fortitude save? Everybody make that. Who steps into it, make that fortitude save. Uh, I'm going to wait a second to see if You know, same as Kyle. I'll take it. Nope. Ooh. Oh, Cover's make perfect. perfect. Wow. <laughs> There's the gnome. All I right. don't see what you guys are complaining about. It's fine. I'm All not right. complaining about anything. So, I'm gonna pick I, up. Uh, I scorn right. take that, or Wilfram take that. Oh, I failed. Uh, Ooh, yikes. Wilfram take one. I don't see the damage. I think you might have rolled. It was it rolled? The the, oh, the same four. four. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and I scorn. Oh. Damn, I'm just. I scorn take that. Um. Yeah. Tover just walks through and is like. I don't know what you guys are talking Yeah, about. for you, Gergthil, there's the fortitude button. Yep, up above. I see it. You click that, and it'll automatically roll it for you. Just a swift kick punch. I'm good at this. Oh, oh, man, I would pussy to everything. Damn, this game is such oh, a no, big. Um, it really is. It, I mean, to you guys, it's oh, oh, nice to me. Is that a normal <laughs> fail or a crit fail? That's because it was mean fail. to you all okay, for abomination vaults. He just fair. walks through it, and he goes, ow. Right. It's not a big deal. Any. You guys all just got like Some mentally sort of tased. Magic. I think I walked into a thorn. You know, I think it's kind of bullshit that my race isn't like resistant to like psychic ability. Resistance is not the easiest thing to come across in this you system, still nor does it might scale get as well. Stuff like that, but it'd probably be it's a probably feat, higher like level, level five feats, yeah. or something. Yeah, probably. Right. Um. Uh, Ice horn, give me another Arcana check, please. Boy. Recall no, knowledge, Arcana, this time. Recall knowledge. Don't this time. tell me what to do. It should uh, be secret. Give... So, Don't I think do that. Roll that right tell there. Tell me what to do. Roll that in the chat. That I will do. Okay, that wasn't secret. But it was fine. not secret, oh, but that's all right. fine. All right. Um, Icehorn, after getting punched in his face as well, um, all of a sudden has a revelation. And realize what this is. It's um, and he uses his knowledge of Arcana to um, make the shimmering disappear. Um, he realized that it was a shadow warping effect, which was a cross planar seepage that the ritual that the oaken stewards are performing was creating 
in this area of the opening. But once he realized what it was, he was able to will it to dissipate. Whoa. Mm. I don't know what you just hey, your did. Your horn glowed again. But whatever oh, yeah, you did, it, it worked well. Good as, job. Yeah, as soon as he dispels it, his horn stops glowing. Magic horn over here just coming in clutch. <laughs> coming in clutch. Is that like oh. a new thing that younger people say now? I believe dwarves made these uh oh what are they called? Steam engines that have a clutch of some sort? It's a <laughs> weird word. Well yeah, I've heard it used in that context, but I don't know what kind of context he's using it in. Yeah, yeah no, everyone awesome. in High Helm says it, it all changes the time. I have been there in a while. The the You're right, I've not the been there in a thing? long time. But the... yeah, that's what all the cool kids say now. <laughs> the cool kids? I don't know, it doesn't sound cool to the me. The cool kids of High Home, you know. Right, right. You... I'm only 96, man. I'm still hip. <laughs> only 96. I'm 94. Yeah, yeah, I'm hip. I'm hip. You're hip. What does that mean? You'd have to be back to... I used to be with it. it, and then they changed what it was. <laughs> we can go back to High Helm, and I'll hook you up. I don't want to go back to High Helm, thank you. I'd rather not. Not really either. It's fucking boring. All right, from where you're standing, you can see further uh, ahead, and you can see that um, it looks like there's what looks like a horse tied down <gasps> at an altar. Speaking of which, why don't we leave see. our horses? Darkness and there are a couple of me. um couple of you can see them. Yeah, is there like a They're new map open. we should be moving to? Uh, you will be in okay. a moment. So oh, just give you know, you guys the flavor. This strange yeah. um, black void in front of me is very confusing. You, and, hmm. You're very impatient. Some bitch tied Can down you identify horse? what this black void is, uh Icehorn? I think we're stuck in it. <laughs> oh God, we are. Our tokens aren't on the map. <laughs> right now, you get when you Why bitch. Did that... You gotta. Uh... If, you, if you just let the man speak and chilled on the map, we wouldn't be here right now. This we is your would. fault. No, it Brew. is not my fault. This reminds it me of that time I was in the astral plane. What? Um, what? Uh, <laughs> it looks like. How the hell did like, you end up in the astral we're on plane? The, the seven yeah. arches map. Oh. oh. We're good. I don't remember the changed plane names from uh, D and D. Wherever you guys want yeah, to get me either. As you step forward. Well, quick question. No, like, you wouldn't say that uh, any of these are like tombs, graves, or like no, they're arches. Places of these are the arches, right? These I mean, are the give you context, uno okay, cool. momento. Well, look, yeah, see, if we had let him one, speak, two, three, we would have five, had six, the context. Seven. There are seven arches. Wow, Uh-oh, yeah, there's no guards. ruck row. Maybe we should walk through these gates. I just have a weird done? feeling about it, but I think we should I don't think that's what we should do. Are you sure? We were called gatewalkers. That, that's what I'm saying. We're gatewalkers. Shouldn't we walk through the gates? What if we run through them? this one? Oh, okay. Then we'd be gate runners. Also, uh, none of this is character. Right. I want to make sure you're aware of that. All right. <laughs> All right. So, as you guys clear that that field with that uh, nasty field of unstable cruelty, um, <laughs> you see the seven arches of gray brown basalt le- loom around the center of the forest clearing. Kinda In the odd middle, how they're all separated in weird positions. In the middle is a crude uh, wooden altar carved with vines. A hog-tied unicorn bleats deliriously is that a fucking upon the unicorn? altar. <laughs> Despite two lines of lit torches around the altar, shadows clog the area like a thick mist. In conclusion... Uh, Hold on. Wait, Icehorn what the does fuck? not like this shit. Unicorn. Yeah, I don't either, real. actually. What's that? I'm getting a sus feeling. Nothing. I wouldn't say that in character. Sus. Sus. What do you mean? Oh shit! Fuck that up. I don't know why it's suspicious. 
Yeah. Is from where we are, can I see if like the is like the unicorn chained down or anything, or is it just yeah, it's, it's hog tied. Yeah, it's I'm not cool with that. It. It's hog tied on the altar. How and dare they? What the hell are they to a horse in. creature? Oh. Well, <gasps> initiative. Oh, hey, look at that one. Shit. <laughs> you said it was perception before I rolled again, right? Just, just. So oh my god, we rolled three is twos. The default. Yeah. Okay. Oh my what god. A fucking nine. Absolutely nothing like it. Hey, which that's is okay. different than D and D, which I think is dex based. But... Yeah, it's dex based, which I like this better actually, because dex based yeah, means like ninety percent of classes suck. Yeah. For for yeah. initiative. Yeah. Hey, dex bard man. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, dex bards are cool as hell. Like Dex is high on charisma. Rank. Well, yeah, charisma but... and vitality or er, con. con. <laughs> yeah, Dex should always be your third, second or third highest. Let's stack. be honest. Let's be honest. Bards always end up as tanks somehow. It's crazy. Bro, sword bard, best Look, bard. With our party, this might be the only time the bard doesn't have to tank. <laughs> that, right. that is true. Yeah, this is we great. have a fucking I feel orc so and two safe. dwarves. We have three tanks. Up we have front. three of the tankiest races in the game. <laughs> Well, and the best part is I I got a rhino. Uh, they're that's casting a, a spell at us. What the uh, fuck? No, they're not casting a spell on you. They're casting a spell on themselves because oh, they no, would have done this while waiting for you guys. Oh, so we don't see them doing this. You don't yeah. see them doing it. Okay, so, so we can't recognize this. Oh god, they're buffing. So they're buffing. They pre buffing. Pre-buffing. Shit, we should have anticipated this and pre buffed ourselves. Probably. All right. Just the music. Come on. Oh, I'm hearing it. Oh, I hear it. There it is. Yeah. Air fight music. <laughs> it All started. Right. I just don't think it's looping. Is our problem? Oh. I don't know why. So we'll wait and we'll see after the end of this song if it just stops and we know what the issue is. All right. Now, if it says loop, does it need to be lit for it to loop, or or does it need to be? Um... I assume it needs to be lit. When you click it, it'll toggle between like three different modes. So what? That's lit. Yeah. So God so if you click to loop. Okay, I think I lit, get it right. I think it'll be good. And if you click the other one, it's gonna toggle between all the modes, all which right. you don't want to do because I think the next mode is to play all at once, like we did that one time. Right. Oh, okay, it's lit now. I'm scared of the unicorn. Hopefully, it keeps going. All right. So that's fair. This dude back here is like. Bolin, don't want you here. Leave. Bolin's a bitch. <laughs> He's a motherfucker. All right. So all of a sudden, this dude, Muarb in front, he's just throwing his dagger at you. Let's go. Wow, he threw us at very hey, minus. Range. I didn't That's even have my shield feet. up. All right, you cheeky <laughs> shot. Now do. <laughs> oh yeah, just the oh, casual my... 19 AC against the 12, you know, yeah. just, you know. I didn't even have my shield. Fucking hit my shield up. Mm. I, shield, I was man. defending, I should have my shield. Let's see. Also, our initiative should have been one higher because I was scouting. I don't know why it didn't apply that. Uh, That's okay, because ties still go to enemy in Pathfinder. Uh, so I was going to say, yeah, it actually wouldn't have done anything. I know, I'm just, I'm just fucking with it. <laughs> He's gonna move to here. Well, there is a way, clearly. All right. And he's going to cast. I know what I have to do. I just don't know if I have the strength to do it. Nothing. You need me to toss you. Cast nothing. He's gonna cast because he did that. Did that. Did that. Um, he's not gonna be stupid and do that. Yeah, right. throw him on top of that. Uh, that, that Your that dagger's right on the ground right here now. Yeah, he knows. Neener, neener, neener. I think I'm aware of that he arm. Draws his staff. How's that? Well, I'm gonna pick it up. Oh, okay. okay. I don't know if up. I'd touch that, but that's this your prerogative. Is gonna do the same thing. And maybe they Oops. should move closer in range. They can't really throw knives that far normally. Or if you throw through your friend, you're gonna have a. True. Minus yeah, minus knives one. have a throw range of True. ten feet. By the way. Oh, do they? Yes, they have oh, a range uh, increment of 10. Uh, every te- e- okay, so every 10 feet, it goes minus 1. So yeah. if you throw from 30 uh, feet, yeah. you'll be at minus 2, I think. Yeah, that's so, fine. They're only, they're only so smart. Man, these guys aren't I'm, that bright. 
they think they're good right. at throwing knives. They know, right? Well, you know what? Since that's the case, imagine thinking you're good at throwing the guys knives, in but only front. Two. He's going to do this then because it's smart. Ooh, a spell! Uh, I but... am going to use my reaction to consume energy because that All has right. the what? cold trait. All right. I'm going to attempt a counteract check against that. All right. Uh, so counteract check. Uh, it's using my. Is that strength. your deviancy? Yes. Okay. You got to roll your flat five. Uh, canceled. You must target before attack. Okay. Hold on. It's technically considered an attack. It, it uses strength. Oh yeah, wait, that's oh, gonna oh, counteract. Oh, wow. no. oh, but wait, wait. That's your special thing, right? So you have to try to get backlash. Uh, yeah, I roll a d20. I think it happens after. It happens oh, after. after. I think it succeeds yeah. regardless. So I'm going to roll a d20, gotcha. see if I can get backlash. I do not. Also, because that thing that happened earlier gave me awakened, yep. uh, I gain consume energy augmented strike. I get 1d6 on all of my cold damage. Wait, you have an awakened version already? That's the weird thing that happened that night that me and... Uh, the hill? Oh, okay. Because normally you can only awaken it like a level four or five. Also, or that was counteracted, so that just doesn't come out. That okay. spell gets canceled. You wasted your spell slot. Basically. I also gain That's temporary fine. hit points like equal to double the counteract rank of the ability, which would be one. This is yeah, why you don't one. give him shit when he sleeps. Well, I would have been able to consume energy regardless. It's the bonus damage I'm getting yeah. from Awakening that's different. It was so, all random. Uh, yeah. So it's double the I counteract know, rank. Counteract rank of one, I assume, Kyle? Oh, uh, what's that? Uh, what's the counteract rank for this? Because it's uh, the rank would. Uh, well, so the spell level is the level of the ability that. So, like, whatever so his spell one. slot level is, his rank. So. So one, cantrip, which is cantrip. So, one. Yeah, so, so I one. gain two temporary hit points. And then yours is your level, I think. All right. Cool. It's Tover's turn. All right. I need to move a little bit closer for later. Also, my DC is 10 but on my backlash. Close enough? Nope. Sounds like the music's working now. It, it is. Yeah. In your thumb. I hear it, so yeah. 30 feet. Jesus, dude, already awakened. Holy yeah, that's why fuck. I had. That was all the clarifying I had to do. Was like, really now, <laughs> first session? Yeah, okay. I, was, I was expecting that like level five or something. Right. Move then free action. Oh, and, and, performance. And, as uh, as I use consume energy, I forgot to describe it. Literally, the scars that cover Wilfram's body like light up this light blue, yeah. and it's I like guess. everything around him like get. Uh, uh, Gergthil, you'd probably stuff? notice the most, but it gets very cold around Wilfram. Like the like, it just drops temperature significantly. So from like waist down, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Your junk's <laughs> very cold. This is yeah, very uncomfortable. Yeah, so is that a critical success or a regular you success? Get cold uh, junk. You attempt to yeah. check DC is usually well, yeah, a standard I'm about difficulty DC height. of a level equal to the highest level target of your composition. Not enough architect reincarnation. Oh, this will be you guys because I'm doing the same thing. Yeah. So yeah. standard level DC of level one. Yeah. yeah so you guess? yeah, which twenty four would be success it's or crit standard success. difficulty. Let me look. Uh, fuck yeah. There's a chart for this. Rainbow Archives of you guys know. <laughs> Well, I used to have a macro yeah. for you, but I don't cool. you looking at Where you could like pull up the, the table to look at like the difficulty at a certain level. Oh, okay. Because like all, to make the DM just make up DCs on the fly is kind of annoying. Whereas if mm -hmm. you can look at like, oh, it's a level one thing. So the DC should be this, you know, right. it's a lot easier to look at a table. Okay. Right. Work. Oh shit. That's the wrong button. I think it's. Yeah. I think it's and I'm gonna there have is to something free. that says displayed. Oh, it doesn't work. I'm gonna have to free action courageous anthem so it stays up though because there's no way to, that I can change the round uh, remaining. Standard DC at this rank would be tw would be 14, so critical success. Yes, it was. It's four rounds instead of three. Nice. All right, now I have one action left, and I will shield. I'm yeah, I'm just gonna have to click that every turn just so that it uh. Yep, and the actually... vision broke again. Fuck. It, it, it happens. Uh, Wilfram's gonna look up to Gergthil. See that? 
See that unicorn? Might be a smart yep. idea to go free that. That's the plan. <laughs> He's gonna... Let me see. I could get there with 25. Yep. Well, you gotta go from your square. Yeah. Not from the square in front of you. I, I specifically remember on Friday... I'm... And remember, you can use more than one action. Matter. Okay, I could get there. Uh, yeah, but I, I a little something something. Okay, okay, I'm ready. I see you. Let's see it, kebab man. And uh, he's gonna run up like this, and instead of having his greatsword out, he's gonna pull up both of his hand axes, and he's gonna throw them. Oh, there you go. You do well, use your dexterity for his what for out your of attack. His That's fine. Uh, actually, no, that wouldn't. Okay. No hatchet. Little Sorry, they use they up. use strength. Little heads up. Uh, no, a any ranged weapon uses dex. Oh, because it says even his throne. When I switch to the throne, it uses strength. It shouldn't. There should be a ranged option right below it. Yeah. yeah. That's. Oh. Yeah, that's why I clicked. It might on be it. like javelins. Uh, no, because my hatchets only roll a plus six, and because I have a lower dex. Yeah, it says plus eight for me, regardless when I switch it to range. Maybe I had to turn. Uh, also, you wouldn't be able to do it anyway. Your, open uh, your character sheet. Because it yeah. might be the HUD mod is not working. <laughs> and go to the, your actions tab. And then where your hatchets are, they should have the top row for melee. And then the right under it. Oh, the yeah, you're right. Row. That's fine. Also, different. as a, a little bit of heads up, you wouldn't be able to do that. Stowing a weapon, you'd need to drop it. Uh, which is a free action, but taking out a weapon is an action. So you wouldn't be able to take out <gasps> both hatchets and throw them. You'd be able to take out one and throw one. Yeah, Pathfinder's kind of a bitch about... They give okay, you okay. three whole actions, but they do make you spend an action to pull To do out quite a, a bit. I, uh, yeah. I see, I see. I'll just use some more movement here, and I'll just make a single melee attack. Yeah, it's probably the smart idea. Yeah, so I'll move right here and then right in front of this guy, so that's two actions. But that's okay. I'm going to swing at him. You're going to swing at him. Swing. 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 Fifteen. And I miss. Fifteen misses. Oh, my no. God, man. Why can't I? That's swing it. And a miss. I really need to unleash that pissed off unicorn. Right, for <laughs> real. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm kind of scared it's going to turn on us, so I don't know. Uh, yeah, the it. unicorn is bleeding, I'll and, it. you know, it's it's got cuts, and it's it's bleeding up there. You can see it. Is it, like, freaking out, out up there? there? Can like, we talk yeah. about the narwhal tusk yeah. this yeah. fucking thing has? Yeah, that thing's horn. horn is really fucking big. Tusk? <laughs> it's a horn. Cute. No, I think... Oh, yeah, yeah, she said oh, tusk. Yeah. And I know, I kind of, can we talk about this narwhal? Oh, tusk? you described it as a narwhal tusk. Okay. Ooh, yes. you getting it's lucky. Narwhal tusk. You are. I have 18 armor class. Chill. All right. So. That might seem like a lot, but wait until yeah. level <laughs> fucking 20 where your AC is 43. It's a lot to D&D, oh, I'll tell you that. Yeah, because D &D, everything yeah. scales right. up by one per level. And do that to you. Oh, he's going to demoralize. That's, you uh, probably you are that's a, that's a crit. So I think you are frightened too because of it. Uh, uh, what? Did it? Did it not let you? Okay, so the 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 basic action macro thing, just like when you were a player. Oh, I did the wrong thing. If I, you I, do I, that, it'll automatically use. It'll it'll like do the math for you. I'm sure you like oh, checked okay. his shit to like check you, against your intimidation and stuff. Well, I rolled the next one, so. Oh, so then it goes up a stage. Anyway. Yeah, I'm saying. But, yeah. so, but just so you, just so you know, like in the future, to make it easier on you, yep. so you don't have to do the math. You can still use basic action macros like you were a player, and it'll yeah, still work. Yeah, totally forgot about it. Um, I just gotta find frightened on here. Oh, there it is. Get that. frightened, orc. Two. All right. And that um, is its turn. I do. Okay. I don't know specifically how this works, but it's a bonus feat I have. Yep. I don't because it's worded weird. It's fear no law, fear no one. Um. I didn't succeed it? against it. I how do I post it? 
Uh, uh, next to your feet, like the little, little, little down little to your hands there. and go to the little tiny box. It should, and if you hover over it, it should give like a little chat bubble thing that yeah, you like. Yeah, like, there it is. That's nope. That's that's, Aaliyah doing oh, that's Aaliyah name. doing that. Hold on, let me look. Right to the left of the name Anyways, of your feet is like the little picture. Oh, I see it. Yeah. And, yeah, there you go. Yep, that's it. Because it, it ends on the first one, but it says, in addition, anytime you gain the frightened condition. So I don't know if that means, like, I have to succeed first or. Uh, nope. Yeah, it would just lower your value by one. So you'd go from frightened two to frightened one. <laughs> it's just like can. what you did with freaking Richelieu. Anytime yeah. he gets frightened, it goes down by one. Well, he, gets, so he automatically one. only gets one, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I will be ducked one. There you go. You're Where did that come from? Who knew that be useful first session? Let's go. It's a feat. Well, yeah, but I'm like, where does he get? Where did the feet come from? Like, was it a background feat? Was it a? Uh... Oh, yes, it was orc on thing. path builder. It was. Might have been pull a orc thing. I think so. I'll pull it up. I have to oh, find my page. Yeah. All right. Well, it's my turn. So, Wolfram is going to. Stride. Wait, did Elliot take her whole turn? Yeah. Yeah. yeah she... <laughs> What you call it in and... stride? Feels bad, man. And then yeah, it was, it was because I took battle ready or oh, it says... and it overlapped, and he Pretty told me to just take a different order of the scourge, from a different race. Oh yeah, huh? Order of the scourge prerequisite. I don't. That's weird. Yeah, I don't think you can take that because oh. you have to have a prerequisite of oh, order of the scourge. Here, um, roll that, that back. Maybe. Hold on, well, we'll just figure it out next. Yeah. Yeah, we'll pop it out later. No, no, it's fine. There's all sorts of buffs we're gonna figure out. Yep. Yep. So exactly. I stride twice, and then I'm gonna twin take down this guy. So I he's not my hunted prey, so I don't get the full map. But or the bonus map, but you know, I'm gonna attack first with my uh, hatchet that has the cold. That's a miss, unfortunate. That's a miss. And then I'll attack again. That's that not hits. a miss. <laughs> Alright, apparently I rolled the wrong fucking hatchet the first time, but that's fine. So that guy takes nine damage. And the, some of it was cold because of uh, Augment Strike from Consume Energy. So that guy takes yeah, okay. damage. I thought that was your first one. All right. I clicked the wrong one, apparently. Apparently, I applied it to my bottom hatchet and not my top uh, hatchet in my character sheet. So. Some antics. Okay. Uh, it's not my fault. <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> There's a lot of semantics in this game. Some antics. I, I love it. All right, you want to <laughs> see this cool shit? Yeah, I'm water. You ready for this? You're going to charge. Ethan, what the yeah, I knew you were gonna do that. <laughs> it's exactly just beyond one stride, so I will stride two actions Damn. to get up here. Yeah. And included in those two actions is a sh is free a strike. Right. And so which I will punching, use the yeah. shield. Oh. No, because oh. I'm not allowed to punch right now without being uh, un non lethal. So oh, I'm, okay. gonna, I'm gonna bash my shield into his face and miss. And miss, but it was missed. cool. You you looked cool running up to him. I must I say, I like held my shield up and just sprinted. Ah! You did. Ram it at him, <laughs> and I missed. Okay, and but missed. then I'm gonna hold the shield up like a normal person with my third action and move on. In ratio. Okay. <laughs> All right. So. So he's gonna. This is where the fun begins. <laughs> I know, right? Don't worry, these guys aren't. Too beefy at all. So he's Where's just gonna. The Where's the beef? Yeah, he's just gonna swing at you. Ow! Ow! What the is going? Oh! Now hold on a minute. Why did I? Didn't buy... Hold on. What? I gotta read this. Well, because he cast, he cast this. Uh, can you read it? Well, we can't read, read it. it. Oh. Yeah, it, all uh, it tells us when you cast a spell okay. is it tells us the traits of the spell, that. and we can try to identify it. Lasts it lasts a minute, but it'll last the whole fight. Um, how do I apply? You can, oh, let's, you oh, can, let's do this, maybe. Yeah, it should automatically have a Oh, there it goes. Whoa. Is, yep, I something got it. Something happened. Something happened. I don't know what, but something did happen. 
Yeah, and Reno is planning out a whole fucking war over there. Okay. So, like, go. Someone just consume energy wear off until the end of my next turn. So uh, what is consume going energy would have worn off at the end of last turn. The number of weapon dice to two. Okay, so. Oh my God! They put fucking greater striking on their weapons already. God damn it! So. Oh, how do I? Oh shit! I'm fucking this up. <sighs> no! What's happening? I'm... Lingering composition. You can just. Oh uh, no! You can Let just. Me roll. When you roll damage, what? you can just add a d4 circumstance bonus to your damage modifier if you wanted to do yeah, that. Yeah. I, I clicked too many times. How do I subtract the dice from the dice tray? Uh. Oh, right click the die icon. Right, right click. Maybe, right? Yeah. Yep, yep, that's it. All right. So, take uh, another... If you wanted to use a reaction, oh. now would be a good time, since we're both in range. It would be... Well, it wouldn't be one, it would be four. I don't know why it says minus three, but... Uh, well, what's it's attacking with? Well, it, it doubles its damage dice, so it should have been 2d4 plus... It's what you call it, because of the spell that was cast. It well, uh, adds a, and adds a second damage dice. So, the damage dice originally... It, it cast Shalele. So, yeah, but it probably doesn't turn. What what kind of weapon is he using? A staff. A staff. Yeah. What's his strength modifier? Um, but that was already applied in his original six. It's plus two, right? Yeah, so okay. it's just an, an just an extra four. So, so so his extra die roll there should have been that full when he rolled it. Right. That's what I so, was asking. Right? That's what I was trying yeah. to figure so out. So it was an added. I don't know why it says minus one, but. But it was, I rolled a four on the okay, extra you damage. you rolled a four. Uh, I would yeah. really so like that reaction 10. if you want to let me use it, if you right. give it to me. Gurthal. Gurthal? Gurthal? Uh, He's busy your, being frightened. Your reaction, you can, if you want to use it. You can it. use your reaction uh, to mitigate. What can I do during Frightened? Uh, you can do everything. It just gives you a penalty to your saves and attacks. Frightened is just reducing your to hit. Huh. Think. Yeah. 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 I ain't going to react. Yeah, oh, I'm gonna oh. let you eat it. Okay, no, that's fine. I'll take ten damage. I'm taking it. <laughs> that's, that's my point. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> He's gonna uh, use it. So, so, so you're you get one reaction per round, yes. just like D and D. If you use it right time. now, you will negate the damage that Ryan is about to. Oh, take. I thought I can only use it once for combat. No, no, no it's no. per round. Oh. You get your reaction. You get your reaction at the beginning of your turn. Oh, yeah, I'll use it then. Who got hit? I'm sorry. I'll uh, so hell of so target yeah. from... He's like, no, I'm going to save champions it. Champions are stupid. Okay. The champions are pretty good. They have yeah, to get that reaction. That's Kyle, so he I knows. apply resistance. <laughs> oh, I did it again. It automatically did it. So I would take 10. So what we're just going to do is we're just going to modify the 6 and add plus 4. Yeah. All right, so instead of taking 10, I take 7, which is much better. If there's anything there you, you think go. is and broken or isn't working, I will take working. a free action to move. Write it down. Here. Okay. And, the, and then we'll test shit off of stream. Sounds good, sounds good. Can't believe these right, fuckers so... use shillelagh at level 1. Come on. I know, right? Um, I attacked once. Was that a w one attack or was that a second attack? Uh, I think it was that was first. Attack. I think it was his first attack. So since you moved, he'll swing his second attack at Marb. Hell yeah, hit the shield right here. Marb. Marb. Boing. <laughs> <Ding. Bonk. laughs> and his third action will also be to try to scare you too. Not the scary. The scare. Ooh, success. Oh. It's and he needs so, because you used the basic action macro, it, like, yep. automatically did all of it for you. So, it already made me frighten one. It already gave me the, uh, yeah. Beautiful. All right, cool. That doesn't be, that be handy. All right, this guy is feeling all kinds of, you know, smexy. guy's kind of scary. That was funny, right? As the guitar changed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm glad you noticed that, too. Mexy. Mexy. Yeah. Mexy. Yeah. So, yeah, you gotta turn that off, Ryan. <laughs> I did. Relax. Uh, actually, you know what? He's gonna go back and attack you. 
again will will run because you did some major damage to his buddy buddy Your health looking like? <laughs> uh, it's low, and that's probably yeah, another yeah, yeah. defense. I keep having to rethink what I want to do on my but turn. But is he shillelaid? Oh, yeah, we have yeah. Shillelade. It's another. We D4. have a cleric that can heal. So I would just I roll a D4 in I chat put... without, yeah, you know, doing it from the I damage. I lay on him. I don't know why. It's I know it, it's yeah. clearly not working right. But so just just click the D4 down in the bottom right where the dice are just to yep. fucking roll a D4. Don't do yep. like the damage so it won't try to do the minus one and all that shit. So click the D4. Now how do I make it a public roll? Just Oh, uh, just right click it and show to players. Yeah. After it's posted in chat. Oh, after it's posted. Okay. That's one way. Otherwise yeah. Oh, six right damage. That's it. not terrible. Did I sh yeah. Oh, did it do it right? Yeah. It yeah, we right. see the two. Oh, okay. That's what it was. I'm All down right. to six health, though, so, uh, Cleric, you want to get on healing me, please? Well, it's one move, one strike. Blue second orange. strike. In, oh, yeah, that I'll was a hard miss. You as soon as it's All right. turn. Yeah, I, I know. I know. Next turn. <laughs> All right. I fucking hate the fact that the map goes all the way back up because of your fucking aura. <laughs> Look, we'll figure it out, all right? I don't... I, that's weird. Uh, it's just that I have to manually sense. move the map. It, it is weird. Is the map I don't know. Just for auras. That's right. I, yeah, it, kind of well, we haven't it. had an aura that reaches sixty I feet. Yes, that's true. It's like a million Ooh, meters. True. Runic weapon. I will take. Wait, who are you applying that shit to? I assume he's applying it to me. Well, I oh. To the Ooh. ranger who does a million attacks per turn. That's probably a good play. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Either that, or I was gonna give it to Gergfil because he's one v oneing and you guys can kind of shift around, but I can't get to him in one movement. Yeah, and I got oh, a plan for the next turn to get to the uh, um, nice. OC. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. These guys are just so like scared. yelling at you like crazy. Like, you are terrible. Right kind of right play now. Now. I just play the loot and I smack you on the back as I run by. <laughs> <laughs> as the way fighting works ass. is it there goes go. down by one at the end of your turn. So when your right. turn ends, you'll at, no longer be frightened. With, Actually, uh, I, guess I would just run my hand over your weapon. I guess with Frightened, you just see him kind of look like he has PTSD, and you just see him start swinging wildly. Oh, yeah, he okay. closes his eyes and swings. Yeah. Focus. Well, I guess or... I have another area I need to uh, avoid. <laughs> we can use our Deviant things now, right? Uh, Yeah, if they apply to yeah. the situation. Uh, yeah, you just can't use your... Awaken. Awaken. Yeah. Swing. Yeah. And swing. you're going to see <laughs> it looks like his arm gets even bigger than it already it's is. It's swing. Swing. I uh, gotta roll your flat D. Okay, that's your yep. flat. And uh, no, that's the attack roll. So roll, just roll it. Oh, D20. No, just roll a D twenty because you gotta roll you take a flat D five to see if you take backlash. Nope. Oh, that you do not. All right. All right. Oh. So what does tight swing do again? It's two actions. More so damage. It was <laughs> more damage. So you need more damage. It, it basically more. adds a damage die onto it. Damage. Oh, and you can just check the box when you click damage on oh, your weapon. Yeah. Uh, I gotta reapply this, by the way. There you go. Uh, no, you don't. Really you, used, uh, and you used... Uh, yeah, but it took away extended. the buff. Oh, It took okay. away the buff. I see. I yeah, see. but I gotta remember to use that and then, reaction. Se yeah, does right. 17 hit? Oh, it does. I see. It does. Yes. Damage. Woo. And now you get the extra plus one damage. I think it has... If you would have missed, been. I would have felt so bad. <laughs> right? I would be like, oh no, I could have given you the plus one to make up for the Frightened. I gotta use... This. That's okay. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, holy there shit. There it is. That guy is dead. And he gets knocked back five feet. He and the plus flying. one for Courageous Anthem. Nah, that fool is dead. Yeah, I'm not able to make it there on me. Damages. Yeah. That was uh, demonized right there. I can do that too, can't I? Why have I not done that? And Titan, 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 Titan swing uh, costs an action, right? So it would two be actions. that plus two five. Actions. Yeah, so you got one two. left. No, that's what I'm saying. It's like it's Titan swing plus your attack itself. So no, two, I think right? Titan swing. It's, well, a Titan swing itself is a two action activity, but it. Oh, you're right, right. It is an attack. I see. Strike yeah. Built yep. into it, yeah. So it's just, yeah. I see. I see. You All right, and I'll just extra hard and swing. <laughs> I'll spend the rest of my uh, turn then uh, trying to run over to the uh, unicorn and take a look at its shackles. Okay. Right. 
well. Nope. You're oh, a short guy yeah, with a glowing yeah, weapon. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Can How's I please going, fucking Claire? target this? Hello? Thank Hi. you. Hello? Hi. Hello? 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 What's up? What's up? <laughs> I can just do the one action. It's, here. That's a touch no. action. You have to use two action or three. Okay, so yeah. two, two action, action heals the most. Yeah, two it's action the is the big heal. One person. Yep. Big heal. If your goal is to heal one person, two action heal is the best. Ooh. Mm, roll that healing. But roll one, it. one action is pretty cool if you're in touch range of Sorry, somebody. Yeah. No, like that's fine. I'll take it. Yeah, 10, Keep in 10 mind that level one ten is over like almost half of my total hit yeah, points. Yeah. Hey, you're tied with Weak. me now, almost. Wow. Uh, and then shield would be decent or moving if you want to get closer. I do not want to get closer. <laughs> um, shield is always a good third action as a cleric. It's always a good idea. Three plus one AC in case they throw a dagger at you or something. That's true. Because you can't really, most spells are two actions, so that's like rare that shield's actually only one action. All right, right, right. I've been waiting for this. Are my only one action spells. Yeah, that's true. Trips. But Reno's song is overpowering your right. guidance. I've been waiting he's... for this. Hunt prey. <laughs> OP. Listen to him Time go. for this guy to die. <gasps> Get the flanking bonuses. Takedown. So now I'm rolling. Oh, hunt prey, one move, and, and now attack. Yep. Ooh, that's oh, one. that is unfortunate. We're gonna use that's zero points. You, you, you Ooh. drop that ass. You, oh, you get up, yeah. hit. Oh, oh my god! Let's go. And one <laughs> more attack. Too much. Target is my because... hunted prey, so I only oh. roll it minus two. You go basically have four strength right now, or five strength instead and of four I, right now. I cannot roll for that's shit. Disgusting. It's fine. Tell, Tell me damage. about it. <laughs> All right. Are you out of hero points now? Yes. Yep. Nope. <laughs> I ain't no bitch. He's ready to die. Yeah. What, are, what are hero points? Is that just um? Inspiration? Oh, it's so big. Yeah, you can use them to re-roll anything that you. Uh, They're re-rolls, but if you're gonna die, you know, like in D and D, when you go down, you like do your little mini game and you yeah. roll saves. In this game, if you roll your saves and you're like one away from actually losing your character. And you happen to have hero points left, you can spend all remaining hero points to instantly succeed and come back to stable. Ooh. It's very common to go so down it's in this game. Safe to keep at yeah. least one point at all times, and he just spent his last one, so he's actually kind of. I ain't no bitch. We just started with one, right? Uh, you yeah, start everybody start every session with one, with one, with one and, and I go them out after a fight or. All right. Oh, okay. Well, now now yeah. that we're flanking here. Well, that's why I moved. Let's see what we can do. I'm gonna just beat on him with my shield. And Ooh. Wow. You do minimum you're, damage. You're welcome for that plus. Did you do one, the one in front of you or the one to your left? I'm sorry. He, uh, flanking the, with the, the flanking one guy. The flanking guy, okay. To the left, yep. yeah. Yeah, right. that's what I meant. Damn, we might not even need wow, to get the he died. As, right. As soon as this one goes down, this one in front of you, this chick just drops her staff and throws up her hands. She says, whoa, 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 okay, okay, I get it, I get it. You guys are beefy. So, I grapple. <laughs> I grapple. Okay, you're going to have to make an attack roll for that. And it's that map. And it still succeeds. Yeah. Oh, well, no, that plus one's for me. Well, you grab her, for sure. Yeah, and now that you, she's not, like, uh, you know, fighting, Is I'm combat still effectively grab over? Mm-hmm. But uh, she's yeah. like, yeah, I, 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 I told you, I, I'm good. I'm good. And listen, listen, listen. If, if you don't kill That's me, rope. If, you, if you don't kill me, so I'll, I'll take you to Boland's hideout. I'll know where it is. Trust me, I know where it is. I begin um, tying her wrist. I behind have her one more action left. Oh, God, Kyle. Yeah. It's Marb. He's not going to fucking kill this shit. Did you reverse suplex the horse? Oh, for fuck's it sake. It wasn't. Me. Marm. It was All that right. guy. She points at the I'm one you good. just killed. Next turn. It's that guy. <laughs> <laughs> All hey. right. So she surrendered. So she's surrendering. I'm holding her in place. Yep. So you and know. I'm just gonna. Once it's my turn, I got a plan. I think and... combat is essentially just over. <laughs> no, it's good. It's good. I got this. Okay, I'll get you. Calm down, more. What's over gonna do? 
I tie her wrist with rope. <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> Behind her back, not in front of her. Yeah. It's got hurt a little bit. He's like, fine, fine. That's, I, I told you, I'm done. I just, I just, I just, just don't kill me. Don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Yep, nope, you're good. I'm just making sure that Mar will let you go. Look, all I'm right. not, I'm not in the business of just hurting random people that don't want to fight, all right? I well, just, yeah, I'm just making so you don't have to hold her all day. If, if the right. guy want, if, if this bitch tied up this horse, you know, I, that's not cool with me, but okay. All right. All right, I think we're good. Let's yeah, right, let the, the, uh, get the horsey free. Let the killing yeah. wait until after. I'm gonna we immediately lay on hands the horse. Ooh, I can cast Soothe. I'm gonna cast Soothe on the horse. Well, as you as you guys get closer to the horse, it's it's like writhing and and it's like you look at its eyes and it's just wide eyed, like I'm like it's that bitch with you. like it's crazy. Yep, well, same. And Mar I mean, it's chained down, so... Oh, that's clean! Thirteen healing. Hilarious. That was my last spell spell, too. Oh, you I laid also... hands on the horse? Yup. Okay. Uh... Alright. So, the, you notice the, it, the horse seems to calm down a little bit, but it's still... It, it's... You see, it, it was all bloody, really. And it was hurt. And you, you obviously healed it, you know, quite a bit with that. But um, it's still a little crazy, you know. It um, just, you can tell it went through a lot. So, can I'm able to use re uh, reactions out of combat. Uh, uh, yeah, yes. uh, not reactions, but you well, can just do. Okay, it. I was thinking liberating step because it removes an ally from restraint. I don't know if that would count for it, but. Uh, uh, no, because the reaction, uh, the reaction wouldn't. Your reaction trigger wouldn't apply because it. Generally triggers when the action when the when the ally is grabbed or takes damage. That's fine. I just wasn't sure if it was like a cantrip type thing out of combat or yeah. No. Okay, that's fine. I'm just gonna break the chains with the sword then. What would it be to uh, like try to calm the animal down? I know there's not like um, animal handling or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, okay. It would probably just be a diplomacy check. That's what I'd think. Um, give me a diplomacy nature or... check. Nature. Ooh. So any anybody who wants to try to calm the horse down, uh, yeah. roll me a nature check. Hold I'm on, not very good at these, but can, hold on, let me I would also these. do it. Yeah. Can I use horse stabling lore? Sure, what you can fuck? add. You can That'd add be pretty good. That roll. Horse stabling. It's one lore. better. It's one better than my. Nature. Hey Kyle, we got the same thing. Oh no. I'm bad at this. <laughs> Wolfram's <laughs> just watching over this oh. woman, and he, like, he kind of pushes her to the ground, like, on her knees. She, she can't move. Guys, how like, did I there. do the best? Well, I have a You're an animal. You have a horn, just like it. I hope you don't Again, it's moving it's still anytime struggling soon. It's bound, so... We're all trying to help. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, it's calmer, but it's still weekend it's still yeah it's still fight it's it it's just like i say it doesn't know you doesn't notice you as friends it just notice you as more others i can so they care can i attempt to like damned unicorn than the actual job can i attempt to like break the chains like pull them apart or like smash them with the hilt of my sword Wilford, or not the hilt trying the, um... not to get stabbed by that scary looking horn it's, okay. it's in we chains well, I'm saying once we unleash it. No, well, yeah, no, but you kind of just away. left the pre you kind of just left the hostage here, like alone. She could have just ran off. Yeah, you got. I'm her not up. listening though. I could have caught her. You tied her up. Well, yeah, but her hands, not her legs. Oh, I thought he hide hog tied her. I've got. I've oh got my! Tie. He tied her hands behind her back. All yeah. right, let's break this. Okay, everybody, get ready to run. All right, we're gonna break these chains, and then everyone I'm just like breaking. back off. I'm not breaking that one. Actually, I want to break this one. This one's the furthest away from the gross. away area. <laughs> I said it. I'm, I'm, right. not break, I'm not breaking the dangerous ones. <laughs> well, so how much XP did we get for that combat, by the way? Uh, nothing yet. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I just Look, wanted to make sure we didn't miss it. There's no chance no, that no, Barb no. doesn't free this horse, so it's gonna. Yep, happen. it's yeah. I, I'm in the same boat. 
<laughs> Why does he have such a weird obsession with horses? <laughs> hey, it was in the player's guide. It hey, said that I was... had horse stabling lore. Hey, right? That was to myself <laughs> under my breath. You didn't hear um, shit. Does... <laughs> Roll a perception check, Mark. <laughs> Does anyone know we'll roll what a kind stealth of food against this thing it. likes? Oh, there's an eight. No, fifteen. Oh, there's a fifteen. I'll roll stealth. Do a stealth, do a stealth against it. Go ahead. Roll under it, and he heard you. <laughs> nope. Ooh, that's oh, just oh, over. Oh, it. Oh, yep. well, hear you, him. you heard him mumbling something, but you decided he was just being his old bitchy self. And yeah, just no, he's just about doing that. out the hostage. It's exactly. Like, okay. Uh, so these chains, like, actually, like, do we have to break them, or can we undo them? Um, it is tied, so you can cut the rope. It's, it's not really chains, it's it's tied down with, like, rope. Oh, say less, I... Well, yeah, I, I slash right, right through that shit. Could I have tele- sawn? I'm gonna use a I... projectile to just slice it. I, 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 that seems risky. Yeah, you might hit the You horse. miss by an inch. you have a rope. After I sliced the rope, though... I was just gonna ask if I could pick up the dagger, but I just realized yeah, you could I have just, They could just cut dagger. through it, it's fine. Yeah, you can yeah. use the clan dagger in combat. Yeah. yeah. It's not against the rules. <laughs> yeah, they, they don't right, give I'm, a shit. I'm gonna pull out the clan dagger. I'm ready to cut the rope. Okay. Yeah. After I cut my rope, I'm gonna throw my sword into the ground, like, stick it into the ground. So it sees I'm unarmed. What's the AC of yeah. rope? I'm as soon as everyone's like ready to go, I'm gonna cut the rope and take a step back and like kneel down behind the shield. Okay. I don't go anywhere. Do you guys do this all at one time? Yo. Uh yeah. yeah. Like okay. carrying down. Alright. So you guys cut the ropes on a countdown and everybody cuts their ropes. And the unicorn jumps to its feet and it's still tied by this one up here, yeah? Well, yeah. I was using a telekinetic projectile to cut it. Oh, okay. So, wow, that's smart. All right, so it jumps up and it runs right towards Gurk Gurkle in his direction. Um, it will, quote unquote, attack you. But only since it's running in that direction and oh. you're in his way. Oh, they're just yeah. casual fifteen points of damage. Yeah. No. And after it does that, it continues on and runs away to the forest. <sighs> That's what I was worried about. Look, it's just the hazards of the job. I don't think you understand the hazards of Ow. the job. Ow. Ow. <laughs> you can imagine that hurt a little bit, friend. I would glad. Yeah, it looks like it practically 15. impaled you. Uh I want you to realize I have 15 HP. I would gladly have taken 15 HP damage. <laughs> just you only have horse. 15 HP left? Yeah, everybody used their unconscious. healing magic on the horse instead of our damaged I would have gone I unconscious for this I horse. I did. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, for... Whoever if, needs heals, fucking take that. If oh, you do a three action? Oh, did you... Oh, is that your AoE? She's yeah, she has a three-action heal that heals an AOE. Technically, let's go. Oh. So Technically, the uh, hostage also heals that. True. That's I, how do I heal myself? Uh, just roll the heal button. Uh, you see the six? There should be a heal button. Heal. In the right side of that little. Oh, part. I see it. Okay. All right. How's everyone doing? We all chilling? I'm, I'm doing chillin'. so much better. I oh, as the kids would say, I think yet. I'm bussing. <laughs> all of a sudden, that old steward just. Goes, thank you. I I'll feel so much better. You. Yeah, shut it. Sorry. Right. Right. Actually, uh, that is not something my character oh, would say. Oh, yeah, you you are very anytime. lucky you aren't dead right now. <laughs> oh, job, I, I, I want to thank you. So, for defeating you. the Oak Stewards and freeing the Unicorn, even though um, Gertzel got friggin' smoked. By the unicorn. Cheeks clapped. Cheeks clapped. That's Everybody okay. gets 120 oh XP. Oh my god. Hell yeah. 232. Big. We're already almost fucking uh, a quarter of the way, of the way, the way to the level. Just Actually, for we are flavor here. Can I intimidate and glare this person? Yeah. Where, wh- what's your XP just... at, sorry? 232. 232. He says nothing but just gives like the death stare. Oh, she, she oh, got deleted died. from the map. Oh no. 
Oh shit, I scared her. Oh, well, I'm <laughs> taking everybody That's a feat. That's, that's, <laughs> that's level, level, level 15 that. feet. I'm bringing everybody back. It's level 15 feet. My All god, right. you're strong. All right. She's gone. Yeah, I just <laughs> erased her. I <laughs> then uh... snapped her. Also, since Reno has that one buff that basically does the same shit as Guidance, I'm going to swap out Guidance later. Uh, I don't know. If the, yeah, the, or... yeah, no, cantrips. Yeah, she's, since she's a prepared caster, she should know all her cantrips. Yep. She could probably just swap them out in daily prep. Mm -hmm. Sounds yeah. right. And I'm pretty sure runic weapon wears off. You should take, yeah. uh, like oh wait, minutes, shit, though. is telekinetic hand one not minute. a divine list? Uh, I think it is. It might not be, though. All right, well... Anyway, we'll talk about it later. Enough of really the horse like diversion. Okay. So, your boss's base. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, he's he's at the hideout. Um, who's gonna bring the key? Once we've prepared the site, we we're supposed to, you know, send a runner back and tell him, you know, when the deed was done. What deed is that? Yeah, what the fuck you talking about, Willis? Um, hmm, what the fuck are you talking about, Willis? Well, um. <laughs> We yeah, kinda... I think it's pretty obvious what she's talking about. She was they were gonna kill the horse. He said it, not me. He you said it. Fucking asshole. Don't worry about it yet, Marv. <laughs> Don't worry. Everybody gets what's coming to them. Like it, it hey, it wasn't my idea. Yeah. But why? Um why why why, why, why? sacrifice the horse? Oh For what end? Oh, um well, you see um, it's, it's, it's to bring back the omniblick curse, you know, obviously, duh. Um, you know. Can I cut off a finger? We, we oh didn't want to, yeah. we didn't want to kill it, of course, you know, sacrifice in the moment. You're going to cut okay, off a I finger? Okay, take it back. Can we just beat the shit out of this chick? Guys, <laughs> get, relax. I know you think she's a piece of shit. He's but, just like leaning but away. everybody yeah. gets what's coming to them eventually. Karma will come around, I promise. Well, anyway. I'm just gonna... anyway. Um, can we get so, a quick recap on base. whether bringing the curse back is bad? It the curse would be bad because it kills any elf that gets remotely near it, and I assume they're trying to expand its influence. They're trying to murk oh, me now. Relax. Okay. My keen yeah. insight. Let me. As you ask her, <laughs> as you ask that question, she hears you ask that question. And she kind of smirks. She's like, "If you don't already know, then you'll never understand. The curse is the world's way of restoring the natural balance. If well, we had the curse a... already a thing forever until just a, like a couple months ago." Well, yeah, but that's what we're trying to do. We want to bring it back so it can restore the natural balance. Like I said, if we had it our way, this curse would affect not only elves, but all who called themselves civilized. Fuck. She points to the carnage oh. all around, her fallen comrades, and unicorn blood upon the altar. Do you really think any of us have a right to be here? I begin cleaning up the unicorn and blood. This guy's high on something. All right. Well, here's the deal. I think she is having a psychotic well, we'd break. like to talk to your boss. So if you want to live, just lead us to his base, yeah? Yeah, I'm going to throw her on my shoulder so she can't go or, <laughs> go anywhere. I'm going to be like, point. All right. Um, sure. Uh, he's this way. And uh, it's an old gnome forest house up in the trees down that way. I, I'll, I'll take you there. Yep. You know, no, um, but you'll never get in. You can take us there, and you will. I'm just telling you. Somebody say gnome. Bolin's going to hear you coming and I like the don't place care. down tighter than a terrapin. We'll break Bitch, you. I will break like, through any gate. She kind of smiles at you like, yeah, okay. Is it a wooden house? It's a tree house. We'll burn it down if we have you. to. Come on. I don't like her tone. I am actually cutting one of her uh, fingers off. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> no, I don't like her tone. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it, sacral? Or... You know what? We're she the bad guy talking about party. sacrificing the, the horse. I'm all right with this. Yeah, yeah. this is uh, Real from does Whoa. not give a shit. What are you doing? What are you? What, what, are, you, so what are you doing? Which is so like 180 from everyone. As I said, she isn't a thing anymore. As I said <laughs> karma yeah. comes around no, to everyone. <laughs> so uh, you take your greatsword and you just 
lop off her little <laughs> finger. Oh, we are going to screaming. quickly become the evil party. Let's go. <laughs> no, 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 no. 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 There's evil. reasons for this. The remaster removed alignment for a reason. <laughs> no, no, this is still a part of my alignment. All right, this I'll is trust the third side. This is like, a part of my deity and everything. I'm Don't sorry, worry about you it. You didn't have to cut my finger off. I was taking you there anyway. <sighs> consider it punishment oh, for God. being. Consider it punishment for talking at us for a minute. You could be yeah. much worse off. You could be like your friends over there. And she just that is also she's true. like. But I just said. None of us have a. Apparently, right you haven't learned here. your lesson yet. He She's got these crazy, wily eyes that she's looking this at. This bitch kind of sounds suicidal. You don't have a right to be here, then why don't you just kill yourself? Uh, you zapping her? Zap. Yeah. Are you zapping her, too? Oh, my God. We are just torturing oh. this poor woman. <laughs> Wow. I mean, a much I more mean, effective I mean, method of calming somebody the down. The cleric just healed her, and then the <laughs> bar just hurts her. <laughs> yes. I'm okay we're, with this. We're gonna do this over. Yeah, this is wow. Funny. Hold on. Point we stop and shut yelling? it. I need to mark some Hold things stop. down here. Hold on. <laughs> Point yeah. and shut Marty up. We're, we're getting evil. ready for fucking blood. Yeah. Like, How man, do I coerce? How do I coerce? That's an invis action maker. You have. He's, yeah, he's not on, looking too on. good oh, anymore. All of a sudden, she just started. Hey. This bitch. I don't care. She gave yeah, me shit. either. So, to be fair, if alignment was still a thing, activity. Wolfram would 100% yeah. be neutral or evil. Action. Yeah, Tover just, yeah, she's, she's oh, still... Oh, it doesn't speak, it doesn't speak You common. demoralized, you didn't coerce. Uh, oh. Yeah, I'd definitely be true well. neutral. Because it totally matters. Coerce, coerce. It's under, you gotta choose the tab yeah, in the basic it. action. Yeah, there you go. Why do they do this to me? That's bad. Look, you even rolled better. Uh, Shut up and point. Yeah. I, With you know I, your remaining four. Just like laying there going, it's. Well, you left the index clear. Right? <laughs> so dramatic. Oh no, she's draped over Gergfil's like shoulder. She, yeah, she's not lying anywhere. She's... Yeah, she's had her finger cut off. She's been electrocuted. <laughs> this is so dramatic. She's also been healed. She, true, but she's back down to where she Come was on. before she was healed. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe she should know when to shut the fuck up. Welcome off. to yeah, adventuring, everybody. Yeah. Maybe she shouldn't chain up horses. Well, there you go. True. I don't know why the horses are the end all be all in this, but all right. I don't know. True. Part of my character. That's not I, the reason specifically for me. On shoulder. I trust. And as, and as you point. Right back, boys. Well, that's okay. Oh. You can stick around. We're gonna we're gonna end it okay, here. Okay, we're gonna end okay. it. Never mind. After you electrocute her, and Wilfram says which direction she points, you guys slowly start walking south, and that's where we're gonna end the session. Perfect. Nice. Beautiful. What I, uh, a I actually, session one. I actually looked up deities and stuff because you were like, yeah, it doesn't matter oh, too much. God, and I started no, looking it, through them uh, before we started. I was like, this is perfect. I went through it for like two hours. I found like the perfect one that like fits him like to a T. Oh, it perfect. very much matters. I don't know who told you deities don't matter much. It very much matters. Well, it, it does. I mean, they, it matters like for in, anathema. Yeah. It, well, yeah, but you can still get like domain initiate, and you still have anathema and. Uh, that's why edicts. That's why I like the uh, the goddess I chose because she's like, hey, don't desecrate. Well, it like, also depends your. It also shit. changes your alignment. It, like it depends I mean, on yeah. what well, entire he's, champion. He's a fucking pick. champion, so yes. Yeah, that it truly deity matter, matters yeah. a lot. Yeah, it yeah. does. And this is this is a deity that's very morally gray, which is perfect because you and I are going <laughs> to get along very well. It's uh... wow, you guys. We well, are. I yeah. was pretty. I was pretty like lawful good until someone fucked with horses, oh and now suddenly. Oh no! I'm, I get it. I'm starting to experience uh, some chaotic neutral. Some game. rage. You went All from right. petting a well, horse to before <laughs> I go off and do you know the outro and stuff. I should feel I need to ask: Is do does everybody think that they're gonna be ready for Sunday, or do we need to take a session zero and prep characters and do get? I just gotta put my season of Ghost game. next week. I just gotta put a character into the game. I'll be I have good. not started a character yet. Mine's already done. Do you think you're going to be capable of doing it by Sunday? 
If no. not, that's perfectly fine. I'm going to be honest. No. Okay. I don't think then so. Then on Sunday, we will not be streaming Season of Ghosts. We will be doing a Session Zero for Season of Ghosts. All right. Yeah, there's just been so much going on. And... So. Yeah. Uh, that's a bit of an update for you guys and the viewers as well. And speaking of that, I will be right back. You're back. All right, well, that's enough of that. Uh, thanks, everybody, so much for watching, if you still are. We will be back, well, I'll be back probably tomorrow, but we as Pathfinder Group will be back next week, Friday, for more Gatewalkers. Uh, I did not expect the party to totally go evil mode at the end there, but oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, and we will also be starting Season of Ghosts next Sunday, per everything permitting. Uh, so two Pathfinder games a week, so look forward to that. If you enjoyed and want to catch more streams, the easiest way to do so would be to follow on Twitch, subscribe on YouTube, or join the Discord where you get notified for when we go live. Uh, but other than that, I hope everybody enjoyed, and have a good night.